Patrice is disgusted. It's You're great. not disgusted by this, Patrice? I, I hope to one day enjoy this kind of life. Oh, all right. It's fantastic. Fucking, it, but it's just that kind of shit breaks. And that, well, it does. Yeah, yeah. But you know, while it's while when it's working, it's it's great. And I had steam coming off the pool. That w- I swear to you, and I've said it before, it looked like that scene <laughs> where where on a popular now. Where those, uh, what's that shit? With those mountains where there's they have monkeys and snow, but there's it's <laughs> like a lava pool right uh, there. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable, man! Look like apocalypse now. That and... shit is, sounds fucking fantastic. Oh, it was great. It's not for a married man either. No, no. no. If I get married, I'm not going to put none of that shit. No, in you my... can't do that. It's just get taken away from you right, eventually. That is, it, is fucking fantastic. Someday, so if you're man. married and you have that, just if you're married and you have that, just picture because this will happen. <laughs> Some fucking young guy is going to be fucking. Your woman in that pool and jacuzzi, yeah. and you're going to be in a one room that, apartment. That is a single man paying fucking shit. Yeah, it, it, it's a chick magnet. Oh, it's hey, it brings the women over, right? Aunt? Enough. Yes. Do you notice you get more women coming over to your place because of the pool? Oh, it's the only jacuzzi reason. thing. What? Well, they coming over for me? <laughs> out of here. You doing something for the fall? Am I delusional? Hmm? Do you? Are you doing? Do you have parties? Yeah. Like serious, like go. Uh, Sometimes okay, animal house parties no one at the house. Other times, big parties at the house where the Honestly, cops show up. That sounds so sexy, though, man, that, that heated. It's just nothing better really than having is. a bunch of stuff that girls can't fight. Oh, it's like, oh, why, you know. Ooh. Just better than their pride, you know. That shit is just. I don't like this bathing suit on. It's like, ooh, just fling oh, that right off. God. Fling it off. Has that happened? Get it off. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, Look at you! <laughs> oh, that's oh, that's so amazing. Shit, I think that shit is. Fucking, I yeah, can't even awesome. hate him, man. That shit is dope, man. Because oh yeah, there's a lot of excess. You know, how you argue about what excess is too much. Like if you got enough yeah. money, it's like you hear about guys with private planes. And I think so, I you argue with somebody. I said it's all relative, man. If you yeah. got the money to get a private plane, I'm the. Look, I'm the only one in this room that could totally appreciate what Ed just said because I know where he's been. Oh, oh, hell. Hell and back. I mean, we've all changed in the last 14 years or or whatnot, but man, you're, up until. You went from getting yelled at because you didn't do the vacuuming before you left to make yeah, a living. Yeah, yeah. To young well, women taking their bathing suits off because it's just in the way. That's how it works. Now. <laughs> it's just not. And I was on a saving spree until probably two years ago. And said, fuck it. I, I just did, I didn't spend a lot. I bought some cool shit, but I never really was a woman either, right? You was never no. like a, you never went through that phase. Mr. Monogamy. Like you went back, you went reverse, whatever. Yeah, I, don't, I, don't, it, I shouldn't call it backwards. reverse. I call it, you call it like you, you, you just live certain phases of your life before mm. this and that. So now it's, it's like. Monogamous relationships. Damn. Oh, since man. I was like in my teens. Fuck. Just be like Mr. Fucking. Yeah, I was like a married guy in, in high school. You know, I'd have a girlfriend that was just like, yeah, yeah, we'd just be together forever. Yeah, you did it like the wrong way. Yeah. You're supposed to do all that backwards. younger and then maybe settle in a little bit. No, well, some people do I that, didn't. though. You know, but that's just some. I think that glad is. Glad I uh, didn't. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, tremendous, just, man. That was just fucking. I, I gotta I just, just get one of these young broads pregnant and then it's, it's on. <laughs> get them pregnant. <laughs> That's the, no, that's, that's the, blah, blah, that's the whammy. I mean, it's like, all right, know. Anthony, he's in the jacuzzi, he's having fun, look at him, now they're barbecuing, this is great. Okay, now they're in the movie theater, this is fantastic, they're watching a the movie, this is good. Okay, up to the bedroom, down, now back downstairs, oh, the bar, the bar's open, Anthony's, oh, man, <laughs> she's pregnant, oh, <laughs> no, <laughs> he pushed <laughs> that one a little too far, I think. Well, like you said, Don't man. Don't need that. What happened? You said, uh... Just you see Hulk Hogan, man. His fucking wife is just some young kid coming all over his. Uh, oh yeah, all, all over, over his, his shit. fucking his white wrestling boots from yes. Rocky Three. <laughs> his you know pinball machine. He's just he's just funny. smashing. <laughs> he got his his Hulk wig on. That's, <laughs> that's why that Chris Rock line is is brilliant about OJ uh, understanding what OJ did. He's wiping his cum dick off on oh. all of his bandanas that he wore on his head. Doing Hulk impressions as he's Hulkster. fucking his wife. Oh, shit. Oh, this is good pussy, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and Hulk's like in a one-room fucking apartment. <laughs> fucking Some crooked, good snatch, brother. Crooked picture on the wall of him at WrestleMania 1. Ooh, yeah. You know what? Yeah. Yo, that's fucking right, Macho brother. Man and shit. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, what's that shit from Rocky Three? All my love slaves out there. Yeah. Thunder lips is here in the flesh, baby. 
fucking his wife in, in his house, man. Oh, uh, in his Dude, house. I don't watch the uh, Brooke Hogan show, but I was turned on to a clip online where Hulk Hogan picks up Brooke Hogan in a boat, and they drive by the old place, and they're right offshore, and the little yip-yip dogs are on the lawn. There's like three or four of them, and Brooke's like, basically goes, Daddy, can uh, pull over. I want to go pet the dogs. Oh. And Hulk goes, I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to be uh, on the property. I could get in a lot of trouble. He and his daughter's on his side, shit. too. Right. His, his daughter's so, on his side. So this clip ends with the boat just offshore of this ridiculous house that's right on the water That he there. bought with his oh, wrestling yeah. money. And, there's, and, the, and the boat's just hanging out, and they're just crying their eyes out. Oh, no. And, man, I fell for uh, the Hulkster. The Hulk story. How did he and lose you, the house? And then, and then you have to sit there and go, Guys always lose why, the house. why is the courts allowing this to happen? That's what you got to ask. Oh. Because in the same episode, they showed Hulk's new house that he's kind of like oh, either renting or just bought. It's, it's, it's like a closet compared how, to what he was living in. That's how it works. They're Family. fabulous. I mean, it's a nice house, but it's not what he has to just, And you, you know, ever see the A&E story or uh, uh, behind the, whatever, what a uh, true whatever Hollywood story? Now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, his, his wife hit the lottery. Like, she did not, what she did was pop out the kids for him. So I guess when yeah. you say, wah, wah, and you make a point because all, she didn't, they, they didn't struggle uh -huh. together. He was, becoming Hulk right around where he met this bitch. Right, right. And she just was... He she was, chose her. She, she said, there. cool. And now she's fucking... Yeah. Now she's worth more money than him. Or, or, got, or she has more stuff than him right now. His house. His house. This house is ridiculous. And he got in trouble for saying he's he he he, he was going he wanted to do an OJ, but he but he yeah, did yeah. it. And it's like, what? Are you serious? Are you, are you saying he can't think about? Like you can't think about that? Or, are you mm. serious, man? Of course. After everything that she put him through, oh, unbelievable. Some young guy for not for 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 just hanging in there like a soldier oh. through, through the the zillions and the and the fucking. The the accolades and the mm -hmm. Hulkamania. Mm -hmm. Just fucking some guy in his house. That's it. And, and a boy. What an insult. Her, and his he got in trouble for, for fucking a girl that was his daughter's age. Yeah, yeah. But she's fucking a boy that's yeah. his daughter's age. Is that the Hulkster's house right there? Yeah, the house is oh, just... God, look at that. And yeah, yeah, you see the little gazebo at the end there? Yeah, yeah. The dogs were yip-yipping over there, and the boat was maybe 10, 15 feet away from that. And he's like, I'm not allowed to step and he's foot on the property. Not allowed. And it's, it's his, his house. house. He bought it. <laughs> he on. took the bumps for that fucking money. What is it going to take for the courts to understand how ridiculous that is? God. It doesn't make sense. No. No, not in this day and age. But what do you think the, you think one the of these concept guys, is, though? I'm not one of these guys, you know, kick her to the curb and fuck her. I, I do feel like the women, you know, need something. Do they? Yes, but not his house. So what's the concept to why they would get so much? What is the, uh, the, go, the goes, philosophical standpoint? It goes way the fuck back to when women got married at fucking 15 in the Old West. It really does. goes back that fucking far where they had no marketable skills. They couldn't do anything. Except be a wife. And then when they weren't the wife anymore, they were let out and what am I going to do? So they're like, well, the guy's got to take care of As opposed to what? It's different now? As this bitch, what marketable where, skills this bitch got now? Where it's like you bitch about wanting equal rights and no glass ceilings in the corporate workplace and you're as powerful as men are. And shit. Then go fuck yourself. A divorce comes around, make your own fucking life. Might be equal there, Pay too. Pay your own fucking bills. Get your own fucking house. Yeah, Ant's almost done with his divorce. Almost done. Almost. That's like a lifetime ago. It's fucking close. I barely remember what she looked looks How long like. Was you on? Was you paying alimony? Nine years. It's only been nine years. Only. Only to me, it seems like fucking. Let me tell years. you why it's because I don't know what he could say. It's uh, you can't say only. Never had a house. It, no kids. Didn't have anything. And didn't own anything. Nope. Why nine years? Didn't have shit. Why nine years? Why That's nine right. years? I could. I don't even understand if you have kids. And did her, her had money go with up her. Uh, exponentially as your money went I up? Can't, um, I can't uh, give any details to the... Um, that's, not really, that's not really details. Yeah, it's financial Is details. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Infl <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, divulge such things. Wow.
So, you know. This ain't a good <laughs> This ain't good for my girl, man. <laughs> <laughs> this shit ain't good for my girl, man. <laughs> she she better hope she can sneak some mail. Like have some for the next seven years. Go check the mail. Have mail sent to my house, right? With her name on the motherfucker mm-hmm. that I don't know about. Yes, yeah, I'm telling her the secret right now. Residency and that in seven years she can she can get that common law bullshit because I don't know. No common law in New York. No, I live in Jersey. Oh, fuck. oh shit! That but there's no common law marriage in New York, so you nah. can stay with a bitch for fifty years. That's and, it. Doesn't matter. No, no, so she, I think the time that's good. Should be the time she enjoys. Yeah. And uh, after it's bad, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be living bad, hating you, mm-hmm. but you're going to be still living the, the lifestyle. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it. I, think I wonder I'm if I can push... sue for getting pussy. Like, can I, get, can I sue to get the, <laughs> to get the pussy? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, yeah. She gets to keep her lifestyle, but can I just... Can I have the pussy? I, I think let, I... Me, let me go to George in New York. George. Hey. What's up, George? Uh, listen, I just uh, came back from Florida. I've been divorced three years. I sued, well, actually, I petitioned the court just so I could see my kids, have them enforce the uh, the, the visitation rights that are in the, the papers. And the judge actually said that he couldn't enforce it. If they don't want to see me, they can't see me. But yet, i got to pay for the house. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'm paying for the car. I'm paying for the Alamo. i got to pay a 1000 bucks a month for 10 fucking years. And I can't even see my kids. That's fantastic. Isn't it great? Fucking it's bullshit. Archaic. What is it going to take to t- turn this damn thing around? Revolution. I mean, every time we go down this road, the phones get lit up by guys getting screwed over. Guys just getting fucked. And, and even the and women have... call up and go, yeah, I, I admit it's not fair. And every once in a while you got a woman that goes, yeah, well, guess what? I'm getting fucked in, a, in the divorce. Man, and you're a rarity. Yeah. She's getting, she's getting married. I mean, the house that I have down in Florida is beautiful. It's 4,400 square feet, and this guy's sitting in my fucking living room oh. watching the TV that I'm still fucking paying for. And then while she's getting married, I still got to pay her a thousand bucks a fucking month. Sir, can it's I... non-modifiable alimony. Right, right. Can I ask you a quick question? What's your what's your murder uh, daydream? <laughs> like your scenario? <laughs> how'd you kill him? Just come on, just like in your daydream. This is not incriminating, but how'd you do uh-huh. it? I'm not sure that it would kill him, but I know around Christmas time they came up, and my kids were supposed to spend a week with me during the holidays. She stayed 15 minutes away from me and wouldn't let me see the kids. I actually envisioned punching her in the face where my <laughs> fist went through the back of her head. Nice. <laughs> like the Terminator? And, yeah. then, and then put her clothes on and, <laughs> nice. and went to look for Sarah Connor and shit. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good there for you, nothing, George. There is nothing more infuriating than getting fucked over by somebody that did nothing but sit home and watch Oprah and the fucking Flintstones all day. Nice. Yeah, yeah see? Oof. You're absolutely see? right. And they just allow it to happen. It just continues yeah. to happen. But what's it, to happen. Is there any fair women out there, like the logic? Like, like what is it? It's well, I could have been, I could have been finding this wonderful lifestyle. I could have been just standing around waiting for the lottery without you. Like, yeah, there, yeah. there is no time that was wasted being her if yeah. she's living mm-hmm. a lifestyle. If she's living a life, yeah. And, and now she gets to keep that lifestyle. But they want it, yeah. It's like for some reason they're allowed to have the lifestyle of which they're accustomed to. It's like, what is that? Where, where was the guarantee? There's no guarantee with marriage. You don't sign a guarantee certificate. She sends in a warranty. They don't offer you, well, if you'd like to pay an extra $22, we can have you uh, hooked up with the <laughs> whatever the fuck happens. You still get to leave this lifestyle. That's fucking warranty. genius, man. Oh, Goddamn yeah, okay, warranty. Let, me, yeah. let me fill yeah, that yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Like you're buying a fucking television. Yeah. If the marriage breaks, you still get it back. You get everything back. Oh, okay, and, I'll take and, that. And mind you, this is, this is supposed to be a union. This is why it's bullshit. Because yeah. I'll talk about it on stage sometimes. This shit supposed to be a union in the eyes of God. Right. Like, so really... Not a financial why contract. Why do you do it in front of God and the, and the priests when all it really is is a business transaction? A horrible business and transaction. And I talk to my girl, and really all she really truly wants is a will. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. right now, she if I, if I get my shit together and write a will and just say, I right, fuck it, I'm going to leave some shit there... That would be marriage, sir. It's not even about, right. like, we are a union or this and that. It's yeah, just yeah. I got to make sure that I get something out of my twat at the end of the fucking <laughs> rainbow. <laughs> like, at the end of the rainbow, my twat is worth the half your life, motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let, me, 
Let me go you to my fuck on my bed, nigga. This, <laughs> oh, come on, so have some motherfucking stranger come on my thousand three count sheets. <laughs> I'll kill you, bitch. <laughs> Damn these motherfuckers, man. Steve, uh, do a search that says Hulk uh, cries or something, because I know you're trying to find that clip so for these guys. Bad. Uh, Mike in Boston. M -m morning, boy. What's up, Mike? She is raking Hulk over the coals for $40,000 a month in pre-divorce alimony. 40000 a month. Yes, wow. I, I, I'll say this much. I, you know, I listen to you guys right. at night because I drive yeah. all night long. Hampton Howie on Twitter, right, everybody right. knows. It's a half million a year. Um, uh, he goes on the show on Howard 101. You know, he's best friends with Mr. Clem. And uh, he calls every week to tell everybody what's going on. She drags him to court once a month because she does not want to pay the Graziano family the money that they want for Nick paralyzing their son. She says that that's Hulk Hogan's problem because he signed Nick's license, not hers. Jesus. And this woman was a nail tech when she was Hulk a nail tech when they met. She was. I a nail told you, same shit. When she met Hulk Hogan, and Hulk Hogan bought her parents their house in California. Yeah. He's paying her, because I guess it's a Florida state law, he's paying for her lawyers, and she's been through three of them already. <laughs> yeah, that's another think. one. Hulk Hogan's going to have to come out of retirement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. The guy. I am a real American. Oh, oh, shit. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> For real, how's he gonna make his money? Him and Ric Flair, <laughs> he's Woo! gonna break his hip with that with the big leg drop. <laughs> Hulk Hogan, <laughs> he's gonna have to kill himself. Poor Hulk, poor Hulk. Hulk Hogan is Hulk Hogan is this is this is bad. This is so. Does bad, she realize? Man. You know, this is not good, man. No, it's not good. Oh, is that the clip? All right, hold on. We got the the uh, the Hulk Hogan clip of him crying on the boat. Can I get a cookie? Can I have a cookie real quick? A little dog. I can't pet cookie. Look, I can't pull in there, otherwise your mom would have been put in jail. I can't. I can't pull up there. I want to touch her for a second. Mommy, my nose! Mommy, my nose! Mommy, my nose! Mommy, my nose! Oh my he can't even look. He can't even look at the house. They pull away from the dogs. They're barking. Brooke Hogan starts crying, and then Hulk starts crying. This Hulk is just a horrendous story. Oh, she's crying, Daddy. I'm crying, brother. <laughs> oh God, poor Hulk. Oh, look at his face. Oh, he's just shit, like, man. he's just like, oh. Dad blows. Do we have a better audio copy of that? What? The guy that Linda is dating is younger than Brooke. And, um, yeah. He, he, went, he went to school with her. Yeah, right. He's actually younger than her. And she, on uh, one of the uh, Brooke Knows Best, she was saying to one of her girlfriends as they're drinking this, oh, Brooke still hasn't got over Charlie yet because I'm with him now. And Brooke never wanted anything to do with Charlie to begin with. Jesus. Oh. That's the that's the guy that's banging yeah, that's her. Charlie. Oh, yep. Jesus and, and Christ, Hogan, that's horrible. The last time Hogan was in court with her was because um, she's at Hope's house naturally, right there on the water in Miami. She's throwing coke binge parties and booze. Well, we don't know. Dude, what, and, what kind of allegations yeah, are you making, really, sir? <laughs> You can you could say you a madman. You could say you're hearing that that might be going on, but yeah, we don't. Honestly, we don't know. I mean, it it has been rumored. I, I you know, I can tell you that much, but we don't know. And for Brooke sure. even alluded to some things. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, if she gets caught, let's say that's the case. If she gets caught doing that, will he? Uh... Hopefully yeah, he'll probably have to pay the coke bill. <laughs> yeah, well, the lawyer says <laughs> to fix her well, septum. <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> That's the whole point right now. He's trying to prove that she doesn't need forty thousand dollars a month in pre-divorce alimony because she's just using it to uh, let uh, give out candy to the children. Amazing. Good call, Mike. Thank you. I got. I got. Re all right, I got E-Rock in studio. E-Rock, what's up? You're saying about how uh, Hogan making his money. He's, he doesn't even own his name or his trademarks anymore. Oh. He sold it to uh, Eric Bischoff right before the divorce oh. for like a dollar so that this way she couldn't claim any of the royalties that he gets from the name and the trademarks. Oh, so he cut off his nose to spite his face a little bit. Yeah.
Wait, so what is face. what is Bischoff doing with it? Is he just doing... sitting on it? He he collects uh, all the royalty money for it, but he he just sits on it until this thing's done, and then he oh. sells it back to Hogan. Oh, okay, well, that's pretty sweet. Oh, they're that close, those two. Mm-hmm. Oh, Unless he nice. doesn't. That's Unless good to know. Doesn't. You got a friend like that, but you got to make sure that friend doesn't <laughs> get sell it back crazy yet. on you. Yeah, there's all uh, kinds of action figures and shit coming out. He's just whoring his name around. <laughs> dude, Perez Hilton got punched in the face, and man, am I, I laughing about that this is one. Hysterical. I am laughing about Didn't this punch one. him hard enough. Nope. You're all brave talking your shit on the internet, and then someone calls you out on it, and now yeah. you're going to cry like a little bitch. He is a little bitch. Oh, he I love that he's bitch. crying. Meh. We'll get into that story after the break, probably, retard, right? Retard. Retard. Uh, Let yeah. me say hi to Jerry in Miami. Jerry. Uh, hey. All right. Jerry. You want to listen to a horror d- divorce? My dad just turned 63, I believe, and my mom is 18 years younger. She then divorces him right as he's about to retire. He gets diagnosed with leukemia. She takes him for everything because it's in Florida. Uh, he has to pay for everything, so he loses pretty much everything. Now all he has is the house. He gets fired because of the stress he incurred during the divorce proceedings, so he can't even retire now because he has no job, and he lost all his savings, and he still has to pay for everything she's done, all her court costs, and he has to pay to maintain her lifestyle in Florida while oh. she fucks some other guy. Oh, oh, maintain. Can you catch like, cancer like a vampire gives out, like, like yeah. if he yeah, just yeah. bites that bitch on the neck and just... Yeah, wouldn't that be great? <laughs> just gives a cancer. You know, we've been doing this break for about nine years, ever since yeah. I went started going through this, and it's just amazing that it continues to happen. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. Like, what is it going to take to for the courts to realize that this is just ridiculously unfair There's to the guy? N- the but n- is this messing... Uh, st- statistically, you, do you think this is fucking up women's... Like, less men are asking women to get married because of all of this nonsense? No, it's, no. it's just... It continues. It's It's just perpetuated. The whole thing. People still get married. People still get well, divorced. Guys still get fucked over. I think what happens is you you, you go, oh, my girl would never do that to me. Yep. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> every one of these stories exactly that's, that's yeah. coming in today, I bet you every one of those guys said, oh, I, when I, if, if we asked him, the, the next one we'll ask. <laughs> well, I ask, I ask that my comes girl. Back to the what's your wedding song? Uh, right. What was your wedding song? You see uh, your question. girl, you're in love, and this and that, and you're like, oh, she would never do that to me. I've heard the horror stories, but my girl puts, you know, I come from the road, and if I'm sitting around on a Monday, just trying to get, you know, get my body back from yeah. flying, <laughs> I give her, you know, the check to put in the bank, and you know, I'm always looking at her funny, like she's gonna steal from me. <laughs> so she'll she'll take a picture of the of the um, deposit slip and. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, you can have a fake deposit slip. Right? Well, <laughs> oh, damn. just so she, she's so she's shopping it. She's like, I ain't steal your money, motherfucker. Like, Hell yeah, I'm always say, you goddamn bitch, you gonna steal my money? <laughs> and she, she take the picture. She took a picture is, and uh, said, I fucking deposited the money. Are you? Uh, you're like an NFL player on a on a Monday after a long weekend, right? You said when you come off the road on a Monday, you're just done. I'm done. Like, I can't move, can't but I got to deposit a check. And, <laughs> you know, it's good. To, you know what it is? It's good to feel like you can, you can trust somebody to a, to that high level. But you can't believe at that at the end of the road that she... But I can feel my girl. She's trying. She loves me, but she's trying to, to develop a, a certain kind of hatred. That's what they do. They really try to. So if after a while, they, if they succeed, then they can do this kind of shit. Right, too. right, right. But why they yep. love you, it, it's hard for them to do that. Of so I'm sure is. Hulk's wife was a fucking trooper at some point, man. I, I, I know she had his back. She gave him kids. Which is fine. And all that. There's but damn, how she turned into this evil bitch? Like, right. they, they, it, it was something there, do. man. She shouldn't be allowed to turn into an evil bitch. The court system should step in and go, all right, fair is fair here. This is ridiculous. All that good shit goes right out the fucking window. Like, the court should put into account that y'all build something. Like, that this is a, 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 like, one part, this is a build, if you look at it like a building. Yeah. You, it's like you're taking what one person gave and, and, and somebody else's part is getting built stronger, but it's still a building. You can't take away what the floors it'll it'll yeah, crumble yeah. it's it so you got to keep it intact it, some kind of way you you would think that the courts and i've said this before you think that the courts are this thing you see on television and movies where where you can race in and go like your honor i have new evidence that shows that, that. no with divorce cases it's a slide rule 
The fucking judge sits there with like a fucking calculator and a slide rule. You're person A, she's person B, and they work a formula uh, with this shit. There's no, there's no telling the judge. You can't get up. Your lawyer does all the talking. I would have loved to have gotten up and said, Your Honor, can I just fucking talk to you a minute? Can I just explain to you what our situation is so you could look at this on a more personal level and see what, what I was – what she was, how this happened, everything. So it's I just, just about talk. a book. But no, the thing. lawyers go with blah, 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 legal mumbo jumbo, blah, blah. Here's a fucking folder that's three feet thick that justifies my pay. And here's this. And, and, and a clerk well, comes you out. Have, don't you have a better lawyer than she does? Or you have um, to pay oh, for her lawyer. I got I, I, yeah, yeah. Don't shouldn't you have a better lawyer than Oh, oh well, I should. <laughs> I went to. That could have been one of the problems. I went to like oh. Bill's Discount House of Lawyers. <laughs> oh. You went to. Oh. You I went was, to Sokolov. I was one eight one eight hundred cunt. And this if, if you are hurt in a trip or fall accident, or if you're getting divorced, call us up. Oh well, that could have been one of the issues. I went to Binder oh. and Binder, the guy oh, with the wacky I, hat. I, I forget. Oh. This was this was pre. This was pre this was everything. preheated pool man, right? We were doing okay, this was... but we weren't doing. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. So it was just kind of like, well, now nah, you know, then, because uh, the laws, a lot of times, yeah, the guy has to pay the girl's legal fees. So a lot of times, the guy winds up paying for a better lawyer for the person that's fucking them. <laughs> so you're like, wait, wait, how does this work? Mm -hmm. How does this work? So. uh... <sighs> It's not it's not a fun thing. It's not fair. It's not just. And I think until that is settled, I will never listen to some fucking bitch tell me that she needs a, a, a you know, the a equality in the workplace or any fucking where else until they still work this divorce thing out. Fuck you. You're getting paid for doing nothing. But here's the then, weird... then go fuck yourself. Then make less on the workplace. Make less. Uh, let us hang up nudie pictures <clears throat> and don't go to human resources. All that shit comes into play because you fuck us over in the end. This is the weird, the, 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 the strain, the part of it that gets me too as a fucking misogynist and shit. It's is like <laughs> as a professional misogynist. As a professional misogynist, it's like. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna be, and I'm sure you must have covered this shit at some point. But we're gonna we we gangster now. We we're gonna take, we're gonna smash, we're gonna kill like you motherfuckers, and we're gonna force you to relinquish what you really can do. Like yeah, yeah. we're gonna we're gonna take your madness out of the equation. Exactly. So yeah. you can't sock a bitch. You can't fucking toss her, hang up out of out the window by her feet. No <laughs> man physicality shit gone. So now you. You, you, the equal playing field is because men are surrendering madness and women get to be the bosses. Right. But at the end of the day, if you slip and you be a man, they go back into woman mode. Right. Oh, my lordy lord. How could you I'm mode? Helpless. And, uh, and, and, and then you get fucked over. Yeah. Cause they, so, so either we got to sit down to pee, <laughs> which is what they're going to make us do now soon. You're going to have to sit down to pee. Because they can't stand up to fucking right, piss. Right. So everything that they're getting, man, is based on us going, okay, and, and we still getting fucked at the end because they get to be girls. Yeah, they, At the they end can of switch. the fucking day, you get to be a girl. They get to put on two personas uh, based on what they need. And you know what it's based moment. on? You know what it really at the end of the day is? Here's what they're angry about at the end of the day. And this is the thing. I'm not fucking condoning any violence towards women i've never not. never fucking hit a woman in my, in my life but they they the thing they're still angry about is they can't jump higher and they can't beat a motherfucking arm wrestling <laughs> and they can't open up fucking pickle jar and they can't reach the motherfucking rice up in the cabinet that's at the end of the day they suck as a creature i want to add to your list <laughs> bring it all the way around and they can't hit a, a driver uh 300 yards no yeah see what i do right there that's it. Brought it right that's around it. to the beginning of the show, my friends. It is what it is. And that's why women's golf sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Build girl golf courses. You want to play on man? 
big giant Chinese girl wants to play with men. Dude, the look, worst man can beat her every single day. Let, let me yeah. go. Let me go real inside yeah. for the golf fans out there. If the women played uh, Beth Page Black, they would they would throw their clubs down and get into the fetal position and cry. And just, that rape shower cry. Yeah, they wouldn't make it to the 18th <laughs> hole. They would they, they would just lose their minds. But they'll out change there. it for them and make it a par 46. <laughs> well, yeah, so they can fucking <laughs> so they can play better. Well, there's the lady. <laughs> Jeez. I know it's the funny, lady but what does it mean? It's going to be like, okay, I got to hit it 86 times, so I'll get she, she An eagle will be, 16 shots will be eagle yeah. or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, we don't have, eh, you don't have respect for women golfers. No. If your tee doesn't no. go past the, the, the women's tee, then you have to play the rest they of the They call it dick out. Yeah, you got to play the rest of the hole with your dick out. If you're, dick out. Yeah. I don't think anyone's done. It's just funny to say. Oh. 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 <laughs> Awkward. You mean. Oh. Ever you, played dick out? You mean everyone else doesn't actually take their No, dick no. Out. It's like, yeah, oh. dick out. And you all laugh and then you just <laughs> tee off. You, you take your mulligan. <laughs> oh, but I love broads. Take your mulligan. <sighs> I, uh, we love you broads anyway. Yeah, you love them. You do love them. <laughs> but it's just them. like you're a girl. I, like, I argue all you the time, my girl. Them. Just be, you're cool if you figure out how to be cool as a girl. So I'm trying to be cool as me. Historic, uh, historic. I love, I love data. girls. In, I love girls in the workplace where they're trying to be equal to us, but they're they're wearing skirts and the cleavage is out and stuff. I'm like, you're a girl. In the end, you're just a girl. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know, why? You why? walk around looking all pretty and smell nice, and you're supposed to yell and scream at us and like tell us what to do, like especially the women bosses. I'm like, shut up. Yeah, stop. With a point. What? Stop, girl. Women cops. <laughs> right. Some five foot two cop with they're... titties and a gun. Right. Hey, pull over. I don't feel like it. Nah. Call your friends because that's the only chance you got arrested me, bitch. <laughs> Unless you shoot me. The, the women bosses, they're in their high heels. They come marching down the hall in their high heels to teach you a lesson with and scold you. With their smart outfit. Like, the <laughs> with their smart little outfit on. <laughs> and you just go and you just look at them and go, you know. You're just hilarious. You got titties. Like, yeah. <laughs> like you want to give him a coochie uh, coo or something. Uh, oh. What is it, Beavis and Butthead? Uh, you uh, <laughs> look, she's trying to be somebody. <laughs> you see a you see a boss with a tie coming down the hall. It's a different story. You're like, oh yeah. fuck, oh, it's oh just shit. Now. And that's what they're mad at. Is ultimately yeah. everything. It's. And again, I keep saying, my, me and my girl talk about all because she really admires men, but she at the same time she just hates them. Yeah, it's because naturally they get no respect from her. like, yeah. no matter what society does, all of this divorce shit, all it, it's still at the end of the day they're still angry because they need help. Yeah, they need from help. Everybody from us. Yeah, for them yeah. to feel they don't feel comfortable being them because ultimately if. Look it. Okay, first of all, we're talking America. Mm -hmm. Okay? Oh, oh hell now, yeah. Now, if we talk in these places where they have things called honor killing, where a where, <laughs> where motherfucker <laughs> can kill his wife because she has bad breath, <laughs> like, th we're talking, this is the society. We're, talk we're talking America. So if, if, if bitches out there will Google honor killing in Afghanistan and Pakistan and see how the bitches get treated out there, yeah. where they start scrapping, they'll, they bury a bitch up to the neck, in dirt and then throw rocks at her head. Rocks at and her it's head. like you this you in America That's is not... why you fucking yapping. What do you do? Make a face? You Ultimately, can, can you imagine yourself. that like you can't think it, it will never go to that here. Ow. But imagine if if somebody just if God came down and said, All right, America, here's how it's gonna go. <laughs> Men can do what the fuck they want. Goodbye. <laughs> you just get some big fucking white bitch in the office talking about hair. Did you just hear God? Come here, bitch. I'm going to put you in this motherfucking cabinet. I'm going to give this fat bitch a wedgie. Can you imagine giving a fat bitch a wedgie? Like, that's what I'm saying. And, I'm, and again, this is not, oh, violence against what This is just, ladies, this is what we do when you're not around. We laugh at you. No matter what you do. No matter what you do. We're laughing and pointing at you. I, uh, I I have a, a, a his, history in the making, by the way. What happened? Anthony's pushing his demo up. What are you talking I'm about? I'm pushing it up. What are you talking about? I'm going t from 23 to 29 now. <gasps> Smart move. I'm pushing the demo up. Oh, you mean you 
Yeah. You don't have anyone in mind. Probably even but 24, maybe. You don't, I, I don't, you don't have anyone in mind, but you're, no, moving, no, no. You're, you're moving your numbers up. I'm just up moving the bit. numbers up. The fucking uh, the the now that you're pushing, 18, 19, 20. But now that you're pushing young. 55, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> it's yeah. 55. 19 is too young. Jesus man. Christ. It's too it Sounds like you want somebody crazy. to connect with, too, by the way. This sounds like you're tired oh, of. Oh, shit. He's, he's getting, yeah. he's, he's getting you know, a little monogamy, Mimi. A little bit. No, little not, bit. You know, you know I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm just, it's not so much what I'm looking for in the older Oh, look at me. Demo. I'm cool. And by older, I, I mean 22, 23. Work. It's what I'm not <laughs> looking for in the younger. Okay. Because I can't fucking handle uh, uh, drama and shit that c- comes out of their mouths yeah. like that. Wait, it's you're just really, like, like bailing yeah. on the and, young? And, and you're getting tired of pulling your dick out in this gray ball hair. And you can just <laughs> feel she's looking at it strange. You can feel that she's sucking your old cock. Because there's a, a heated pool in it for her. That ain't even an issue, Patrice. <laughs> that isn't even, isn't even coming to my mind. You got some drama going on it? What's going on with you that, that, that you've decided thing. to move up the demo? I'm just saying, I'm just what stepping got going up on? the demo. Just stepping up the demo. Mm-hmm. Just, you know, I've noticed over time... It's just, it just. How about you? There's the bullshit ratio. I did the mathematics, and the bullshit ratio, it out. It starts to, to a tip. The scales outweighs the the pussy ratio. What? And, and, yeah. And what would be the perfect age for you? Right now? Yeah, for real. I would say. I wait, wait, wait. Without, because I know <clears throat> you, you can easily go for the joke here. Look. Young young girl comes. Uh, uh, I'm not talking about that. Just mm-hmm. the perfect age for you right now. That'd everything be, considered. Can I have a spread? Everything considered. No, everything considered. I would give me I would a give me a three out. year, like like 24, 25, 26, 25, 26, 27. Really? Wow. Yeah, yeah. Wow. That's still yeah. too young, man. No, no, you know what, dude? No, Patrice, let it no. be. Let our, it, oh, our Anthony's of, growing up a little bit. Okay, oh, it's, I'm if God, we ask, gotta crawl before you can walk. If we, 18, 19, 19, 20. Yeah, if we asked that question a year ago, he that's probably would have said 18, 19, I 20. Said, <laughs> fucking 15, 16, 17. <laughs> 25, 26, 27. Yeah, 25, 26, 27. Wow. That pretty much is fitting in there. Patrice will accept that, trust me. Let me ask you, though, are you get, are you, crazy. okay, I just, I'm curious. Yeah. 18, 19, 20, okay? Mm-hmm. Are you getting them? Off the basis that you're uh, Anthony Cumia, or you getting them because you're you're uh, the A of the O and A. Do you understand what I'm saying? So, oh, yeah. so are you you just meet these young bitches and go, hey, how you doing, baby? And, no, and they liking uh, you like I that? Think, or? I think a lot of it has to do with you know I'm on the radio. Familiarity. Okay, I'm, not the, stupid. Uh, I'm not. I'm not stupid. Yeah, but, but you know, but, I'm just hold, on, hold on, but the Anthony Cumia has plays into it. But then you got you know. Then the guy's a smooth motherfucker when you gotta he's You got to make it work. I'm not, I, don't get me wrong. This question is like, I'm saying, look, I... I get what you're saying. You, you know, wait, it's wait, like wait. A tw- the, the fact that you're, you you absolutely... Uh, I'm not saying that you can't. No, the A, you know, the a from O&A brings him to the ballpark, but the Anthony Cumia... But Anthony has to get, keep Anthony him out Kuma, Anthony Cumia knows seats. how to hit 400-foot home runs, my friend. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta keep the asses in oh, the yeah, seats. Oh, yeah, you gotta keep them in there. <laughs> you have a boring <laughs> game, they're gonna oh, yeah. fucking leave the stadium. <laughs> All right, right. Fair enough, man. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, but it's just it's too too much crappy fucking are you, uh, bullshit. Are you... Uh, like growing up? Are you... No. He's, you, he's wait, getting wait, tired wait. of... He's getting tired of... Uh, He's getting tired. Yeah, it's, it's, you're getting tired. it's too much like... Yeah, yeah. Oh, and you're going to get tired just... of 25-year-olds, too. You're going to have to push 30, like, 30. I'm going to be like, you know, 55, 56, <laughs> 57. That, to me, is 29, the perfect 20, 29 and a half. Uh, are you single? Yeah. Anthony is a single man. Yeah, yeah. Woo! I'm a single guy. 29 and a half. Because 30 is, is getting old. No, there's some... There's some no, very uh, is, hot 30 year olds out there. 30 is not old. That's not old. Do a lot of girls not, think they're I'm, getting old at I'm, that point. 30 is not Jesus old. Making bro. Faces. It's a weird number, but when you see 30 year olds walking around, then they're not old. No, you got to go. I'm not even close to it. Not in terms of, uh, of a partner, hmm. but in terms of a uh, twat factor. <laughs> twat factor. What the fuck? 18, 19, 20, 20. In the twenties, twenty five, twenty three, mm-hmm. is is a delicious age because that's all woman, but still young. Yeah, but now yeah. now there's the other part of that, which is the 
Be 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 be. Shot it. But you know what though? I'm at the thing where like I don't like fucking is not wait 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 priority one anymore. Where you there's things you'll deal with. After a while, you just go. You you know how to. Mm-hmm. Tell a bitch how to shut the fuck up after a young bitch. You'd be like, well, what, you know, shut but, up. But we're missing something here. Uh, we we passed uh, by it way too fast. What, like, what are you sick of, man? Uh, you said the drama. But yeah, what? yeah. Just There's like always the, some kind of drama thing with uh, younger, younger Like girls. stuff you could give a shit about. Like gossip. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All that kind of garbage that goes on is, you know. Eh, yeah, Tired just, of it. Ah, ah. Enough. What is it? Hair. I don't want to. You know. Yapping. Yeah, just that. They all no yap. That. No, it's not even. No, it's 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 like getting about involved others? in in shit. Getting involved in shit. No, no. I, I'm just being vague, but believe me, there's easy there's going reasons for it. Just be easy going. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. don't know how. They'll just, never know how. Just be easy going. You might as well stay at twenty and horse shit and teach them. Right. Yeah. This is breaking news. You have yeah. no Yapping. idea. Ant's, Ant has moved up his demo. To I'm 25, 26, 27? That's where I am now. 20, no, yeah. he went higher than that. His ideal age would be that. But he would go all the way up to what? You said 29? Uh, yeah, I, I... Don't go 29, though. No? Because that's a year of, oh, my God, I'm going to be 30 soon. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> you have a whole... They start losing their fucking minds? So <laughs> cut it off at 28. 28 is a good... Because then... Yeah. Because it happens to all of us. When we hit 29... The, the, yeah, 29 is the the biggest waste of a year ever because the entire time you're 29, you're, you're like, oh, my God, I'm going to be 30. Yeah. That's all you think about. That's true. And then 30 hits, and you're like, what the fuck was I doing? Who, you know? So shit. 40 doesn't have a chance. No. <laughs> no matter what <laughs> she looked like. There's plenty of time for 40. Dude, my no. My sister no. set me up. Uh, no. <laughs> my sister set me up with a 40-year-old. It was the most foreign foreign thing ever. And she was nice enough. She was put together. All that stuff. But I could relate better my, with the yappy. And my sister. <laughs> did I ever tell you this team. story? No. When I was when I was single, my sister was uh, working at a golf course, and she, and she knows I like golf. She goes, "This this is really a beautiful woman that comes in and with her friends. They play golf every Tuesday. Then they come to the bar, and I think wow. I think she's perfect for you. So she doesn't really tell me how old she is, and she sets me up on a blind date. So I'm at Crab Meadow Golf Course, oh, the go-to shit. the go-to course, and I play there a few times. And I'm on the putting green, and I see this girl walking up to the putting green, looking like uh, like she's on the the women's tour, like the perfect golf oh, outfit. No, and she might as well have been from another fucking country. Yeah. I didn't I didn't know how to relate to her, how talk, do you talk to, to her. That? I didn't know shit. We're to immature that. by <laughs> you're an ass. We're immature you talk by to nature. That thing. We're immature by yeah, nature here. So. We're shallow. We are shallow. No, yeah. we, but Ant makes a good point. Like, I never grew up. Ant never grew up. No. So even though, yeah, we are older, like, I, I stopped relating to women my age when I was, <laughs> fuck, man, 28. Yeah. I just stopped relating to them. They were in a whole different world that I could not relate to. Yeah, and then if, if you're talking women in their 40s, now they're fucking, they 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 you go on a date with them, they're placing fucking ovulation kits on the fucking table. They're, it's their last chance. <laughs> fucking turkey basters. Could you come in this? Yeah. I want a baby. Can you come in this? I, and this that. woman. Can you come in this? Can you come in this, Can you please? come in this? Oh. oh. <laughs> and, and the woman. Oh. And, the, God damn. God damn. and the woman was nice enough. We met. We shook hands. Her handshake was firm. And I like, bet it uh, was. Uh, and then oh. it was a firm <laughs> handshake. And I'm like. And also, my phone rings, and it's my sister. She goes, well, what do you... Because she was waiting all day. She couldn't well, wait. Well, what do you think? What do you think? And all I went... I turned away from the girl, and I go, Holly, I'm going to kill you. <laughs> oh. So and is then I was, that good? And then I was stuck walking 18 holes with her, doing chit-chat. And then I walked her to her car. She had a, she had a brand new BMW. She, she's got her own fucking thing going well, on. What if she just and did she what just, an old lady's supposed to do is just go, look, man, let, let me give you some pussy first. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen gray pussy hair in your life? Hell no. Have you ever seen gray pussy hair? Hell no. I seen gray pussy hair uh, about 10 years ago, and I almost fainted. It just... Did it horrify it, you? It was, it was, it was poking up coarse. Um, like there was the regular t- pussy hair, and then the gray hair was just <laughs> popping up. 
<laughs> you know, gray hair, boing. just boing. boing. And I'm just saying, this is old <laughs> pussy man. And, and, oh. and, and But the only chance a 40-year-old guy is that she meets you and goes, look, let me fuck you before dinner. Like, yeah, yeah, as yeah. you get older, it reverses. Like, reverse. the bitch has to call so, you on a date. Okay, we like, I'd like to take you on a date. Right. Suck your dick. No, and then was, let's go and then to maybe we can catch something to eat. Let's go oh, to TGI right. Fridays. No. She she was nice and and she was she was she was good looking and all that but I was thinking to myself I you know I I, I want a family and here's a 40 year old and I'm like man even on the even if this was to work out this would be on the fast track to all right. Do you love me after after a week? I got no week. time. I have no right. time to be wasting, right. my let's friend. Let's get married by yeah. December, That's... and let's have our first kid. You know, That's by it, this time man. next year. Like there was that no time to just <laughs> kind of relax. <laughs> they got no time for investments. No, nope. a four year old bitch can't invest. Come on, Dude. let's move. Oh, move shit. along. Marriage. Come on. We're married. We're having kids. Me Where and my go? girl just had a f- yesterday. Talking about kids, because she's asking me, "Do you want to have kids?" I mean, she you're gonna love have each other. You're gonna have one. She don't. You're gonna have she one. She has a kid already. Mm-hmm. But then we're talking. Like she's like, "Well, I don't know if I want to have one." And, and she says, "Do you want to have one?" I said, "Maybe." And I just joke and I go, "Hey, you know, I just, you know, just oh. I just shoot one off in a in a twenty two year old or something, have her take care of the kid." She's like, "Well, what about um, what was they call that fucking? I take my egg and then oh, you yeah. take your sperm." I said, "Well." No, nah, I want to fuck the bitch. Can't you just <laughs> put your egg in her and I can still fuck her and then maybe I can fertilize your egg in her? Like, I still want to get a little something out of her. I wanted to get that young pussy. Like, you're, like, talking about yeah, a, yeah. you're talking about a surrogate mother. A surrogate mom's, but I'm like, nah, I'm just going to get a young bitch pregnant. <laughs> and, she, but I, and she has a kid, by, but she has a kid from she, another guy. But she, I mean, your girl really loves you, so I would yeah, she would want to have a kid with you. Where it's yes. your kid. You guys made this. But I love her kid as if yeah. the kid is mine. Right. And her kid is half of another guy's, you know, How old's the sack. kid? How old's the kid? Well, you, I've you known... barely talk about uh, her on the show. Well, she's a you know, because I'm an asshole. I don't want to talk about the kid, but she's a, she, the kid's 10. Mm-hmm. But I so met her when I... she was, I think, I think four. Right. And, and, I mean, the kid loves me, too. So the kid, but her, her, the father's around. He's not an absentee father. They're is just not together. Guy? I never met him. Oh, okay. But, he, yeah, but, but he's but heard her, the stories. But her kid, the, his his daughter loves him. So, okay, so he's, he's, he's a good guy, right. right. And I'm like, well, you got a kid by another guy. She said, but we weren't together. And I'm like, what difference does it make? Let me pop this chick, get her, <laughs> get her pregnant, and you love I half love my logic. kid like I love half your kid and <laughs> shit. Well, <laughs> you know what? I like the logic. It's not... It's not bad. You know what I mean? It, but it, it's like it's like that. That's you get fantastic. Yeah. The, the moral of the story is a guy, and and this is one of the things I talk about. I never met my father, but I'm not angry because I know what sperm sperm means nothing. So I could have been down a tub drain as yeah, yeah. easy as I'm alive. Right. So as men go, there's nothing precious. About the life cycle. We can shoot some sperm as long as it's swimming in anything. When, to women, it's drama. Oh, my God, I'm 40. I can't have a kid. The eggs. Right. We just go, whatever, bitch. You know, Here's a load. Do yeah. what you got to do with it. When you start thinking about where you've left your sperm, you realize how useless that shit is. It's, it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. You treat does. fucking old motor oil that you take out of your car <laughs> with more your care sperm. than your own fucking sperm. <laughs> It's just. <laughs> I've left it in horrific places. Yeah. Just, it's just on the useless. side of buildings and just wherever the fuck. Every egg is precious. The bitches are uh, crazy. Right. They go from their twenties to their forties. Go, oh my god, my biological clock. Just, Guys are like, where is this? I'm, I need more nut coming out. Just like those dumb <laughs> penguins, like just watching over that stupid egg. Oh, that's, that egg. That's how yeah. valuable the eggs are to the women. <laughs> and, and us, man. And we don't. We're leaking care. sperm right now. As we talk <laughs> all sperm is does is ah just end up <laughs> sperm equals oh treated like snot just wiped wrapped up in a tissue and thrown in the fucking garbage i want to have a child with you sweetie i love you with all my heart and i think i want to have a family with you N- fuck that 
On the titties. That's much better. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> on her nose. There you go. We can I, we'll make have a kid. <laughs> or I could just lay this on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's either love and commitment or right on your fucking left cheek. <laughs> she's, uh, she, it's just a fucking a split second decision between uh, life forever with this wonderful woman right. I love and here you dirty stinking ass bitch. <laughs> Take, this. Back. Take this you yeah. fucking Trap. I'll wipe you down and then I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Either or, and we don't, and we, it's a, it's a fucking crying shame. Yeah. And you understand this conversation is why, and I don't get mad that women really do hate us that they should, because you can't, yeah. they God, can't even laugh that, about that no. shit. That's that eggs is funny. precious, precious, precious man. That's precious. funny shit. We gotta take our first oh break. We're God. really late. I called Sam down here because we got some Johnny Cake breaking news. Oh, yeah. We'll do it after the break. Okay. Now, and, and are you getting the Perez Hilton thing? Him, I got it if you want it. Him crying yeah. like a bitch? Yeah, I, I watched that, that too. Biatch. Look, if you're going to run a website like he runs, you know what? Yeah. You know, take it like a man, you little that's, pussy. That's your consequences. That's right. You're going to you're, <laughs> you're you're like run a, a fucking, fucking website. Don't Will call you it your name. I got. You he got punched in the face, and then he Twittered that he needed a cop and all this shit. We'll get into it. Fuck him and Will I am are beefing. I'm not playing this like everyone else. I, I'm glad this fucker got punched in the face. Oh, yeah. The shit he said on his website. Take it like a man. Boom, boom, pow. He got a boom, <laughs> boom, pow. That's right. Boom, Sam. boom, pow. We'll explain next. Uh, Opie and Anthony and Patrice O'Neill. Oh! Oh! Thank you. <laughs> Big Mama Prods on Twitter. <laughs> yes, sir. Big Mama and I've been, Prods. And I've been doing okay with the Twitter, and I've been giving a little this and a that. And capitalize that, yeah. that shit, because uh, that's how you find Patrice. For some reason, if you don't capitalize Are you sure? every letter in Big Mama Prods, you don't pop up. I'm going to fix that if that's the case. Uh, yeah, good. Opie and Anthony, on your radio doll. On your radio doll. Wah, wah, wah. To Perez Hilton. Shut up. Wah, wah, wah. Baby, stick your head in grave. <laughs> Patrice O'Neill is in studio, and he's going to be playing the Houston Improv. God damn, Friday, Patrice, you're on the road again. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Houston Improv. Highly, highly recommend you see Patrice O'Neill. I was at comics right after uh, you were doing a little something, something. Man, they were praising you. They love you down there at comics. I love comics, man. The, I mean, the club themselves are like, man, he brings the people, he brings the funny. We love having him. It's a fun time, man. I like, I like it over there. I like and and comics is a great, uh, a great club here in New York City. But whatever for uh, the people in the Houston area, Houston Improv, Patrice O'Neill, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We got uh, Sam in studio because we got a lot of pop culture type things, and Sam's kind of becoming the pop culture guy for the show. Uh, but I need your help, Aunt. We could go John and Kate. And the news that shocked yeah. the world last night. Did it really shock anybody? We got uh, Perez Hilton shit. And we got uh, Sam and uh, him being uh, misused on CNBC. Yes. Oh, yeah, that was a big story. Um, I think we should push this out I there. I saw that on the news. Uh, to our media I... friends that listen to the Opie and Anthony show, we want, you to help, uh, we want your help. We want to push this out there. I knew it was all uh, crap I'm being... when I saw it. Manipulated by the media. You were. Yeah. Well, they, well, they do this all the time, and we finally caught them. We did a whole thing on the uh, the iPhone. You got yours, right? You got the 3G thing in. <clears throat> yes. And you're loving it? 3GS. 3GS. Picked it up. I'm loving the hell out of it. Uh, the video's great. If you've noticed, I twittered uh, uh, a couple of videos over the weekend. Nice. Yeah, and the uh, it's very clear. Mm. Oh, you Very can twit clear. videos. Hell yeah. fucking yeah. We're on, like, on what? Twit, Twitvideo.com? Twat, twit, twatty shit. twit. I think it's twatty twit. I'm using twatty an twit. app Lee. that is called, <laughs> I'll tell, let me t tell you the app I'm using. All right. I'm using Twitilator. Twitilator. That's what I'm using for the, uh, for the pictures. Can you get But a then I use Tweety for uh, everything else. Now, Twitterly, uh, uh, Twitterlater. <laughs> Twitter, Twitter later. Over 100 MBs? On your videos? That's uh, what I oh, need to know. Oh, fuck yeah. Really? I put some pretty, pretty yeah, but, bulky vids up. Yeah, but I mean, with a, with a phone vid, you know, you'd be surprised how, how long the videos could be before you use up your 100 MB. Yeah. I this need to know. It's pretty clear. Pretty clear. I don't know. I, I don't know. I, you know something? I gotta download it and see what the size is. What's the, uh, what's the best feature of the new 3G? Best feature? Is the video? 
the camera itself. The video and the still camera. How many pics? Does it have a flash clear. yet? No flash. Don't need no fucking flash. How many megapics? I can adjust everything on this brightness. How many megapics? Um, Better not be over my 3.2. I think I'm 3.5, right? Oh, oh shit. shit. Not sure. Might just be 3. When's the new Blackberry coming out? Three. This is only three months old, but I, think I need a new three. one already. I think it's 3. You got a bold? Three. I fucked that bold. I got the new curve. My guy said, don't go bold or storm when I got this. Oh, well, fuck your guy. Because yeah, I crazy. got bowl. But I guess it's great. I can... Uh, I could run uh, the SiriusXM app. Was How is that, that over the weekend? They gave me an iPhone to try out the cool, SiriusXM app, and I just gave it to somebody. I hope they didn't want it back. Oh, <laughs> Oops. He said for a couple of days. Jeez, <laughs> dude. <laughs> they gave it to me. They're like, I know you're a BlackBerry guy, but this SiriusXM app is very exciting. It's what, the number two uh, free download or something? Yeah. It's, it's prominently doing, featured on the Apple site as yeah, one of the um, It's doing big apps. numbers, even without Howard, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, so the company goes, here's an iPhone. We really want you to you know, check out the iPhone, check out the SiriusXM app so you know what you're talking about. I'm like, yeah, I'll do that. I went down to Philly, man. I don't even know who has it. <laughs> They're not getting it back. Are you shitting me, really? For real. God what damn. did they say, Sam? You, you were said, there? Yeah, they told you if we gave you an iPhone for a couple of days, would you test out the app? And then, like, the uh, oh, impression man. would be to bring it back, like, I don't know, today maybe? Uh, yeah, yeah, like and, oh, one day. Oh, well. Like, over the weekend, it was just, just something to... Yeah, oh, well, hold on you know to what? it for a little bit. You know, when I go to Philly, they love free stuff down there, man. <laughs> Apparently and I met so. A, I met a guy at the Phillies game. He's like a Miller Lite rep. I go, well, you better get a pallet of beer over to my uh, my, my father-in-law's house immediately. That's, his, my that's, house? His, that's his beer of choice. Need some kegs. You're not a Miller Lite guy. No, I'm a... You gotta but... be a Miller Lite guy. Oh, shit, that's right. So no. if that guy's listening, you better get that pallet together. <laughs> <laughs> They're waiting. They're thirsty. Uh, the Sirius XM app's good, though? Yeah, the Sirius know, XM app is uh, <laughs> really good. And there's just like a few small features that are really good on this. Uh, they've improved a lot of their things like the stock ticker and uh, mm -hmm. uh, location. Mm -hmm. um, I could do everything from here. I'm not even going to lie to you. My, I'm, yeah. I'm a little nervous right now because you know I'm a BlackBerry guy. Yeah. But I've been talking about uh, this this uh, this new iPhone with people. and yeah. I. A little nervous. Black BlackBerry better step up their game a little they're, bit. The people are digging the shit nervous. out of this right now. A little nervous. Still no picture messaging. Still, but that's oh, not, not the, nervous anymore. It's not the right. phone's fault. Wait, you don't have it's picture the, messaging still? It's not the phone's <laughs> fault. I've been picture messaging for two years. It's the stupid AT and T's Maybe fault. Three. And let me tell you something. At this point, I could video uh, Twitter. Mm -hmm. So what the fuck do I care if I get picture message? I understand. And I can email fo uh, videos and pictures to people. I, I, I know the text would be great. I would like to be able to text and, like, here's a picture. Yeah. But there's workarounds that aren't that big a hassle. But you can email a picture. Yeah, yeah, fuck yeah. But you have to, what, go to the other site still or no? No, I just go right here. Like, I, I could email. So you could take a picture I can of go like Patrice this. and email it immediately to somebody. Here it is. Here's Patrice. I go click. Patrice never smiles in pictures. What's there that about, go. Patrice? Are you the angry black guy? Now I take <laughs> what are you I doing? take the Patrice picture. I want a, one picture of you smiling. I go email photo. <laughs> oh, it's the grill. There it is. Now I, I go. I got, oh, I got the bad peak. grill down below. <laughs> All right. I'm a lot sexier not smiling, man. <laughs> you can I, smile with your lips closed. I I, I learned that one. Mm -mm. I look like a fucking Send. dick. <laughs> you look yeah. like a fucking dick. When dude. I smile, I just don't have a good smile, man. I always wonder why I couldn't get a picture of you like looking happy. If somebody not has even a, smiling, just if, I, if I ever get famous happy. and somebody has a picture of me smiling, that's a it'll be worth something one nice. day. I don't smile in pictures. Did you get it done at? La -de 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 -da. See, let, too let me, long. Me I would have. No, I would have. It's, it's, I would have been done already. You would have been. You, I would have been done. I just took the picture. <laughs> I just took the goddamn picture. Let me see. It's. Look, I think it's sent. I think it's there. They're already checking I think out the that I took. I think you sent it yours. to me. I sent it to you. I don't want a picture of fucking Patrice. <laughs> I wanted to show you how fast I could. All right, I want to see the quality. <laughs> Why you got fucking my self esteem? It's an experiment. <laughs> because I I gave up on you a while ago. Uh oh, wait a every minute. time we make a video or a picture of you, it's like I don't think it attached. This guy isn't this angry. Uh -oh. I got it. Oh, there it is. Okay. High quality. All right. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's that's pretty good. Why can't it go full screen though? Tap it, maybe. Tap it. Oh, it does, you don't tap the screen. No. See, oh, see, I could do this. See. See, here's what I let me let me let me show oh, you a little thing boy. about Patricky's picture here. What do you mean I here. can't tap? Look, I can tap. 
Yeah, you, you, you tap the shit out of that oh, phone, and it ain't going to do anything, Nothing's is it? Nothing's happening. See, here's what I could do. See Patrice's picture? Yeah, but I, Watch this. Two fingers. Oh, look, look, look how big Patrice is getting. Whoa. Look at this. Look at that. Patrice. And then look at this. Oh, I yeah. go to landscape yeah, mode. Good for you. Look, watch. I go and landscape I, mode. I go back again. Watch. Landscape mode. <laughs> it didn't do shit. Oh, Look, man. No, turn your head sideways. Oh, oh, okay. See? Now it works. The, at oh, the end of the day, the manual. fucking app, the, I, the iPhone is for teenage girls uh -oh. to have fun with. What? Blackberry is it's, for fucking businessmen. It's a man's men. phone, right, This Patrice? is a fucking man's phone. A man's phone. phone. A man's this phone. shit a is business for business Raise your emails. Blackberry in the air, Raise brother. your Blackberries, motherfucker. Raise, that's right. This that's shit's for business. This is, this, is, this is for functionality. That's right. And, and, yeah. and, and, and All right, you corporate chill man. <laughs> I'm into the arts, man. <laughs> this shit is for fun. The iPhone you can have for fun. It's a toy. This yeah. shit is business, man. We're all business, <laughs> right? Business. Patrice? Business. Business. To business. Business. It's sucking up the uh, sucking up. You can have forty emails and this will fucking just. By the way, look what I do. To right the, off the server. Okay. Look what I do. The Patrice picture. <laughs> what? Delete. Delete. <laughs> look how fast he deleted. Look watch, how fast he deleted. Watch. I want you to watch. Delete oh. goodbye. <laughs> Delete. I don't want to know the picture of you being angry black man. Well, I right told now, you why I, man, I don't, no, I'm not, not angry. I just don't smile. How about an in-between shot? <laughs> well, he that <laughs> I gotta practice a smile. That's not good, man. <laughs> By the way, uh, a million iPhones sold over the weekend. Is that true, Ant? Yeah, they really, uh, Is that a good number? Killed. In this economy? A million of anything Kells, is good, yeah. obviously, but were they expecting to sell even more than that? No, I think with this economy, I think they're right on target there with that one. I uh, didn't stand online. I got to thank my friends there at the um, Roosevelt Field Mall. Uh, you mean Evan didn't get it for you? No, Evan <laughs> did nothing for me. Oh. I had to go down there and uh, I had a buddy down there, kind of. I, I actually used my old iPhone to email him in the store, and I was like, I'm on a line out here. I said, uh, if you could do anything about it, I'd appreciate it. If not, I'll see you in about two hours. And uh, send, and then there he was going, hey, psh, come here, come here. Nice. Yeah, hell's yeah. Well, speaking of the iPhone, on Friday, we sent Sam and Evan to try to get Anthony an iPhone. Yeah. Uh, it was a whole big deal, Yeah. whole big thing, and Sam got on CNBC. That's correct. And this is the original clip I want to play for everybody. And I want our media buddies to really, you know, listen closely. Maybe the Breit Bart people. Yeah, we're talking Bart. to you, Breit Bart. Because uh, the media does this all the time. They misrepresent all the time, and they cut up video to 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 satisfy their the, their angle on stuff or the need for something. Maybe they went out there, they didn't get what they needed. Right. So they take other shit and cut it up. And make it what they needed. Right. So here's the original clip of Sam carrying on and CNN, CNBC having the cameras in his face. Oh, we're going to do an interview for CNBC. Oh. Hold on one sec. Oh, nice. The iPhone 3GS. We love iPhone and Apple products. 3GS. We love it because it's got picture messaging soon. And hopefully better reception, maybe. 3GS all the way. <laughs> Hopefully we'll spend five to seven hundred dollars today. On this Apple product. Uh, I'm going from the BlackBerry to the 3GS because I'm tired of all my calls going through. <laughs> <laughs> well, I went on all these internet sites and they all told me that Apple has a touch screen. And so on the iPhone, you can actually touch the screen to text. And so that was the draw for me. I'm sick of BlackBerry. BlackBerry is yesterday. iPhone is now. 3GS! 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 <laughs> So obviously, Sam is so obviously he was being so fucking sarcastic. sarcastic. He's beating up the iPhone. He's beating the fuck out of me. He's right? tired he of getting all my calls. <laughs> right. Calls going through. Yes. I mean, come on. So this is how it was played out on CNBC for real. Listen closely. You know, I mean, they started off with the touchscreen, and everybody else followed thereafter. It's a new generation, so that's great. BlackBerry is yesterday, and iPhone is now. <laughs> that's, a, that's all they played of me. 
Those motherfuckers. <laughs> sound bites, motherfucker. It's That's all, all it is. Sound, sound bites, man. Gotta they, be careful. Now it looks like another just fanatic yeah. uh, uh, See, iPhone guy coming out. At first, I thought it wasn't really a big deal because everybody pretty much heard it on this show. But then I sent the CNBC clip to my dad as a joke, like, uh, look at me on CNBC. I'm famous. And then he sent it back like, you know, I can't believe you're just pandering for the iPhone. And I was like, like I, no. I wasn't. I was being sarcastic. Yeah. He was like, no, I saw the clip. So now, <laughs> now everyone thinks you're like a big... little douche. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> everyone thinks you're an iPhone, you know, fan. And then, boy. Yeah, now somebody, you're a fan. Somebody called me this weekend that didn't hear the show, but they saw me on CNBC and they were like, yeah, so you have an iPhone. Uh, is it worth the upgrade? See? And I was like, no, I'm talking to you on a BlackBerry right now. I don't have an, I don't iPhone. Have an iPhone. You don't You don't even want an iPhone. That's no, clip, I had huh? an iPhone, and I switched to BlackBerry, and I'm not <laughs> switching back. I s- used to have an iPhone, and I stopped using it to get a BlackBerry. Let me see that <laughs> dummy in action. Uh, let me see him moving. phone is now. Look, they cut out my 3GS. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is the innovation on it, you know, the touchscreen, you know, I mean, they started off with the touchscreen and everybody else followed their after. There's the media. generation, so that's great. Blackberry is yesterday and iPhone is now. (laughs) Ah, (laughs) You can see me chanting so bad. I know. There's just Uh, nothing about this iPhone. It doesn't, uh, the, the one feature, one, that makes me interested is that you can, and this ain't even shit. Mm. Where you can pull out your your voicemail. That's the only interesting thing. Where you can look at it and go, oh, oh yeah, yeah, here's yeah. this voicemail you don't here. Have to run through as all opposed of them. to running through them. But yep. ultimately, wow, I don't a give a feature. shit. It's a great feature. Other man. than that, there you go. It's what you like. I mean, you they're, just they're don't doing, know. You don't good. know enough about it, Patrice. They're doing That's good. All I'm does saying. nothing. You don't know enough so, about it. Someone marched. Everything. Someone marched down that uh, hallway and tells Steve Blatter that I gave away that iPhone. Does everything. And he's not getting it back. <laughs> you know what I want to do? Maybe, uh, maybe Patrice. Good luck uh, to you. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe I want to do my banking. Okay. There I am. I'm banking right here on the run. Maybe I want to uh, trade uh, some stock. <laughs> do I want to trade stock? Yes. Now me trading. There we go. I'm uh, going to trade some stocks. Yeah. There we go. I could do you. that. I'm doing. Uh, maybe. Maybe I want to know what. Uh, maybe. I, Maybe I just want to know what Article 4 of the uh, United States Constitution is. <laughs> I got it. Well, maybe. I could do that, too, m- Maybe in terms, of, library. In, in terms of BlackBerry. <laughs> maybe of a button. Maybe oh. you want to have technology that you haven't changed in about 10 years. And now you're going to have a phone, right? All these things you're touching. Yeah. Next year is going to be, oh, shit, we forgot to put... Then I pick All up, the good shit on this iPhone. We're gonna get up oh. the next year's iPhone then I get and next make year's. the one that's four hundred dollars when it came out ninety nine dollars. Exactly. So they do with everything. That's though. what they do. Oh, they do that with all. They don't technology. do that. They don't do hey, that with the BlackBerry though. It's what? what Fuck yeah, what? they do, bro. Look at the old BlackBerry. They Tell do me. with every phone, Punch every up a piece picture of technology of the first we fucking buy. BlackBerry. <laughs> Give me a brick, with, that brick fucking piece of shit. With the antenna. <laughs> with an antenna. <laughs> with an antenna. <laughs> the fuck is that? Hey, Ant, I don't want to drop this. Sam, uh, people are suggesting you sue CNBC for misrepresentation. Oh, I think I should. I was about to ask, is there an app on the iPhone that l- helps you fight back against the media? Right. I would I would definitely fight call him out on this. against the media. And Stephen S. from Bayshore, drop the prime time. It's now Apple shill Sam Roberts. That's ah! not what's... It was that quote shell. was taken out. It was taken out of quote, out of context. If if any of our bloggers are listening right now and you want an exclusive interview with Sam Roberts, please give the show a call immediately. I know I, I know Crunch Gear is all over this. Crunch Gear first broke the story. What did uh, Crunch Gear write? Crunch Gear reported. Uh, it's it's a Brooklyn dude that loves our show. Yes, because he reported that it was heard on the world famous special delivery with Sam and Dave Fuck show. Oh, <laughs> really? Fuck Crunch Gear. It was discussed there. Uh, wow. Yeah. So, I mean, obviously, Crunch Gear is very much into getting the inside scoop. Mm-hmm. But I think now is the time that we go all over the place with this. You should call uh, CNBC and say, look, what the fuck, man? That's not what I said. It's not what I... I'm not was happy not, about it. It's not my intention. Hell it's no. Not, it's not the way I want it to be used on television. They should have used your original clip because it was really funny. That and was Very funny. sarcastic and shit. But they don't and like they could have gone back and gone, well, obviously someone isn't as happy with the iPhone as <laughs> some of the other people. <laughs> Is that the original BlackBerry? All right, look at this fucking thing. Yeah, Patrice. well, what, what the fuck? Look, that hasn't changed. Look at it. Monochrome <laughs> screen. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, dude. But it's, it's, it's a break. It, we had to start it's somewhere. Still, it's still the same basic technology. Great. Man. So you're saying they've stood still. That's good. 
No, but it, yeah, it's because what do they call this? What it, it what it does with with emails? It, it push it, push email. It's still you can push email. You don't not like push Blackberry. emails. No, what do you mean? You push? have to yes. you, you have to mean do it, it, through. it. It grabs it. It takes your email in real time, grabs it off the server. You don't. It's not. I don't. New my shit GS comes. My this. email yes. comes in as if I'm from a computer. So it doesn't look like I'm I'm texting you from Apple phone at Anthony. It's it's fucking my email address. Mm. This Cynthia shit is, Asia. you got to, it's what not push. Look, look, here's my email. Boom. Here it is. That's Patrice. It's not taking off a Take server. It. What? It's not taking it off yes, a it server. Yes, it is. It's taking it off of uh, Yahoo. But you have to, you have to download that shit, though. Yeah, like, it's you have different. To, it's different. It's not like the only thing it really real time emailing. Man. iPhone pushes for the Mac mail. So, like, if I wanted to get my Gmail as quick on the iPhone as it did on my BlackBerry, I actually had to forward all my Gmail to my Mac mail address because it only pushes mm, the Mac email. I'm Push. telling you. New data will be pushed to your phone from the server. Fetch new data. Manually, I have it set, but every 15 minutes, every I, I could set it advanced. Here's, here's, my, here's my... It's a wonderful here's my machine. Push. See? I could fucking it's push my email. It's a wonderful machine. This so thing. don't misrepresent but this. But this is this the BlackBerry is is practical business use, man. It's not for games. Well, that's good. It's not for games. Well, this is practical business use and games. No, no, it's we're not all practical. Business. <laughs> we're all business. With that's not a practical business use. How man? is this not practical? It's business? for fun. No, it's not a toy. Sounds like Patrice. Business and... people don't have that. Sounds like Patrice and Opie or CNBCing the black. The business iPhone. people have two phones. You, you know got the BlackBerry why? when it's all business, and then when they want to get fun and creative, they have the. Let other me tell iPhone. you why business people don't have this, and they have a BlackBerry because the fucking corporate guys that give you the Blackberries. By the way, no one buys the fucking BlackBerry. They work, and then some fucking business guy. Here's your official BlackBerry. Now that you're part of the corporation, welcome to the club, son. <laughs> and, and they don't. They don't want you fucking around with all of the things you can do on the iPhone because productivity will drop if you're, you know, on here uh, uh, on AIM or listening to Sirius XM on the new app or uh, 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 Google. And don't uh, forget BlackBerry has their touch tone version, which is the uh, Storm. It sucked a dick. It failed. Everyone hated it. It's true. What? Really? Yeah, Storm yeah, failed. That's what I'm saying. Look at this. It I really can go to fail. Netflix. I can fucking one push of a button and I could put down uh, what I want Netflix to deliver to me. Immediately, right there. Have you tried a BlackBerry? Yeah, it sucks ass. They tried to give me one. <laughs> they tried like to give ass. me one. You didn't really try it, though. They tried to give me one. I, I was using it for a day, and I said, first of all, Goodbye. why do well, I want the corporate... What was your thing before that? Trio. Uh, I had a trio. I had, I had like, five phones before this, and, and one, had, like, got TV and shit, and I used to watch TV on it and stuff. On a little fucking but one now by you're one so, screen. You're, you're, you're oh, a yeah. diehard Apple now die hard. There, there are problems. I'm not going to say it's perfect. He's all but in. this fucking thing is, I cannot go a day without this thing. Can't. If I left this home, and I don't like I'd that it like, doesn't have a flash. Every time I see somebody pull out a fucking Apple phone, it's no flash. The look, camera's no good. They just got video. Taking, what are you it's ridiculous. Pictures of fucking what uh, uh, models. They, you need you a flash a when it's dark. You don't have a flash on your iPhone. No, <laughs> oh, iPhones I don't have my flash. Ass off with my I, BlackBerry. That's right. Blackberries take good pictures. pictures. Are fine. No, that's why Patrice no was a little dark it's for in that picture. It's for news. What? It's for news. It's for <laughs> it's for it's for it's for grown up things like the news. <laughs> like if I, I if there's the something news. going on, I turn my fucking video on, put the light, and it's BlackBerry pictures come out perfect. Oh, you see that flash head? What did it do? Look at it. It lit you up nice. Look at that <laughs> shit. Look at that. That's yes. Did you, you see nice. that funky shit he took of me? That's right. <laughs> it looked like a prison I, picture. I'm not even going <laughs> to deal with you. Oh, yeah? Phone there. showdown. Look at that. There's no fucking difference in lighting. Well, because well, I'm under light. a huge Look. fucking sp a spotlight. Come on. That's perfect. Oh, that is a delicious picture right there. That is a <laughs> good picture. That yeah. does look good. That's HD, That's I think. <laughs> <laughs> HD. I think. That's an HD picture. All right, listen. How about I'll... your video, my friend? <laughs> my video is strong. How about you? How's your video? I just love All the right. Blackbird. Take, yeah, take a couple of it. seconds of video. Of what? Of, of me, and I'll it. take some of you. No, hold Here on. We go. Hold we on, go. hold on. I'm ready. What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you got to go through to take video? Hold on a minute. Come on, I'm ready. Video. What are we going to do? I'm taking video. 
I'm taking video of Opie. Can you get your? I'm f- taking a. I'm taking video of Anthony. You get all your right? funky fingerprints all over the Here thing all go. the time. Patrice, there say something is. for my video. Make it good. Here we go. You're not even making my video good. Motherfucker, you gave me two seconds to get my shit together. I'm on your side. Well, make something good. I only have thirty seconds, or I can't upload this. Thirty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Say something funny. I got uh, 10 yeah. seconds. I'm not yeah. WC Fields. Like I'm just, <laughs> <laughs> just take your video and send that shit. <laughs> All right. Now. All right. Look now. at this video. Look at this video. Now, now, now. Now see Opie's video. Oh, shit. Here's mine. All right. Well, Here's mine. Now, wait, now look, I'll pan yeah, around. Yeah, that's wonderful, Ant. Here it is. Uh-huh. Here it is. There's Patrice. Shit. Everything looks good. Wow, that's great. I'm wide, I'm wide screen. Wow, it looks like IMAX. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I might have to apologize. Uh, that fucking right. video's now pretty damn good. Let's see Ope's video. All right, hold on a minute. Why? Why can't you just hit a button? What do you got to oh, do? Oh, shit. What do you got to do? I might have to go uh, fucking get out. I might have to get out. My phone's put away Come on. Already. Come on, nigga. Come on, man. <laughs> He's selling his iPhone to me. God damn. <laughs> what do you got to push? <laughs> What is he doing? Because <laughs> what is it? What do you think? You know why? The film? It's no, it's see. meant. It's meant. It's functional video. This is the brilliance of me. This is the New brilliance of me. Video. While you're showing, <laughs> while you're showing the boys your video, I just uploaded it to my Twitter. No! Oh! Opie see. Radio on Twitter. See, I went for a right. cheap plug. Well, I used you for a cheap plug. Now I gotta fucking upload mine. It's called a nonsense video, by the way, because there's nothing going on. Because there's nothing going on. I wrote on. a nonsense video of Patrice and, and Anthony. Yeah, Library Media. All right, give it some no, time, though. Yeah, It's going to take one. probably 20 minutes to get up there. <laughs> there it does it take is. a while. Choose that. Oh, does it? Yeah, What's it taking does. so long, Anthony? Shh. Twitter is up, but their servers are so overloaded. Please try again. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's because they're all looking at my yeah. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers to the king of Twitter right here, Opie Radio. Thank okay. you. Okay. I think I, oh, it's going now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's uploading. Yeah. I want to hear it. I got Wi-Fi in this mofo. Do you? Uh, nope. I got some Wi-Fi Useless. shit happening. Yeah. Vid. It's a it's a baby Don't computer. Say useless vid. I said nonsense vid. Well, mine's useless vid. <laughs> Motherfucker. Now, and how the fuck do you type a full fledged email on that damn screen? Dude, you can't even tell how how fat people go. <laughs> I can't believe I texted you one sentence and you texted me back three paragraphs in like no time. I fly on this fucking thing. No, you don't. You don't fly, fly on this. This is a fucking. <laughs> you got Look misspellings, though. You still have misspellings on no, your email. No, I have. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not the fault. Do a little fault. spell check, will you? <laughs> that's yeah. not the phone's fault. It's mine. Jesus. My spelling skills are <laughs> leave I'm... a lot to be desired. I'm telling ah, you. Ah, Perez Hilton's crying. Wow. Wow. A lot of exposure, but this is going to fuck him over in the end. Look at him. Fucking oh, what's I the can't matter? take it. What's, you, the matter? what's the matter? You draw jism coming out of people's <laughs> mouths on your site, and you're surprised he got punched? Right. And you yet, fucking asshole. He, he's he's a fan of drawing cocks all over the pictures that he puts he up is. there. And, and little, like, dribbles coming from people's noses because they, allegedly they're into their drugs and their cocaine yeah, yeah. and shit. And then someone finally calls you out and punches you in the face, and you can't take it. Fuck, Fuck off. I got to hit this guy, man. I didn't, I didn't all right, we can do that. We got it right here, right? Sam, yeah, what do yeah. we got? Well, here's what went down. Oh. Perez Hilton was with Lady Gaga at Lady the Much Gaga. Yes, at the Much Music Awards in Canada. Dude, if 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 I hear that fucking poker face, by the way, my, my video's time. up, by the way. Is yours uh is yours up? Oh no. I don't see um I don't oh. see Opie's. <laughs> let me let me hit mine here. <laughs> To see if uh, Anthony's competitive as a motherfucker. He's, yeah, he he yeah. said, "Fuck Perez Hilton." I'm gonna show you this yeah. iPhone. It's beautiful. It's a brand new iPhone too. How about this? And, oh, and yeah. the old bold is comparable to this brand new fucking yeah. iPhone. <laughs> well, right. there it is. Oh boy. Yeah. Well, my video is taking a little longer because it's there a much it better video. Oh, let me turn it <laughs> sideways so it's better. Oh wait. See, I go see it like that and smaller thing. Once you turn it, oh, there it wait, is. Man. You yeah. asked me if my video's up. Yeah. This is the replay, right? Yeah, it's up there. Oh, shit. <laughs> God damn it. No. This is by the live part. I no, mean. see, we're in replay mode. See? No, we're not right now. <laughs> no, see. We are now. And Like, and, if you are listening. And honestly, but- when we when we did this live this morning, yeah, the video was up as well. <laughs> no, no. Now you're just fibbing. So? I'm competitive too, motherfucker. Uh, where are we at? Right, so so Perez Hilton was there with Lady Gaga at the Much Music Awards. You know what, motherfucker? What? What's I, going on? I, I'm bailing on Xanel. Fuck Xanel in the ass. Yeah. <laughs> what site it are you using? Like I'm using the frog one. 
No, Why you're not. Frog. Not for videos. Why frog. Yes, for video. Oh my goodness! What? Yes, for video. The same one. <laughs> I thought you were using that Twitterly twat. Twit. I was until I Furry realized thing. I could do good videos and they upload you, faster. You lied. It. You said you were doing something for videos earlier. What, uh, no, I was using Twitterlator to upload it to the Froggy uh, thing. Sure. Why oh Frog? All right, we got to upgrade, Sam. Uh, you got it. We got to look. I will admit. Things. I will admit Fuck. defeat on my video. But not on the right. But you know what? By by fucking noon today, I'll be upgraded to a much better fucking video server. Uh -huh. Oh, that's right. I still ain't sold. Oh, but, and and Erod e sent me a picture sold. of uh, of Patrice smiling. Oh yeah? Nah, Rock. that's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. Stop it. Let me see. Oh, how long is this gonna take? Oh, <laughs> oh, how many buttons you got? Anthony, can you I like... see it on yours, please? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You got a Blackberry. Oh, I, I, I there, might brother. turn on Blackberry. I don't fucking know. You know what obvious These with that Blackberry? These buttons are kind of loose, by the way. <laughs> you know what obvious with that Blackberry? You're like the woman behind the counter when you're trying to get an airline ticket. <laughs> and they're just going, type, 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 And you don't type. know what the fuck they're typing? <laughs> Half the shit they're typing like, is nonsense. It, it, ta it takes forever, and then they just click that one key going, click, click, click. That's what you're doing. <laughs> I can't even get the Patrice picture because oh. <laughs> my, my fucking Jesus Blackberry Christ. is slow because it's still trying to upload my goddamn video. But thank God oh, your no. bosses could look at every email you send. Oh, no shit. <laughs> that's always nice. That's a nice feature. It's their property. Yeah, Everything on it is what? their property. You know what? My you know iPhone, what? go fuck yourself. You'll never look <laughs> at what's on here. You know what? It's how you look at it, my friend, because I write I write a little jabs in every one of my emails just in yeah. case they're reading. Yeah. <laughs> how many pictures you got on that thing right now? What? Photos. I actually uh, had a... Uh, I didn't have to, but I... Oh, I, you had a what? No, no, no. I had, oh, I, had to clean, oh, no. I had to clean it up. I had like hundreds. Did you? Oh, yeah, for real. Okay. No, you can... Come you to can, think of it, BlackBerry I could probably get, um, fucking I viruses, too. For reals. For reals, yo? Oh, no. Yeah, there's no no viruses on this. Uh, mm. They don't really... Mm. See, problem is everyone's, viruses. everyone's hitting my Twitter right now, so it's making it really hard for oh, the video. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Hey, uh... Figured that much. Where are we at there, Sam? Let's well, move on to this other fucking thing. Right, so the Much Music Awards in Canada, and uh, he, Perez doesn't like the Black Eyed Peas' new album. Why? It's only, why? What did he say? It only has, like, the top two songs in America right so now. So who did he draw with cum coming out of their ears and noses right. because he doesn't like the album? Right. Well, he said Fergie was fugly. Like a... Really? Yeah. See, if you're going to call someone fugly, you deserve to be punched in the face. Yeah. If, and then, you know, consequences. he's fugly. Really? I'm sure drawing a little bit of jizz on Will I Am and stuff like that. See? But he doesn't like this new album. He said nice things about those people before, but he doesn't like this album and he bashed it. Well, so uh, why is he bashing an album that is like, as far as the pop world goes, is because Perezel doesn't like it. Perezel. So, uh, so then the Black Eyed Peas came up to him at this award show and they were like, "Why are you stop doing this? Why are you, you know, insulting our album?" And he was like, kind of like, "I can do whatever I want." So finally. This is Perez. He uh, he did a video blog where he explains that there was a confrontation after the Much Music Awards at one of the after parties between yeah. Will I Am of the Black Eyed Peas, the lead singer or rapper, mm -hmm. and uh, Perezel. This is really it. yes. Okay. I am making this video as Mario Lavandeta. That is my legal name. What happened? Oh shut uh, the fuck! Uh, uh, what do you say his name uh, was? Mario Lavandita or something like that. Okay. What a dramatic asshole. My legal name. What happened to me in Toronto happened to me as a human being, and it should not happen to anyone. Oh, what about, oh what about, but, but all what the things you do, you do to these celebrities in oh. there, and the celebrities' kids, by the way, They're that, human that, that aren't, aren't even in the yeah. fucking business, right? Yeah, the whole thing with Adam Sandler. But they deserve kid. all that shit. What did this he do to Adam Sandler? Cunt. Adam Sandler's kid. Guy. He used to talk about how ugly Adam Sandler's kid was yeah. all the time. Oh, really? Did, yeah. did Adam Sandler's kid deserve that, considering Adam Sandler's so. kid's not in the business even? Not at all. Perez fucking Hilton? Happen to anyone. Violence is never the answer. Ah, it sure is when it's against you, you dummy. <laughs> ah, punch in the face. Good for you. If you're going to play that game, you've got to expect That's maybe some violence, you idiot. My legal name is Mario Armando Lassagera. <laughs> <laughs> and I have something to say. <laughs> I got my... Violence is never the answer. Jeez. You know what? This is it for him. He's not going to be able to live past this. It's embarrassing. What, then he goes back to drawing his cum bubbles? Yeah, cum and bubbles. people are going to be like, oh, okay. And we... fucking big dicks in people's yeah. mouths and, people and things like that. People are just going to punching him in the face everywhere. Get out of here. 
Oh man, this is it. For yeah, him. Just punch him in the face. Yeah, to get just publicity. gonna punch him in the face. Yeah, in the uh, end. Once again, my name is Mario. <laughs> <laughs> I was hit again. Armando Lavandiara. <laughs> <laughs> I was punched the third time in a week. <laughs> <laughs> I think in the end, this destroys what he built up. Why you think? Because he, now he can't go back to drawing cum bubbles and fucking big, huge fucking Why? cocks on the foreheads of Lindsay Lohan and whatnot. Because he, he lost all his credibility. Right, this loses his credibility. He, 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 he loses his credibility. He loses his cum bubble drawing <laughs> credibility. Because <Yeah, yeah. laughs> that's all he was good for. He's not saying anything interesting with his no. blogs. He, he was fucking, Now he can't take it. He was taking other people's pictures and drawing cum bubbles and shit. This is great. So how does he go back to doing that, for real? I've never, I've never ever seen it's this fucking website. It's, it's like a TMZ. Yeah, but you know, I heard thing. of him. Look, wear but, a condom. Look, show some of, uh, you know, the brilliance of Perez Hilton. It's, it's horrendous. It's a douchebag. Ever. Blood should never be drawn... Another person should never be hit. That's why people die. <laughs> what is he wow. babbling about? He was attacked. Yeah, oh, attacked. He's got to go hard at Black Eyed Peas on his website. Otherwise, he loses credibility. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I don't think he will. Like, if he doesn't, then all celebrities know, oh, I'll just go up and punch I'll this guy punch in his head. In the face, <laughs> and he'll stop <laughs> fucking he'll stop talking drawing about cocks in my ass. <laughs> Uh, Perez explains his interaction with Will I Am. Who's right. Will I Am? I really don't know. He's Black the guy. Yeah, he's the no, head guy of the Black Eyed Peas. Oh, he's the head guy. And he's done. He does production for tons of people. He's okay. a big star. So he's he's one of the main guys. And all right, because I, I heard he was the manager. And he was an X, no, no, no. He was an X Men uh, origin, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah, he, he played was in uh, the cowboy hat. Yeah, he played yeah, the nice. cowboy. Nice. Okay. And as we were actually getting ready to leave, Will I Am from the Black Eyed Peas comes into the club, sees me like a heat-seeking missile, and comes directly towards me. <laughs> into and my mouth. Says, Gay Yo, seeking missile. I need you to do me a favor. I need you to never write about my band on your website again. Right in my face, he was saying this. Yeah. And I was like, listen, I can't make any promises, but I'll try. He, and then he says, why are you disrespecting me? Why are you disrespecting me? And I was like, I'm not disrespecting you. And I did the whole spiel again that I gave Fergie. But it was honest. I told him, listen, you know, I love what you did with the Pussycat Dolls. I love the work that you also did with Fergie's solo album. He's like, oh. you need to respect <laughs> me. And at that point, in my mind, I was like, you know what? I am not going to let this man intimidate me. Uh -huh. And I told him, you know what? No, I don't need to respect you. I don't respect you. And that's when I... Uh, made the split second decision that I was going to say what I thought was the worst possible thing that thug would ever want to hear. He did not. I told him, and you know what? I don't oh. need to respect you, oh. and you're a fag. You're gay. <laughs> Stop being such a fag. And then I knew it was going to come on. But I didn't want to get into a fight with this person. So no. I left. We leave. Isn't it safe to say there's one other word that's a, that's worse in that scenario? <laughs> Just a little worse. Wow, you're real brave, Perez. You, you couldn't even go all in. Took, yeah. Taking the slur that would offend Perez Hilton. Right. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. yeah, yeah. he would offend himself. Is he officially gay? Or officially, he's, so, yeah. Officially. He's super gay. Officially, <laughs> officially yeah. super gay. Yeah. Yeah. Gay. Uh, yeah. When you say your S's past seven minutes, <laughs> 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 you're fucking gay. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, so he got all brave and called him a fag. Yeah, wow, Perez. This is Miss Cal. This wow, is because the guy had a problem with what you were saying about yeah. him. Perez is the one who and do destroyed. You understand if, you, if you call someone a fag, guess what? You might just get punched in the face for that. Perez is the one who destroyed Miss California for not supporting gay marriage. Right, yeah, right, yeah, right, there right. You so go. this is the same guy. Yeah. What a douche. Jesus. Always hated this fucking guy. I want this. My name uh. is, um, what's my name? I'm Mario Armando <laughs> Lavadiera. What's my name? And I need the FBI to investigate this hate crime. Uh, he looks like Ant. <laughs> yeah, he does. <laughs> Without his makeup? Fruit. Look at him. Fruit. Perez says Will's manager punched him. Yeah. So yeah. Will didn't even punch. No, but he said, you know, he implied that Will had something to do with it. We leave the club, and as soon as we leave, there's Will I Am again outside of the club. Then his manager, Polo. For the Ron and Fez fans, okay, yeah, let's acknowledge it. 
Sounds just like Fessy. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's writing. <laughs> and Ronnie outside. Hey. And I did not once ever. <laughs> Give me one ounce My of name slack. is Fess Watley. <laughs> and I never got cut one ounce of slack. <laughs> I don't even know if I can play the clip now. Uh. <laughs> we leave the club, and as soon as we leave, there's Will I Am again outside of the club. Then his manager, Polo, whom I have met before, from behind comes up to me, uh -oh. clocks me in the eye right here, and punches me two or three times. I am in shock. I just do not know what to do. I touch my eye, and it was bleeding. I see my fingertips, and I'm bleeding. I think my eye might be falling out of my head. <laughs> I'm in up. shock. I'm, and I'm, then I'm, you can I'm get carried away. Fucked. Everyone's trying to avoid a scene. So after this happened, we leave, and we go back to the hotel. And Will I Am followed us to the hotel. Which can can I say something real quick? It's yeah, just, yeah. If, if the word <laughs> faggot didn't exist, <laughs> you would say it naturally. You would invent it listening to this motherfucker. Like, you would just go, shut the fuck up, faggot. Like, cause, <laughs> to, it's just, it's, it's, it's grating, man. It's, it's fucking grating. It's, shut the fuck up, bitch. What's wrong with this oh, motherfucker, man? God John, John from North Carolina. We're making the same point. He's on the phone. He writes, uh, isn't his blogging considered provoking? Yes, that's what we're getting at. Of yeah. course. He provokes these guys like uh, like crazy. By the way, Perez Hilton was the one news source the, that uh, 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 talked about the Donald Trump buying raw incident as if it was real. Oh, really? Yes. He told said it was a goodbye for Donald Trump. Oh, real. So that's where Perez Hilton's coming from. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And we go back to the hotel, and Will I Am followed us to the hotel, which is where they were also staying. At this point, I'm <laughs> freaking out. Going home. Why did they just follow us outside of the club? I'm attacked. I'm bleeding, and they're following us back to the hotel. I called the police. What? Even though Gaga had a bodyguard, what if one of these people had a gun? Oh, stop it! So this whole thing broke. It's not like they carry gun. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> this whole thing broke because on Perez Hilton's Twitter, before any of this was posted, it just said things like, please help me, call the police for me. I'm at the hotel. What? Why? So it, he's it, tweeting. It took less time to push 911. <laughs> he's yeah. tweeting for the police. He's trying to explain that because, well, I am. Why tweet the police instead of, or tweet. That he needs the police instead of just calling. Instead he's of a calling 911. Because he's, he's a fucking dickhead. looking for publicity. But oh, yeah. Will I Am put up a video right away and said, uh, you know, first of all, he was tweeting. He was like, second of all, it wasn't, it was just some random fan that punched him. Like, Will I Am said ah. all this and some random guy punched Perez. Nice. And Perez said, no, it was Will I Am's manager. But how does he know? That's the dispute. Oh. He said it was definitely Polo. Uh, hold on, we got some, uh, we got uh, Kevin in Florida. Kevin. I'm just waiting for the part of the video where he says that he sold crack cocaine in a limousine to Senator Obama. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't sound like that guy. Crack cocaine for his use, powdered cocaine for mine. For mine. i got to remember that exact quote. It's I then had ever. oral sex with Mr. Obama. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That was in Gurney. Yeah, in Gurney. Right here in Gurney. We were in a hotel in Gurney. Gurney. Were you? Uh, Perez explains what happened when he called police, then starts crying. Oh, no way. Oh, he starts crying big time. Oh, this rules. <laughs> what, a, what a fruit. <laughs> I called 911. I spoke to the police, and they explained to me <laughs> that, you know, they would try to make it, but that there were actual emergencies going on. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened when I called 911 because I had a flat tire. <laughs> yeah. Uh, excuse me. It's right. not Real. Fix it yourself. Right. But you I'm in the dummy. woods, and there's a guy yeah. with a mask, a hockey mask on. <laughs> Don't bug us, bitch. Hey, what's the mainstream media on? Who's who side is like you know the mainstream media on? Like, oh, they'll leak this shit up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, but are they saying? Will I Am is a dirty bastard, or are they, are they on? I don't Perez know. Hill? What are they saying? Uh, Will I Am hasn't been vilified yet because nobody can concretely say right. who punched him. Nice. I think he just this friggin' Perez Hilton. 
looks like a, an idiot yeah, well, in this whole I, thing. Can I tell you, like Mario, uh, black eyed, bl black eye peas or black eye peas, Mondo black eye peas. They're oh, smart yeah. enough to know uh, they got a beef with uh, Perez Hill, right? Uh, you know damn well that uh, you know Will I Am can't punch nobody. Of course not. So they have the confrontation. That Will I Am goes, you know what? <laughs> and one of his uh, one of his entourage type guys, one of his one of his guys that hangs around goes, all right, and yeah. then punches punch him, him in the, the face, face. three him times. The face. They'll, they'll never leaves. know who punched Perez Hilton in the face. They, and it's yeah. perfect because Perez knows exactly who punched him in the face. One of his guys. Mm -hmm. There you go. You know what they should it's have perfect. people. Those guys know how to take care of their shit. They they probably have people that are punch in the face people. Absolutely. It's like you're a punch in the face guy. If I'm talking to somebody, dude, it was you a, come up and just punch him in dude, the face. Was, I don't know you. You, know you get money under and, the table. You never talk to it us. Was, it was <laughs> Will I am had a one punch minute conversation face. with someone and he didn't even say punch him in the face. Yeah. But this guy knew I gotta go punch. I gotta him in go the face punch this guy. A face. little peripheral vision look, right? Yeah, yeah. a little look, a little. Yeah, that you know, look. This is what happened, and the guy just gave him a nod, and that was it. Whoop that sissy's ass. Punch look. him in the yeah. face. So emergencies going on, but I was in fear for my safety, and I had been assaulted. So when the police are taking their time and they're not coming, I'm freaking out. Coming. I took to Twitter. Because I was in shock. <laughs> yeah, because that's, that's the Twitter. first place you go. Yeah, I took to Twitter after that. It's not like you're in the middle of a cornfield in the middle of nowhere. And you're like, oh fuck, there's no phones around, but I got my Twitter on me. <laughs> yeah, oh, you, you, know what I mean? you gotta be somehow. You're in a hotel and you you, you could call on a phone or the phone you got in your hand. What does he have? Like he probably has what two million fucking followers or something, right? I don't know. But. But I want to know if anybody called the fucking cops. They say, well, he thanks the people I'm who sure. did indeed I'm call I'm sure them. they did. Because you know they're idiots who, like, probably woke up the next morning 12 hours after it happened. And oh, my God. in trouble. Oh, my <laughs> God. Help him. Help him. Oh, my God. Someone's speaking up for Rez and Lady Gaga. <laughs> Oh. Who the fuck is Lady Gaga? <laughs> Lady Gaga. She's the it girl right now. Why She's, do you think it uh, rained so hard last night? That was all of Perez Hilton's fans crying alongside him. <laughs> <laughs> I felt helpless. Right. And that was my very public cry for help. Oh, shut oh. And to all of those people who expressed concern and who called the police. Let's invent a new word for faggot. Thank you. Let's put an invent a new word. From the bottom of my heart. <laughs> thank you. Because I am a human <laughs> being. And this ruins him. He's a twagget. <laughs> a twagget. See, this guy. That's a good he's word. a twag. This, this ruins him. This ruins what he was what, what he was doing. Shut, yeah. shut the fuck up, twag. Because, because then he re he realizes, wow, everyone realizes out there, wow, this guy isn't as brave as we thought. Like you know, well, yeah, the whole point of like, if you make fun of everybody, you right. have to be somebody that people can't make fun of. Right. Yes. Or but like yeah. now he's like obviously vulnerable. He's Wagon. so vulnerable. <laughs> he's a this, twag. This ruins him. I'm telling you, six months from now, his sight is nothing. Hmm. He'll get some. He'll get some nice exposure and buzz the next uh, week or two. After that, people are gonna be like, eh. "This is what was his Twitter right there." Yeah. yeah, I was assaulted by Will. I was assaulted. No, 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 by no. <laughs> He shouldn't put that up there because I got the I got the whole line of Twitter. Oh, you do. Go to in a second. Oh, here. Nice. that's that's like the third one in. Oh, is it? Yeah, because I'll give you the whole development of this thing right after this clip. It's almost over. And no one <laughs> deserves to be treated that way. You do. <laughs> Violence is never the answer. Yeah, but drawing the cocks and, you know, what do you, what do you, sometimes people what get punched you, in the face. I just want to make sure we get our happen. point out there. That's what all. What do you think <clears throat> is going to happen? Everything, you know, your freedom to post that has consequences. It gets what, 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 Our freedom to speak on the air has consequences. If you go out on the street and say the wrong thing to somebody, you have the freedom to say it. But, mm -hmm. you know, consequences. <laughs> There's a reason why Club Soda Kenny escorts you out of the building. Exactly. Just in case. Somebody Just punches in you in the case. face. You never know. We've Punch had, in the face, guy. We've had some uh, incidents, but we're not sitting there crying. <laughs> <laughs> Someone came up to me. My real name is Anthony Armando Cumia. <laughs> and I want to tell you, someone came up to me and said, Baba Boomy in my face. I don't need that. I'm a human being. <laughs> Shut up, you fruit. <laughs> oh, God. 
I think even the gay guys that listen to us would admit that this guy's a fruit. I know. <laughs> Jesus. They'd start and eating the... pussy after listening to this guy. Fuck this. And I would never make something like this up or try to use something like this for press. Uh, no. I don't not... need it. And I don't need anything that happened. And fuck you where I am for lying. Shame on you. Shame. God is looking down on you and <laughs> shaming you. <laughs> fuck you, you fucking coward. Oh, really? Fuck you both. You know <laughs> Well, if you I want to bring God into it. I have all respect for all of you and the black eyed peas. <laughs> Look at that face. And Fergie, you're a fugly bitch. Oh, oh that's real brave. Now. Yeah, really? Real brave what now. A fucking because loser. he said in they... your jizz stained bed that you're fucking right. recording this from, from. From the safety of his house. Wow, that's real brave. Because the whole thing started, Fergie went up to him and goes, Why are you insulting me on the website? Like, I thought we were actually kind of friends. Like, I thought we were mm. cool. And he was like, oh, no, no, no. I loved your solo stuff. That's just being silly. That's just for the web, whatever. Right. And so now that Fergie's not there, he's in his hotel oh, room crying. And... You could have said it right to her face. Yeah. That is the best freeze We had one of those ever. guys that used to work for us that, that <laughs> like uh, somebody. saw me right on the street, could have said whatever the fuck you wanted, and then he went and did a cute little article. Wow, that was real fucking brave. You just, <clears throat> you listen to this guy, right? And at the end of the day, you know, you wonder if he has a... You know, friends, you can picture someone sitting there listening to this whole thing. Yeah. And at the end of it, just looking at him and going, so. <laughs> so? Just so what? So? Like, you, you, there's nothing about this that just evokes anything. It's no sympathy. None <laughs> at all. You can't even imagine anybody gives a, a, a fucking shit. Like, if oh. sometimes I watch TMZ yes. and you just got the guy... The lawyer dude, and you just you just go. He 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 needs one too. Just a, <laughs> just a sock in his fucking jaw. Someone just just, just because you know they feel protected yep. by something. But but there's a lot of people in this business that that came from places where you punch you punch you don't when they you don't that. have mental warfare. I don't right. got time to be drawing shit bubbles on on, on you. It's like yeah. it's so like I'm just dude, gonna punch you. you. I'm just gonna fucking hit you. Like there's people who just they come from you don't come from mental warfare. And, and with sissies pointing at you and sorry, and, and sissies pointing at you and doing things and and in your face and and then I don't know if you ever watched TMZ, but it's just the guys just sitting there, just all smarmy. <laughs> Look at him. Look yeah. at him. and they got pictures of people with crust in their ears and shit. Yeah. You just go, yeah. what the fuck? As what do he, you got? Well, I got a picture. As he drinks his drink out of his sippy straw, or whatever. <laughs> like, like, are you serious? Like sippy oh. cup. Dude, I, I got to say this. Andy from Atlanta, check out John Mayer's Twitter in response to Perez. Classic line, John Mayer wrote, I also want to train you in an old martial art called Never Call a Black Dude a Faggot Jitsu. <laughs> <laughs> what do you expect to happen if you call a black guy a faggot? He'll probably you punch you in the face three times. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And, you, and you should understand that consequence. And then if you do get punched in the face, you don't <laughs> run to your yeah. hotel and cry like Wait a little bitch. Minute. And he might as well call him a nigger because it was the same outcome. But, yeah, exactly. To just get sucks <laughs> out his back. He yeah, might as well say the real one. At least he would have been dropping, you know, the big one. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with I him? I like how he, he brings up God, too, saying, you know, yeah. God is looking down on you, shame on you. Technically, if you go by exactly. you know, the Catholic Church, I think God's looking down on some of your activities Actually, and going, ah, that was ah. that was God's curse for you. Yeah. God I mean, was working yeah. through Will I Am's uh, manager. Yeah, you're trying to figure out who punched you. You might want to look at God. There, there are, I think yeah. someone was doing God's dirty work. There are some people that have interpreted the Bible as being very anti-gay. So um, if you want to uh, invoke God. the name of God looking down on somebody. And how um, great is it mm. that he got a black guy from one of the black guy pieces? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why did mean, anybody so say that the whole time? <laughs> well, I mean, it, oh, it, shit. It, it was the obvious, but it just has uh. to be verbalized. Uh, here's Perez's Twitter. <laughs> so it started man, with this at 3.34 in the morning. I'm in shock. I need the police ASAP. Please come to the Soho Metropolitan Hotel now. Please. And then... Um, and then... Ed McMahon's dead. <laughs> oh, sorry. What? Yeah, Ed McMahon died. What? Ed McMahon's dead. Motherfucker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? On the news are you Twittering it? Or... This is how you get followers, man. You gotta how? get breaking. Huh? I'm panicking. Breaking, news? <laughs> breaking. Flip on the TV news. audio, oh, maybe oh, or something. Oh. Oh. Wow. How do you spell uh, Ed? <laughs> oh. 
Really? He died? Of what? And uh, now. Of 86. Here's <laughs> my coffin. Must broke? I don't know. He died broke. Did, yeah, he did. Some, oh, something happened, yeah. and he lost all his money. He See, lost, lost his house. That, I lost that video war. Oh, wait. Oh, little Nicky. Hi, little Nicky. Hi, little Nicky. Hi, little Nicky. Um, I lost the video war, but I'm not going to lose the breaking news. For I should have. As far fucking, as Twitter goes. Yeah. So you could have fucking did that. I didn't wow, know that you do that. huh? Oh, God. Wow. Oh, Look at man. Dick Clark and Ed McMahon together in younger days. Oh, boy. Oh, now they're both messes. Well, well, one's more one's of a really mess than a mess. The other. the other one's in a funeral home right now. That sucks. All right, so uh, it wasn't looking too good. At three thirty-six, I was assaulted by Will I Am of the Black Eyed Peas and the security guards. I'm bleeding. Please, I need a to file a police report. No joke. So two minutes later, he he got no response. So he tweeted again instead like, of going t- with two the minutes fucking later, follow. right. Meanwhile, Ed McMahon well, needed help, and uh, he, he couldn't get any because <laughs> right. <laughs> they were all being sent over to this idiot's house. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, TMZ is reporting that Glad wants Perez to apologize for using the word faggot. Uh, he, he just fucked up his whole world. Trust me. Watch how this one plays out. 344, Ant. That's now 10 minutes later from uh-huh. the first one. Still waiting for the police. The bleeding has stopped. I need to document this. Please, can the police come to the Soho Met Hotel? This Three. is from the voice cock mouth reporter, a uh, recorder, yeah. reporter. I think. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, oh. Such a good one, too. Oh, that was good. <laughs> uh, 3 <laughs> 59 a.m. I spoke to my lawyer. I really need to talk to the authorities. Please come to the Soho Met Hotel. Have called the police. Need them here. So the police still not there 25 minutes yeah, later. Because they're busy. Right. And, and he said uh, at this point he called the police. So his Twitter didn't help him. Uh, the Toronto police are here now. Thank you. Please stop calling them. 4.16 a.m. <laughs> Thank you all from the bottom of my heart for your concern. The police are investigating the assault now. I did the right thing by reporting it. 5.26. And then finally, won't be talking about this any further. It's in the hands of the authorities. <laughs> and then after that, he did the video blog. Right. Oh, like, after. So he said, yeah, I'm not yeah. talking about it anymore. And then he did 11 minutes of vlogging I, on it. I heard the the entire 11 minutes is worth playing. Is that true? If you want me to pull the whole 11. I mean, he those are the thought. best clips, but I'll pull the whole 11 minutes. What else does it. he do in there? He just whines and cries a lot. Uh, it's great. I, he does, I could listen to him whine and cry all day. Here's what he thought, by the way. Here's what he thought. You know how Twitter is is taking off as far tweety, as Tweety, news? tweety, tweety, tweet. Breaking tweet, news. tweet, tweet. Exactly. Oh. As far as like <laughs> Iran goes, a lot of that, a lot of stuff coming in from yeah. Iran over oh, the Twitter. Yeah. Uh, up people are talking about everything. Uh, when when a plane goes down, people are like leaving uh, uh, the crash site, going, "Oh my God, I was just in a plane crash." That some guy twittered that. He actually thought this was going to be, and uh, wow, uh, Twitter being used to get the police to it, and no one gave a no. shit. No one no. gave a shit that this no. idiot. This hypocritical dolt got his fucking uh, comeuppance by getting punched by somebody. Not because he's gay, but because he's an asshole. Because he's a dickhead. He's a fucking asshole who, who, who badmouths people on it, his stupid website. And finally, someone called him out on it and punched him in yeah, the face. Definitely, yeah, take the gay angle out of it. He's just no. a douche. He's all brave on his website. Yep. Yeah, there's a consequence like we've explained over and over again here. That's right. Hey, uh, getting back to the Ed McMahon thing. What's, He's dead. What's going to be the cartoon tomorrow, or what's going to be the fucking <laughs> oh, the headline on the or uh, the editorial where the editor. Johnny and Eddie, uh, Eddie and Ed are finally together, They're finally back together in heaven? You think there's going to be like God's a, laughing? You think there's going to be a cartoon of like Johnny Carson like at his desk? Goodness gracious, Ed McMahon is in his box. <laughs> Ed McMahon on the couch, and then it's floating on a cloud. I, I see it. Dino and and, uh, and they're gonna have, Sammy. They're going to have halos. Yeah. They're finally together again yeah what douchey thing they're gonna do unless you could fucking bury them in the box together guess what they're never gonna be together or Saint again. Pe- maybe saint peter at the gate going here's ed oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that and that sounds like about right that sounds like about the one they'll use i was thinking right. i think i was thinking johnny would be like in yeah. heaven going here's ed here's Look, ed homework assignment because we got a lot of cartoonists out there that <laughs> Take a look at your local papers tomorrow, and please send in these. Give uh, us the ones. Give us the cartoons, because you know they're 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 hard at work right now, yeah. trying to come up with that clever one. Ugh, fuck. 
One more clip of Perez Hilton. Do you think, uh, like, you remember how Ed McMahon used to come up with a big check for their publisher's clearinghouse? Yeah, yeah. Do you think uh, there was a knock on the door and Ed opened it and it was the Grim Reaper? <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're a winner. <laughs> See, you may have already been dead. <laughs> why not have a little fun with your cartoon? Yeah, come on. <laughs> why does it have to be with the halos and some cloud thing? <laughs> well, what? You rocks. <laughs> I guess God needed a sidekick. You know, we were all trying to figure out what the Ed McMahon uh, thing would be because we do that with every person that's going to be here's a little obvious, you know, something. Right. Here's Ed. Yeah, it was a little obvious, <laughs> Sam. That's why we didn't, none of I us said it. Point that out. We were really obvious. trying to come up with something that might be a little more clever than that, E-Rock. Oh. Jesus. He couldn't wait everyone to get kind, it in. Everyone kind of thought of that already. Right. And nobody oh. said it. No, we're just thinking of that one where people go, wow, that's clever. You better watch Fuck. out when God needs another fatso. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> uh, one more clip of Perez before we wrap this up. And somehow, some through some <laughs> irony of God, through some joke that he finds funny, that the Supreme Being finds funny, my birthday ends up at the end of this month that I have had the most <laughs> brutal time of. I'm supposed to sit here and take, you know, and drink and have a great time. Mm -hmm. And... You know, act like nothing's happened whatsoever. I know, buddy. Here's what... I, I have been <laughs> brutalized through this month, and you never, ever got me one ounce of slack. Not once did you ever say, hey, I'm here for you. It was always, hey, I'm here for me. Oh, yeah, he doesn't well, like the black guy. Yeah. No, that's horrible. Fergie mm. was never there for him. No, yeah. Him and Fergie were supposed to be friends. Yeah, that's, <laughs> yeah. that's too bad. <laughs> wow, that's rough. <laughs> <laughs> how, Matthew from Brooklyn, we're getting more info. Ed McMahon died of uh, pneumonia, or how How do we say it on our show? <laughs> pneumonia. Pneumonia. I hate that P. And a back injury. What? How you die from a back you injury. Jeez, that all just sucks. <laughs> Ow, this hurts. Ow. You just ow yourself to death? <laughs> yeah. Ow. 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 <laughs> 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 he was giving the Godfather cough in the tomato field. He died of constantly saying ow. <laughs> oh, that's so oh, ow. 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 <laughs> ow. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Poor bastard. Uh, <laughs> battle with pneumonia and a neck injury. It's Some, a, there it someone's is. got local knowledge out there. It's Spank Bank from Buffalo. He uh, goes, in a city full of fags, how did the Toronto police know where to go? <laughs> I guess that's some local knowledge oh, about Toronto. I don't know. All right. Uh, Poor Perezzo. Yeah, He calls himself Perezzo? That's one of the nicknames. The uh, Gossip Gangster. Yeah. Oh, Gossip Gangster? Yeah, that's yeah. one of his real names. Yeah, the whole did he new come up thing with the now. gossip gangster? Of course. You know what? Wouldn't that be great? The Do you understand the gangster life? Punched. What could happen to you? So if you're going to say you're the gossip gangster, this is this is exactly what you you should have expected. He thinks it's cute. He yeah. focused more on the gossip. He thinks than the it's gangster. Cute. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, guess what. Really cute. This Dude. ruins him in the end. I'm this should you. just be a new thing celebrities do. It's punch just Perez punch him in the face. <laughs> yeah. As like a goof. <laughs> oh, and that that will ruin him. It was just like yeah. where Somebody... once that floodgate opens <laughs> yeah. and, and, where you tap him on his jaw and it's just once they go and and then they look around and go, Wait, no one's coming after me. Yeah. No one cares. No one cares. The, He's twittering. Uh, no one cares. Celebrities need to come together and start a blog that's just pictures of different celebrities punching, punching Perez. Perez. In the, in the face. face, and I got punched again. <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> I'm Mario Armando <laughs> Lavadera, and I've been hit again. Oh. Twitter the police or something. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> the Twitter police. Show How is up. the media really handling this? They're just kind of using the sensationalism of it right now. Yeah. Like, I mean, obviously Perez Hilton is, is there way one guy the that's brave enough to go, well, what did he expect? Uh, back to you, Connie. <laughs> <think> that... <laughs> <laughs> Should have expected right? a fist in his face. <laughs> oh, what? This is on? I believe he was um, dissing. Uh... 
uh, if I may use the word dis, dissing right. a member of the Black Eyed Peas. <laughs> well, what did the faggot expect? <laughs> oh, Jesus, is this on? <laughs> now sports with Tank. <laughs> tank. <laughs> but they're really going to use, the, the regular news is going to really use the Black Eyed Peas angle, the Black yeah. Eye. Yeah, no, Black yeah, Eye. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's It be. seems that uh, Black Eye has happened yeah. to Pharrell. Well, yeah. They've lived up to their name, the Black Eyed Peas, by giving a black eye to uh, Armando fucking <laughs> and Lorenzo Lamas. They're now the black eye please because <laughs> oh, oh, oh. the <laughs> uh, yeah. black eyed peas are like the safest musical group that any black oh, guy could for, ever be a part of. Wait for the real gangsters to go, oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You mean I could punch that motherfucker <laughs> in the face? He gonna get raped after this yeah, one. Like that shit. <laughs> yeah, Sam's right. They are oh, for a shizzle. Some they're, hardcore They're fucking, safe gangsters. They're family-friendly Walmart like yeah. hip-hop Gangster. music. You know damn well there's gonna be, ah, whatever. <laughs> gonna get some hardcore <laughs> pipe-hitting niggas. <laughs> wee, 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 okay. wee. <laughs> I got a ball gag. All right. Oh, it just kicks that door shut. Yeah. And I've never. I am. I'm, I'm recording this as Armando, <laughs> and I can't believe this. What punch in the face, and I'm being punched in the rectum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You fuck him. That one guy said, "Yeah, you fuck him." What's that guy's story? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You fucking fuck him. <laughs> To that music, <laughs> that music is associated with fucking ass rape. Ah, I can't. I don't even know what this song was before fucking my now son it's got raped. Just ass rape. It's just ass rape music, man. Motherfucker. Fuck it, that's funny. Uh, Bobby Montana, Prez. Stay gone. Pre or you'll be gone. <laughs> Perez is used to a fist, but just not in the face. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of speculative. Oh, is that so great? And yeah. we got the Ed McMahon line, by the way. It oh. comes in from Sean, it looks like, in North Carolina. How do you say, how do you, say you know, this guy emails. Hold oh, fuck. All right. How do you say S H O Y N E? Wait. Shoin? Shoin? Well, he writes all the time, but I don't know how to say his name from North Carolina. Is that, uh, I'm recording this as Shawnee. <laughs> Shawnee, maybe? I don't know. All right, whatever. It's a tough one. This is the line that they'll use. Ready? Ed at the pearly gates. Where's Johnny? Oh, well. well. Where are you going? Johnny's in, in heaven. Patrice, where are you going? Go to the bathroom. What the fuck happened? He has to go to the restroom. Fine. He, it's just guilting. PP or PP? <laughs> pee -pee. Wee wees. Look at it, he's going to do wee wees. Wee wees. Oh, we might as well break. What the fuck? Yeah. Jesus Christ. What the yeah. He just waved to the Shade Forty Five guys. Yeah. He's basically Yo. saying, "Help me, <laughs> get Yo. me out of there." I really want to be on your show, not not those clowns. <laughs> Uh, Patrice will be at the Houston Improv Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Quick break. Then we got the John and Kate news. Ah, yeah. A lot of pop culture shit today, there, Sam. And then I mean, maybe some real news. We got to talk about that train, that choo-choo in D.C. Whoopsie. Oh, I thought you were talking about... That's like a good novel happening down there, right? That's crazy The Donald shit. Trump situation. Oh, yeah. You said real news. Yes, real news. Well, that's what I want to hear. I want to know what happened. Oh, boy. A lot of things A happened. lot? Really? Sam? I'm so psyched. Love Sam's stupid updates on this. Well, this one is actually pretty uh, oh, 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 oh. noteworthy. Oh, 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 and we got a penthouse pet coming in? What you going to do for us? <laughs> For, for real, what's she gonna do for us? Well, we have a, we have an office full of those molded sex toys. You know, the ones that are molded from our body parts. Well, I'm not really I think sure. We'll be what... closing the curtains. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Gonna get a little saucy. All right, cool. We'll do the fu line. We'll continue. I, I think he's gone for the week. The whole week? I think. Aw, maybe back Friday. Uh, Miss our little shellless turtle. <laughs> Steve, for later, because it's not in front of me. I need the rabbit story. The boys will understand. Maybe it's here. I don't see it. All right. 
Uh, Patrice was uh, saying that year one sucks. Did you see year one? No, Just I heard hear the it, reviews. Dude. I didn't say it sucked. I didn't see it. I heard it sucked. Yeah, Is the reviews the are horrible. Black one? Horrible in it looks this film. Horrible. The, the street reporters that it's not happening. Yeah, Michael Sarah, funny dude. This might be his only. He he's made tremendous choices. That fucking kid. Whoever's yeah. he hasn't had one bum movie. No this this one yet. might be it. What were some of the other movies? He was in Juno. Uh, he was Juno. He was in uh, Super Bad. Oh right, right, right. Duh. Duh. Like he was in a bunch of shit where he's good. Yeah. Like a bunch of these little indie things, and and people like him a lot. He's funny though, man. I like him. He's got a weird, dry sense of humor. It's a funny kid, Very and he was natural. he was in Arrested Development too. That kid. Yeah. He was a kid. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's Arrested good. Development was a great show. You you like that show? I didn't watch it. You were in it. I don't give a shit. <laughs> What the fuck is wrong I with you? I don't give a shit. <laughs> you, were, you were. You were. What does that even mean? <laughs> you were. Didn't you run a playing banana? playing roles? <laughs> what did you run again? A banana fucking. Uh, yeah. What was it again? A banana stand that I that I burned down for insurance. <laughs> but what were you selling? B du chocolate dipped bananas. Right. <laughs> I was in the first show. That's right. That it. Goodbye. Banana. Can you Juno find that clip? Juno of Patrice looks homeless. <laughs> yeah. That's his look, though, man. I know. He's a funny fucking guy. That 30 Rock rules. You like the 30 Rock, Patrice? Out. Don't watch it. Fuck. <laughs> You're in the motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I've seen that, that amazed show me? Be, that I, show would be good for you. I'm going to tell you what I saw. You know what I don't have? I don't have the, the, I don't have the ability to be just funny in general anymore. I can be funny in context of myself. Like, so that's why I like coming in here. I don't have anything where I can add to banana stands anymore. But um, I saw a show about the. Uh, you probably had to talk about this about the behind the scenes of the fucking sale guy, the 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 guy that's like um, buy the, the 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 not the ShamWow guy, but the guy oh, yeah, with the, the beard. Guy. I'm Billy Mays, dude. That show. I was I was just a t I couldn't believe how much I was into that yeah, show. A lot of people are uh, getting Dude, into that. Dude, that one. Yeah. fucking show is the shit. Yeah. Pitchman? Pitchman is amazing to uh, yeah. me. Everyone yeah. says Pitchman. I, I don't, still haven't watched it. I, I like Thirty Rock. Like uh, these, I just don't get to. Uh, you know the the network shows. I just don't get. I've never seen mm. Lost. Not once. Thirty just, Rock is very well, different though. I, as far just, as network shows go, I'm not against it. I just I just Baldwin never seen is it. The funniest fucking guy on this planet, man. I just, I mean, like, I'm kind of into the, into the, I mean, I watched Dark Knight, I think, 85 times since it's come on <laughs> yeah. uh, HBO, uh, just to make so. sure I didn't like it. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I love it, I, 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 except for, you know, Christian Bale's, when he, when he's Batman, not that, when he's Bruce Wayne, voice. but when he's Batman. Yeah. And, but what a, 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 a I, the movie has become more amazing to me as I'm watching it. It's real intricate shit. Yeah. And I thought it was just like, wow, this is a fucking deep movie. The idea and it's a, it's a shame. I'm I'm even more sad that Heath Ledger's dead because he, the Joker has to be in the movie forever I, from I now know. on. It's great. Because of the way he that ending thing where he's just giving that speech about I need you, you need me and just it was tremendous. Yeah, now how do they do that? What do they recast it? Dude, he did I, I the, hope an amazing they job. they're gonna recast it. I hope they try they and I to. and and it's gonna they probably trying Tough to cast it to now. Oh, yeah, like they, just they're gonna spend the next two years trying to find a Joker that works because he was he was fucking amazing. Man, I, I mean I you know you watch a movie the first time and you go oh this is cool and then you watch it for the the small little so that you can yeah. answer trivia questions and shit about <laughs> yeah. it you know a movie and enough to get trivia questions the only problem i had with the movie the only problem was i just didn't believe um uh, uh oh, maggie yeah. gillen i just didn't believe that the those two powerful good looking men one, both powerful in front of the scenes and behind the scenes, one was the fucking the, the Cape Crusader, the Dark Knight, and he was a billionaire fucking boy. Yeah. And then the other guy was a powerful DA who was a crusader. And it just, it, I kept watching it, trying to turn it. Not only she wasn't pretty enough to be a, a, yeah. a distraction <laughs> <Right>. to Batman, because <laughs> yeah. it almost reminded me of Margot Kidder in Superman uh, 2, uh. where you go, did you give up? Like, Did here's the problem. Bruce Wayne power. is thinking about giving up everything for 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 this, and 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 then at the end of the day, 
she wasn't a magnificent actress in it. No, she, no. she was. That's what bothered me too. She didn't belong best in that part movie. Was when she blew so up. It just wasn't <laughs> the best part of the movie. Yeah, they were fighting over Margot Kidder. Yeah, like, it wasn't. On. It wasn't cool. Like Go Superman, he, it's like I'm going to give up my powers for you. What? Here's a real woman. A real woman is like, hey, listen, I'm going to give up my powers. My, the only way I can be with you. Fully is yeah. to give up my pop. A real woman would go, Are you out of your fuck? Are yeah. you stupid? Just lick my pussy. I'd rather just be Superman's <laughs> bitch. Yeah. 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 You don't have to <laughs> you know? bl blow my head off with some fucking. But that, when you, you come. You give up your powers for like a Megan Fox, not a Mark. Which one's Kidder. Megan Fox? Transformers? Oh, Transformers. And she's not cast right in there either. You, but you give she's it up. She's way too hot. She's you too give hot. Up, right. You give up everything for a Megan Fox, not a Margot. Kidder. She would be believable in Batman. And. And, Dude, she... and and what you call should be in Transformers. Mm -hmm. that, uh, they should switch. Yeah, should the switch thing? They should switch. But anyway, I, I just wanted to say that, you know, watching these, these movies, sure. it's just that pitch, man. I, I don't, I have to say. Any of these movies you see? Which one? You're a big movie guy. Yeah. You see, I haven't uh, seen The Hangover yet. I liked it. I, I really did the like The trailers is amazing, but I'm not getting great reports from the streets. Well, the trailer makes it look like it's just a normal, like, Fucking buddy, not film. to me. The trailers, man. When he really? kicks the phone out that kid's hand and that kid's look, <laughs> yeah, I I wanted to see it just from that, but I haven't seen it yet. What do you mean the word on the street? Th this meaning people who saw is, it. This is one of those word of mouth movies that's that's keeping the numbers up. People are seeing it and then turning other people. It's a onto big it. movie, big rated R movie. Who, who are you talking to saying they don't like it? A few people that just went like this. Comedy yeah. guys, regular comedy guys, guys comedy oh, guys. They're tough. You comedy guys are tough. What, but see the thing about comedy dudes, they won't lie. They give credit where credit's due, even though it'll be. But this go, isn't eh. the basic, True, yeah. you know, Hollywood formula as far as a, the comedy goes. It's it's good. It's well written too, man. By the, the way, writing, little, the writing in this a is little really rated good. R trivia. By the way, oh, uh, highest grossing rated R movie of all time. Hangover? No, oh. I'm asking. Wait, say it again. Highest grossing rated R movie of all time. I'm gonna go. Uh, wow. Don't put shit up, Steve. You an asshole? Right. How, 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 uh, give us like how many years? Or no, be vague, a recent or? It's very, very sort of recent. Highest grossing rated R film of all time. Rated R. But it was a comedy. No. It was a drama. Oh, oh, all right. Uh, wow. Uh, Schindler's List. Nope. No, he said more, very recent, so it's got to be the last. And let me years. know when you want it, because I don't have many hints, because the hints will give it away. But of course. Um, I'll tell you. you know, what are we missing? Have some interesting, interesting movie trivia, by the way. That's I, I think. It's Wait, what are we cool. missing? What's the uh... rated R? Fucking highest grossing. The producer of it got probably seventy percent of the money. Mm. Maybe more. Made uh, made him a zillionaire. Is it uh, one of those like Da Vinci Code type movies? E e n n yes. E e e Ish. Thank you, Kenny. Passion of the Christ. Oh, is that it? Highest Passion of the Christ. Highest grossing mm. rated R movie of all, all time. Highest grossing. Uh, oh. Highest grossing movie well, that had... never reached number one at the box well, office. That's not fair. That movie had God on its side. Well, <laughs> three hundred seventy million dollars, but All it really didn't. It just had went. Jesus getting punched in the stomach yeah. for an hour and some change. Jesus being, I'm Jesus Christ, <laughs> and I'm twittering. <laughs> They're putting me on a cross. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm Jesus Mario Armando Lavadari Christ. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you see Passion of the Christ in a theater where you it changed you, it changed my life? You have to yell at the screen and go, I get it, dude. It changed I my. I tell you they what, put I, it through hell. Holy, I had a problem I, with the idea I, of Jesus before I saw that, and what it did, it didn't make me go, oh well, I believe in the, the Father, the Son, the Holy Ghost thing always bothered me, but I said, man, even if this guy's not, even if he's a real dude. He's important. Like <laughs> he took an ass whooping for the de for the. S I wouldn't take a hard pinch for the rest of <laughs> like anybody. Yeah. But yeah. this month he 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 had a faith that he could have stopped this beating if he had just said, "Look, God, I can't deal with this. I hope you understand that this." But he just wouldn't say. He just would not get out of that ass whooping he was getting. Yeah. And I'm like, it it, it touched me because I'm like, even as a man. He took a fucking ass beating. So I, yeah. I really, I got into at least 
respecting to that that helps me get to the godlike thing respecting yeah. Jesus as a man helping me move to Jesus as maybe a a deity, and, you know what I mean? Yeah, some kind of a But yeah, that movie was power. a fucking was ass beaten. I couldn't watch that movie again. Mm, it just was a hell, hell of a thing. But That's I thought it was an done. interesting question. Uh, rated R. That's Number good. one rated R movie. All right, so The Hangover you haven't seen with The Word in the Street with your comedy friends. My comedy friends. Keith Robinson and the like. Uh, a couple of guys. A couple of dudes. A couple of like, those ah. guys. They went like this. These guys are a ah. tough audience, though, man. No, no dude. I, I want st- to... Mother- dudes was... Saw that shit when you did you, what the Asian guy with the no penis? Holy shit! Is that now, how funny do you put that up there? Though? What is it? Well, all the character time funny? itself is oh, all time funny. Hell no. What what level a, of funny is it? Just did a you good like it? solid movie, lots of laughs and and well written. I like, appreciate a well written film. Old school? Did you like old school? Didn't see it. Is that, see old that kind of funny? It's the same director. I, I didn't see it. Uh, I tell oh, you, the okay. last movie I saw yeah. that made me laugh out loud, and I saw it again because it's on cable also, uh, it's Tropic Thunder. Tropic Thunder. <laughs> me and Patrice saw that together. Made, made me, me laugh more Robert the second Downey, time I watched it than dude, the first time. Robert Downey Jr. This is, <laughs> is as funny as anything I've ever seen in a movie. Yeah. And I tell you what movie I saw recently <laughs> that made me fucking laugh. Yeah. And I usually don't like Ben Stiller like that. But is that goddamn... um. When he married the wrong bitch, the the heartbreak kid. <laughs> when he I'm he married on. a bitch like spur of the moment, and he realized she was an asshole. She was a cokehead. She was a fucking dude. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It made me I laugh. Know, I, I know which movie. You're but Tropic about. Thunder is the last movie. Dude, what I was the, the line that, that killed you? Laugh. The Robert Downey Jr. Line it was. The let me tell you what sold me on this movie, <laughs> and it was the part. I never enjoyed a movie more than seeing Tropic Thunder with Patrice. Well, there was what six of us in the theater. They they gave us a theater, and it was just a. It was me, you, Bob Kelly, Stunt Brain, and who, Stunt I think brain. that was it. I think it was like four of us. Five, it was. And uh, it was one of Stump Brain's friends, I think. It was like five or six of us. Uh, and and I think it. Danny was there, too. Danny was there, I think. Yeah, we had a whole fucking theater to ourselves. And Patrice made me laugh harder than I think the film was he, when, when, meant to make you laugh. Look, when Ben Stiller goes, <laughs> oh, you people. And fucking Robert Downey goes, what you mean, you people? Like, I said, this movie. It, and then and here's the what else we made it great. It's not because he's representing the black man. How fucking racist the movie was. <laughs> Yeah. It was so fucking. Uh, uh, Tom Cruise was genius With the playing hairy Jew these giant hairy Jew knuckles, <laughs> and, and he was just a piece of garbage. I go, how am I watching this movie? How did this movie get made? It, it was it was fucking. How did Tom Cruise, hilarious? How did dude. Tom Cruise agree to play that role? Because you don't like Jews. They were against. He's in that. He's in that fucking know. Scientology <laughs> thing. That. And, and what you call fired him? Rupert Murdoch got rid of him and shit. You know so what? you don't yeah. like Jews. That that scene made me more of a Tom Cruise fan. I, I, I wasn't a huge Tom Cruise fan. His big hairy arms. But after shit. seeing what he did right. in Tropic Thunder, I'm like, you know what? I, I got to respect Tom Cruise a little more now. <laughs> I, I'm going to see Hangover. I got to. I'm going to because yeah. I have to. Call us when you do. I'm going to see it. I, I don't even know if you're going to like it. I don't really. Let me think. Because when he kicked that phone out that kid's hand and that kid looked, <laughs> that look that kid gave, I said, I got to see this. And then Mike Tyson. Because I seen a movie called Black and White that a buddy of mine told me about that Mike Tyson was in. Oh, yeah. And it, the whole movie was improv And Mike the... Tyson might be a fucking acting genius. <laughs> really? And I'm going to tell you who else is coming to be big, too. Slow down with this Black and White. That's the movie that starts out with the the, uh, the young couple having sex in the middle of uh, the park, right? Yes. That is a hot scene. It's a cr- That movie's Black crazy. Dude, white ben girl, Stiller's in it. White girl's bending over just, just getting it. Alan Houston's in it. It's a, it's crazy. That movie's crazy. Yeah. I'm going to tell you who's coming back. Who? I'm, I'm going to tell you right now on this show. Let's go. Who? Tr- Michael big, Jordan? Big star <laughs> again. Todd Bridges. What? Oh, shit. Guaranteed wow. fact. You Guaranteed are fact. A, he was right. a runner up on Celebrity but Wrestling. Dude, what you talking about, Patrice? <laughs> Todd Bridges. Okay. He does this Wait, thing. Wait, was it Long Came Polly, by the way? Which one? Because the Ben Stiller. No, it was um. The, it was the, the other one, the Heartbreak Kid. All right, Heartbreak Kid. Okay, which is funny. Along came Polly's not that. that, that funny. Yeah, all right. Um, but Ben Stiller's funny in every movie. He's one of those guys. If you just watch what he's doing in a movie, 
every time he's funny. You know, what, I, itself, I might, I might say, I might agree with you because he does, he does a lot of subtle he, shit that's that he, makes he's you. He's been laugh. in a bunch of bombs, but if you really look at his performance, he did his job. He's he's funny in bad movies. He really is. You, you know what? I think you got a point because he is he he doesn't annoy me. He's, he's the movies might bug me, but he's because I didn't like Along Came Polly, but some of the stuff he did in that was really fun. A little controversy here. Yeah. Uh, some people saying um, Matrix Reloaded. Wrong. Made more money wrong. than Passion. Wrong. Really? Wrong. What? Here's another good question. They're wrong. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. They're the, wrong. The Todd Bridges thing, though. Todd Bridges. Why you say that? He's he he's gonna he's gonna he's coming out with a book. But if you watch him on the Smoking Gun thing, oh, I've seen that. And yeah. and his honesty, and he's coming out with a book, and he I think he's coming out with a movie where his honesty about his drug. His drug days, yeah, is gonna put him back on the map as a like as a fucking. He's gonna expose all that drug shit he got. Um, I've heard people tell me he got the funniest drug stories ever <laughs> in history. <laughs> and I watch him on the smoking gun of shit. Drug stories. Uh, I'm telling you, and he's on the smoke. And that fucker is hilarious. Todd Bridge is gonna make a comeback because he doesn't take himself seriously. Right. He's gonna make a fucking John Travolta comeback. You fucking mock my words. All right. Damn. Mock my words. So you didn't see The Hangover. You didn't, didn't see, see that Year yet. One. You didn't see Taking Pelham One Two Three. Probably. I'm going to. See, I seen the original, so I got to see this one. The yeah. original, I don't remember. Dude, with, I gotta, with I gotta Robin go Shaw watch it again. and 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 um. Oh, I know. Hector Alizondo. 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 Yeah, movie. a great yeah. fucking yeah. film. You really, an asshole of a film. You see yeah, Up? I like that one. Nah, I was going to nah. see Up, but I. Uh, my girl's kid wanted to see Up, but we went to go see Terminator Salvation. <laughs> well, good for you because if you went and saw Up, she'd be asking a lot of questions. <laughs> really? Fucking sad shit in that movie. I thought yeah. it was supposed to be a little Pixar fun toys running around type of movie. What the <laughs> fuck? And it turns out, you know. Highest she, gross and rated G movie. It has to be a Toy Story. No. Oh, no. Shrek, obviously. No. Lion King. What? Nope. Little Mermaid. Cartoon? Nope. Yep. We just we but just named one, all the biggies. Finding one, Nemo. Finding No. Finding Nemo. What is that? That one wasn't even like a good one. Really? Huh. Boy, Patrice is a bounty of movie information. I love movies. Yeah. All They're right. Good. But you didn't see any of the movies out. And The Proposal, you didn't see that. No. Why would you go see The Proposal? There's nothing really exciting. Oh, I'm going to see ter fucking Transformers uh, yeah. either tomorrow or at some point in the weekend. looks pretty cool. It looks good. Like that shit. It's very nostalgic like that for robot me. robot shit. Yeah. I need Sam. Uh... Big, big fan of the first movie. Opie, oh, yeah. I heard Todd Bridges on the Sports Junkie show is one of their best interviews ever. Get him. Yeah, we'll get him. Dude, Todd Bridges, we'll I'm telling Todd you, dude. Todd yeah. Bridges is about to blow the fuck back up, man. No right. bullshit. Blow the uh, fuck up. We'll make that happen. So, are we doing wrestling or John and Kate? Wrestling. The John and oh, Kate is boy. what? Are these clips worth playing? Uh, yeah. Where are you, bro? What uh, the fuck yeah. are you doing over there now? All right, try yeah. that. I'm all over the place today. All right. Yeah, well, let's do John and Kate quick and then do wrestling. All right. John and Kate uh, had a big announcement on their show last night. We're trying to be more in the know, so. Yeah. Here well, I go. called this so long ago. Yeah, this is the thing. <laughs> they they did this, like, uh, build-up for, like, two weeks saying, on this day, John and Kate have a huge announcement. And I'm sitting there, and I'm like, from the beginning of season one, when Jess, my girlfriend, was watching it, I'm like, Jess, these people are separated. They're not in the same house on any episode. Like, they're obviously don't, they don't live together. Since season one? No, no, no. The first episode of this oh, season. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was obvious. Right. That. Know what happened with this? I was discussing this over the weekend. John and Kate had a normal life as far as normalcy could be in their situation. And then people got to John and said, wow, your wife's a cunt. Yep. Because she yeah. was. No, for real. And said, what the fuck? Why yeah. are you taking this shit? We were. And he would have just taken it. Them. Dude, he yeah, would have taken. We <laughs> he would have taken that shit for the end uh, until the end of time, but because he's on TV, people started talking to him, and he he was embarrassed. He's yeah. like, oh, fuck. Yeah. Everyone knows like that I'm sap. Everyone knows I'm a sap. Yeah, and that my like wife's a, a twat. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Well, she certainly was. And you know, I and that's how it all went down. He he did not know that because if if you watched uh, some of the past seasons of John and Kate, they were just. This family that had eight fucking kids, and well, that's all yeah. he knew. The fun of the show was that 
she was a bitch and he would put up with it. And he'd take it, right. But he didn't know that. Do you right. understand what I'm saying? Right. He had no clue. He was just going to live. Until America saw it. Yeah, went, he sort of knew, but hey, he, he he was dealing with it. He didn't but know then how he's bad like, it was. Wait a minute. All of America thinks I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a, a pushover. Yeah. Because he was. Yeah. He's terrible. But, but then at the same time, I also think, because I've watched wrestling for so long, I th think that everything that happens on television is probably a work. So I figure <laughs> that this big announcement would have to be that they're getting, they're renewing their vows. Work? What does that mean, Sam? What do you, you don't yeah. understand. Like you work hard to put on a good show. Oh, uh, that's what I uh, uh, uh. So this is how the announcement This is out. whatever it is. Who knows? What could it be? So, John, there's been a lot in the press here lately. Um, can you clear the air and fill us in on what's going on between you and Kate? Yeah. Um, uh, Kate and I have decided to separate. Yes. What? We... Uh, wow. <laughs> have decided um, that we will separate. I try to contemplate it and think about it and would it be better for us. It's just not good for our kids for us to be arguing in front of our kids. And it just, we can't be cordial with one another. Then and Did you see the oh, pussy that, I, uh, <laughs> that I'm with now? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so obviously they were lying when uh, when they were saying, no, we're not sleeping with other people. We're very much uh, still yeah. together in this marriage. Yeah, sure. They wanted to have We can't be cordial with one another. Then we decide to separate. I'm not very fond of the idea, personally, um, but I know it's necessary because my goal is peace for the kids. So they wanted to wait and have the big reveal on their TV show. Yeah, well, that's, that that's how much they actually care about their family. Yes. Let's make sure we get really good ratings. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's uh, these, God. these people suck. They really are despicable. The kids uh, will remain living in their house. I've always called this their house. Uh, I will remain here as well. Uh, during and John will probably uh, uh, be able to afford a little piece of land in a shanty town. He's going to stay in the college dorm with the girl he's banging. <laughs> <laughs> that could, that's a better angle, actually. As well, uh, during um, my um, portion of having them, um, John will also come here when it is his days, and we will flip flop that way. They love it here. This is their house. We bought this house for them, not for us. Holy Ugh. shit, what this enough woman is going to... sacrificing. <laughs> Christ, enough of the martyrdom. What this woman Fucking is going to do to this guy in a divorce. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. This is going to be Ew. epic. Child support for eight kids. Unless, <laughs> oh. unless she's banging that bodyguard, then she might let him off the hook a little bit. Well, the thing is, she's the type of person that would continue doing the reality show. Right. So I could easily see a spinoff of just, like, Kate, the single mom that has to deal with the whole with world against kids, her. And and eight it's, kids. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And she can't be a bitch to anybody. <laughs> yeah, she's just... Just dragging, home, <laughs> just dragging home fucking stray guys every night and banging them would be hysterical. She just wants to emasculate someone. In, yeah, she just turns into a slut. I don't, I don't, know, what, I don't know what happened, but she is doable now. Yeah, yeah, how the fuck did that happen? They slapped her together pretty. Uh, you pretty see well. the older pictures of her, and then the pictures after she had the kids. No fucking you wouldn't way. Give her she a is now glance. doable. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't give her a second glance. A woman that has had eight kids spit out of her is now <laughs> doable. They had a man. They must have tied that shit in a knot. They had those bikini pictures when she was what in North Carolina. Mm. Doable. Yeah. Would you do her it? Let me look at uh, one of the pictures. Somebody said this to Bing. Would you? Uh -huh. Would you? Uh -huh. Would you? <laughs> Sam, you're no Danny. Because the search engine was switched to Bing. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Danny would have seen that. Where was Danny? Danny's got like 18,000 hours of vacation time and sick time that <laughs> expires. So he's like, what the fuck? Yeah. I'm not taking it. It's pretty much going to be Ant and I doing the show for the next <laughs> yeah, for two months as everyone gets their <laughs> vacation time in. Everyone squeaks their fucking sick time and vacation time. And this fucking in. place does it by the book. So they there's got, no rollover. There's no, no. There's nothing with this company. How is that more productive when people then have to go, I just, I have to take off now? Yeah. yeah. Instead of just saying, ah, it rolls over, whatever. That's why I took yesterday off. And you should take a few fucking days. and re You have to return the favor now, you know, right? I know, yeah. Okay. All right. The well, favor between how about right now. The favor between me and Ann is is a it's a good one. When all of a sudden, like Ann emails me and goes, "I need tomorrow off." I'm like, "Oh, I'm going to surprise you with one of those." That's what I need a surprise. I'll give day you a off. good surprise. I don't like, want to be prepared. I want like 
fucking middle of the afternoon. Dude, I'm feeling like I need a personal day tomorrow. Oh, I, surprise me with that. Well, you're starting to think about the next day's show. Yeah, and you're like, yeah, oh, yeah, God, yeah. all right, we got that. that. Oh, yeah. uh, what? What? No, no, no show? Yeah. That's and how make, I was yesterday. Make sure it's a Friday. Sunday. Just make sure it's a Friday. 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 Oh. No, actually, midweek is Thursday? better. Midweek is weird. Those are the best days off for some reason. All I don't right. know why, but so, like, tomorrow. instead of having a nice long weekend... <laughs> The the midweek day off out of nowhere is nice. That is really nice. Makes the week fly by. Uh, she's all right. There is definitely some damage said, that was done. I said doable. I didn't say like yeah, doable. Make that bigger. Let me see. Let me say doable. hi to Brandon, California, doable. as you make that picture bigger for Patrice O'Neill. Brandon. Hey boys, what's going on? Hey man. Hey, I got two quick things. One about John and Kate. On that last clip, she just said that. Uh, She's going to stay in their house, and when it's his time to visit, he's going to come in the house? Yeah. So is she going to stay there, too, or is she going to uh, go somewhere else? I think she probably will be somewhere else. They're being nice right now, but this is going to get uh, really, really ugly. Just up in the room (coughs) having sex (laughs) while he's downstairs. In the basement. (laughs) Yeah, because he's... She's still got to get him back for banging the the co-ed. Yeah. If that's what really happened. Uh, what's the second thing there, Brandon? You ruined the U.S. Open for me. Why? I cannot watch golf. It, it doesn't matter if Tiger's on his approach shot 190 yards out. As soon as he hits the ball, it's, get in the fucking hole! Yeah, you hear it every fucking time. It, it, it yep. doesn't matter where he's at or what swing he's on, and they do it for him. It, it ruins it. Yeah. I uh, I fucked up yesterday at the U.S. Open because uh, no. I think I might have cost Phil Mickelson the uh, the U.S. Open because on on seventeen I was pretty close and he had a he had a he had a, he had a nice size putt for par and I said do it for Amy I thought that was the nice thing to do. Oh. You were one of the ones screaming that he's fat. Uh, I went no no he's taking care of his man boobs. Would you say good luck, bro? No, I just said do it for Amy because she's gonna have a little breast cancer surgery soon. Yeah. So I, I figured that would be nice to do. Oh, uh, now the pressure was on him. And then all of a sudden, oh, that went 15 feet past the hole. Oh, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. Was she carrying that stupid little pail for <laughs> Thanks, in that Brandon. picture? By the way, she's building right, boys, you have a good day. Oh. She's taking care of her kids. Let's do some wrestling shit, and then we got a, a fine penthouse pet coming in here. Ooh. Pet of the year? Yes, of 2007. <laughs> <laughs> what? 2007 pet of the year. Isn't that like three years ago? That's correct. Why? Because it's penthouse years. Oh, shit. That's penthouse years. <laughs> she could have been the fucking pet of the year in 2000. Because I'm looking here. What, what, what issue are you looking at right now? I'm looking at 2007, March, oh. March of 2007. All right, but the point is, what year, what, what issues out right now? December 2009. What month are they up to? Probably they do that. They like. That's what I mean. That's what I'm getting. They at. put those issues out. Yeah. All right. What do we got on uh, Vince McMahon and Donald Trump? Well, we learned ah. last week here on the Opie and Anthony Show, we got the exclusive scoop that Donald Trump purchased Monday Night Raw. What a shock that was when Vince announced. That uh, yeah, that he the, was buying it. Donald, Donald Trump, Trump was buying. Uh, basically, Raw. came to Vince and made him an offer that he couldn't refuse. Yeah, he didn't disclose how much money it was, but obviously it was a lot. And uh, and then Donald Trump came out and said, "I'm the owner now, and next week we're doing a commercial-free broadcast, and I will be there." I can't see this going well <laughs> for <laughs> for the viewers. What no, for I, I mean for. For uh, uh, all parties involved in this <laughs> business transaction. You don't see any winners? No, I see everyone trying to screw each other, I bet. Well, they're all very shrewd businessmen. Is that what it is? You don't get to become a billionaire by being nice to people. No, nah, that's true. <laughs> this is so uh, stupid. <laughs> I love it, though. Vince rules. Yeah, he's the best. Devin from New Hampshire, got to back up for a, a slight minute here. We were talking about Kate and whether you would do her or not. Yeah. He writes, I'd finger bang Kate, but I'm sure that pussy is like a bicycle tire. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty bad. All right, well, let's get into the audio. Donald Trump addresses the crowd. Yeah, this is the beginning of Raw last night when Donald Trump, the new owner of Raw, and there were Trump signs. And is he a big heel? No, 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 no. He's a, he's a, he's a baby face. He's he's baby there. Really? He's there because he's giving the fans 
Uh, Trump is a face yeah. on there, huh? Commercial, commercial free commercial broadcast. Free. He's giving to the fans. Now, did he have music when he came out? Yeah, it was the uh, ripoff of uh, Money, 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 Money. Right. And how much? How much money do you think it cost them to, to pay to buy raw? Pay for for three hours of no four. Well, here's two. the thing. It was technically a commercial free two hours raw, but every fifteen minutes they went over to the commentary table. And let me tell you something, Jr. and the King. Both love uh, that <laughs> soup. <new Kentucky> grilled chicken. <laughs> right, right. Okay. KFC okay. grilled chicken. They okay. Were doing live okay. Reads. They was doing live reads. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> they had those two full buckets the whole time. And I got to tell you, King, this <laughs> yeah. is some good chicken. Well, that's fantastic chicken. I can't believe this. Oh, my God. So, I mean, they, they oh, were... my God, King. <laughs> They never talk about <laughs> like food usually. But... Give me another goddamn chicken leg. <laughs> Sam said they never talk about food usually, but <laughs> yeah, but it's commercial you know. free, I guess they put in some of their personality. <laughs> <laughs> what an asshole! <laughs> yeah, that's great. Even though I own Monday Night Raw and I love it, was he at least live this time he instead was... of Vince talking to a tape of Donald Trump and making believe they were having an interaction? <laughs> that's not proven one way or yeah. the other. <laughs> but yes, no. he was. They did the big setup there, Patrice. You weren't here for this. So Vince is talking, and then Donald Trump pops up on the screen, and you think, oh, wow, they're going to have a little interaction now. But Vince was actually <laughs> talking to a videotape of Donald Trump. There was a little bit. Every so often, he'd be like, well, I. I but, 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 uh, but uh, I think uh, I. Uh, <laughs> and he couldn't cut in Donald because Trump. He was just talking. He just kept playing. Well, you can't then... cut in because it's a video that was done already. Well, so. No, it's because Donald Trump is a powerful yeah. talker. Oh, is that it? Yeah. So they were. he was at least there <laughs> live? Yes, he was there, and there were all like the big signs that said it had the Trump logo oh, over wow. Raw and on the mic flags and on the big screens. Everything said Trump. Even though I own Monday Night Raw and I love it, I've always loved it. This is your show, not mine. It's your show. Yay. To show you a little bit about that, tonight on television, millions of people, commercial free, no commercials, no nothing. I love it. <laughs> More importantly, the for the people that are here tonight, not only are you getting world championship matches better than Vince would have ever given you, believe me, but after the show is over, I'm giving you a full refund of whatever the hell you pay. That's wow. unbelievable. <laughs> that's unbelievable. Is it? No. Is it really? And that's got to just drive because you know Vince McMahon loves. What's it all about? It's all about money. the money. money. The money. And so that's got to drive Vince crazy. He actually, of course. is refunding. For this bit, they actually did raw commercial free and refunded everybody's tickets. That's insane. Yes. How did they give everyone's money back? The guy. I don't know. They got. I, don't know, I wasn't there. Uh, was it people had to leave and like to get the money back? Probably got to smell it. Maybe mail it. Yeah, they'll make it hard. Yeah, so yeah. They said they're doing so, it after the event. So. Oh. Send it on an 8x10 postcard. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, um, Vince wasn't having as easy a night as Donald Trump was. Uh-oh. In fact. <laughs> what happened? His limo broke down. Oh, no. I'm in the middle of, a, I don't know, some cow field or, or something out here in this godforsaken part of the country. With a cameraman and a mic. An for a limo driver. Yeah, and it seems as though Trump has my limo and I have the I have the backup. I've got the limo. <laughs> so what do we propose to do here, huh? You tell me, what's your plan, limo driver? <laughs> Sir, the, the nearest gas station is not too far away. Great acting. <laughs> <laughs> Sir. I love it. Sir. And he's mic'd. Right. Sir Triple A, I never heard of it. Yeah. Sir, Sir Go <laughs> On Star? No, the, no. The nearest gas station is it? What is this? A horror movie? It was the, the one police? <laughs> yeah. Maybe your private helicopter? I've never heard Hello, of it. Oh, Twitter! <laughs> yeah, send me a new limo, goddamn it! I need a limo, <laughs> Yeah, fuck. <laughs> was, was the limo driver ripped? Someone <laughs> Twitter me a limo. The limo driver was bald and had like a goatee. And yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, yeah, the limo driver is one of the guys that want to be a wrestler. <laughs> they just dressed him up in a limo suit. Or a wrestler down in, in his Lux and Vince gave yeah. him a little payday. Oh, I got, I got to hear the rest of it. Did you say gas station? Yes, sir. 
you realize I've never been to a gas station in my life? Do you expect me to go to a gas station? What's your other plan, pal? You better have a good one. <laughs> He's just a giant 75-year-old brick house bad hacker. He just built like a, a battleship. And, and all the pressure he puts on his poor wrestlers, and he's just this bad of an actor. <laughs> Holy Never shit. Never been to a gas station in my life. Life. Really? <laughs> Berating another grown man. <laughs> just get gas and let's go. <laughs> yeah, okay. what, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> Where's the problem here? I don't see a big problem here. Well, the thing. <laughs> What's going on, Sam? He has to use the backup limo because Trump got the good McMahon limo. Because Trump's the owner now. Was that in the deal? Then then Vince made a bad business deal. Well, it's probably the raw the limo for Raw. So obviously, whoever owns Raw will probably get the best limo. So the other millionaire gets the shitty. The lemon. The, the, the lemon. Li the yeah, other what millionaire. Lemon limo. What, they just have two good lem uh, yeah, limos. Yeah, one millionaire to another, or billionaire How about probably. Two billionaires. Two billionaires. Well, one gets a shitty limo that needs him, gas. He should consider himself lucky this one didn't explode. That's huh? true. Think about it, though. When you've got the owner of a branch of a company and then the <laughs> owner of the whole company, who's going to get the better limo? The owner of the branch. Why? Why? That's kind of the way it works. Uh, Just keep uh, going. Uh, uh, exactly. You get your own. It's like if two billionaires, you go like for for retirement, if one gets a Rolex, the other one gets like a Timex. Right. You can still throw the Timex in the garbage and get yourself a fucking yeah, Rolex. Yeah. Like, g g toss that fucking limo away and get his, get him a better limo. Why isn't he in a helicopter? <laughs> or his jet. Yeah. Well, I guess Donald Trump probably must have got the jet, too, I guess. That makes sense. He oh, oh, he got the jet. So he came in. The jet came in with the deal. Oh, probably, I mean, it wasn't probably on TV. So. But probably probably it was a bad deal. So. Bad business deal. It continues. The limo problem. The limo problem. Well, sir, the arena's not too far away. We could walk. Mm. You know what? We are going to walk. That is, you're going to walk. Turn around. Turn around! Get! Now get! 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 He's oh piggybacking on him. <coughs> you get on the phone and you call your boss and you tell him I'm not going anywhere. I don't care how long it takes. I'm riding to the arena in a limo and you're not going to drive me. <laughs> Now, the video I'm looking at, is that the arena in the background? <laughs> that's the that damn fucking Christ. arena, man. It's like, Why can't they fucking, like, it's right they, there? They couldn't go somewhere where it was, but it wasn't in the... How lazy is Vince with his bits? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, make it turn the like angle the other way so you don't even see the arena. He hasn't walked. He's Vincent, <laughs> Vincent Kennedy McMahon. Yeah, and he it. is a fucking big human being. Oh, you see yeah. how big He's he was giant. to this guy? Mm -hmm. Just kicking him in his ass. That's what he treats the fucking limo guys. <laughs> He's kicking him down the street in, in his ass. <laughs> Just a giant human him. being. Hey, you got a piggyback ride from the limo driver. So right, he, so he piggybacks the limo driver. Yep. He finally gets to Raw. Yep. He knocks on Donald Trump. He knocks on the door that he thinks is his office. Uh-oh. Guess whose name is on it? Donald um, Trump. Oh, you ruined it. Yeah, Opie did get it. Donald, it was Donald J. Trump. Trump. It was Donald Trump. Who informed him, uh, your locker room is over, your office is over there. Uh-oh. So he goes, okay, that's weird. So he has to go through the office, or the locker room, to get to his office. And he looks, and Goldust and Hornswoggle have to tell him, the new tag team, have to tell wow. him, that's your office right there. And there's a sign on one of the bathroom stalls that says, Mr. McMahon. Oh, so at oh, this point... Shit. How could one of the bathroom stalls be his office? <laughs> Come on, you know, now. Where, you know where the owner is, Donald Trump. Yeah, but there's not two offices. I think Donald wants to how stick many, it to him a little. How many weeks oh. did Donald Trump agree to? Is this well, one yeah, and done? Exactly. Hopefully. Here's the thing. One and so done, does right? he work for Vince? N well, no, he owns Raw. So, but does Vince work for him still? I guess why I'm, is I'm, Vince <laughs> in offices in the first place? He's so raw. See, they're doing just a, go away. Yeah, yeah, why they're doing a power struggle well, storyline? Because there, Vince sure. wants to go on Raw and do his farewell speech. That's why he's here tonight. Oh, and okay. then and say and goodbye. Then it's gonna be Donald Trump's company. But it, yes, well, no, Raw, the brand will be his. 
the yeah, branch of the company. I bet you it doesn't work out. But now the branch the of the company, but doesn't Vince own WWE? Yeah. Why wasn't this in the New York Times? Why wasn't this in the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal? Yeah, how do the stockholders <laughs> or feel Or CNBC. About this? this is pretty big. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> why wasn't this in the Wall Street Journal? This is a big business <laughs> this story. This is huge, oh, this oh, is a huge big... acquisition. Yeah. This oh, would be shit. a huge acquisition. We all know the... <laughs> we all know how CNBC works as far as journalists. So I've, we don't have any All faith right. in them anymore. Ah, uh, that's good point. So it's operations Goddamn, like this that. This kid has an answer for everything. Yes, yes but he does. After All right, let's find this, out what happens with the new office for Vince McMahon. No, no, no. We skipped the office because oh. the audio was whatever. Oh, okay. But he's fed up. So now he's gone to the ring to talk to Donald Trump. Oh. It's, it's the office and the limo and Donald Trump giving away all this money. He's had it. He's, he's had it. He's, he's got to address the crowd and yeah. Donald Trump. Yeah. I had no idea you were going to do this commercial free stuff. Okay. I lose a lot of money. With no commercials. And someone told me you're thinking about doing it each and every week. And I gotta tell you, that's not gonna happen. You give everybody here in Green Bay their money back. That's gonna happen. <laughs> These people in Green Bay, they don't deserve to have their money back. <laughs> You're gonna let Raw be free every week? So these rumors, every week, every week, these rumors, every what? week, these rumors are true? No, no, wait a minute. You can't have commercial free Raw every week. You, you can't have a, a free live attendance at Raw. You can't do that. I'd, I'd be, if you did that in six months' time, I'd be bankrupt. Let me just tell you a couple of things, Vince. Number one, this is peanuts. I paid a big price for Raw. Well, you know that. A big price. Did I? Big. I your, can your do dignity. whatever the hell I want. <laughs> All right? Whatever the hell I want. Oh, wow. Wow, Trump's acting. Oh, is my God. Amazing. Is this <laughs> happening? <laughs> wow. It's riveting. Wow, it's just amazing. It's not technically acting. It's just public speaking. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. All right, let's uh, move through these that clips. That <laughs> is horrendous acting it's, on both of well, their parts. It's not acting. Like, he can't even Vince, who is normally um, Olivier with these things, okay, uh, can't even act off of Donald because Donald is so incredibly bad. Well, here's what it is: Have you ever done a multi-million-dollar yes. bill? You have. <laughs> okay. Oh. Have you ever done a multi-million-dollar, possibly billion-dollar deal with people like Vince McMahon and Donald Trump? Uh huh. In front of millions of people, in, in television, in front of a live. Usually, arena. these things are kept to a b office, boardroom, exactly. conference rooms, things so like that. I mean, speech patterns are all thrown off. It's both men are out of their element. They don't yeah. like all this attention. Oh, okay. Oh, they hate it. Yes. Oh, attention. Yes. Oh, the oh, two yeah. of them. Yeah, that's very obvious there. Yes. Sam's got an answer for everything uh -huh. as far as wrestling goes. They're more behind the scenes boardroom types. How old are you? I'm 25. All right. 26 just, in a couple just, months. Just making sure. Yep. Mm -hmm. Acting 10. All right, well, uh, Vince tries to make a, a new deal with, yes. with Donald Trump. <laughs> Look, okay, I'll, let's make a deal. I, 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 know, I know what you're thinking, and I admit, all right, you've, uh, you're smarter than me. All right, I admit that. And you've got me in here in a bit of a bind. Okay, so let's do this. How about if I were to buy Raw back, I would pay you the same amount of money you paid me. We'd shake hands, and everything would be fine. Why would he do that? <laughs> That's a bad deal. Why, would, no. why, why would he, he do that? Yeah. Was this a hostile takeover, by the way? No. Donald Trump came to Vince McMahon with a very nice offer, very, you know, exuberant offer. Okay. And Vince McMahon accepted. And then a week later, he goes, holy shit. <laughs> yes. That 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 was deal the, was, was bad. Was bad and deal. why was this a bad deal? Because Me, not, being that it was such a wonderful deal in the first place. Because first it was just like, I'll give you this much money for Raw. And that's like, awesome. Yeah. But now Donald Trump is going to stop playing commercials and uh, giving away free tickets to all what Raw. What difference does it make to the man who no longer owns Raw? But he doesn't own Raw, but he owns the company. Right. It's like a subsidiary of WWE. And what happens is Raw. So, he's try he so here's what Donald Trump did. Yeah. He bought something for a lot of money. Yeah. To to not make money with it. Just to, He has so much money that he bought Raw so that he can stick it to Vince. You got it, The Patrice. entire wow. company. Oh, you got it. Yes. This was all a plan. Wow. 
by Donald Trump all along. Say I didn't know to that. To stick it to Vince. So he's almost like a quarterback who purposely throws interceptions. Yeah. Yep. That's what he's doing. And telling. he could lose his contract for throwing interceptions, but to get at the entire team, the vengeance is worth yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. And wouldn't you have to offer him more money than he paid? Well, like, he's already put some time into it. There's probably been a lot of lawyers that have been paid to, to uh, broker this deal. You don't just do it yourself. He's banking on, you know, it's it's complicated. You have to run a whole live TV. Look, maybe you're in over your head. Maybe I'm in over your head. I'll give Let's you your money back. Get the money back, shake hands, and we're still pals. But why doesn't he just let Raw go, Vince McMahon, and then just just create another product ah that's a good idea just just tell him take it away i don't even want to see you anymore so that is not a liability you, so you so, book so the gigs you try to do this i'm gonna make something else so trump in the deal trump said i'm gonna buy raw but the, the stipulation is that i stay under you yeah, yeah. the umbrella of of uh of mm, wwe has to be you at any time yes. even though you're technically still my boss why does not he just make something like medium rare Ooh. he'll call it medium rare and then they could because, fight in that. First of all, medium rare is not uncut, uncooked, and uncensored. <laughs> <laughs> That's first and foremost. Medium rare. Jesus. I didn't even catch that shit. <laughs> that went way over my head for the first wow. second. <laughs> Fucking medium it was rare. So bad. <laughs> <laughs> and Raw's been like, you know, Vince's baby for over sixteen years. Why would he years? sell his baby? A lot of money. There was the he money. He sold his baby for a lot of money. The money. Under the money. under the guys that that Vince. I mean, under the guys that Donald Trump. Runs a a a, 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 a comparable company but do the right under thing. his umbrella. Yeah. Yes, right. Uh, can we get through these horseshit clips? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's we, got a pet of, we got a pet of the year uh, down the hall there, Sam. Big deal. Vince, no interest whatsoever. Oh. No interest. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. All right. All right, how many of you like to see me pay Donald 50% more than what he paid? Wow. Now, that's a fair deal. That's a good deal. And I want you to accept it right now. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Vince, yeah. <laughs> that's good for some people. It's not good for me. No, no deal, Vince. All right, 75%. No, no, no. No, no, no. All right. Ugh. You get double your money back. <laughs> We've got a deal. Double your money back. <laughs> you said double your money back. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up, you You can't go deal. back on your word. You said double your money back. I'm giving you double your money back. We've got a deal. I've got to do that. You've got a deal. What the? Twice as much? <laughs> wait, there wait. it is. Vince McMahon owns Raw again. That's the end? <laughs> oh fuck me, man! Holy Can you shit. believe that? It was running. a one-week thing for fried what? chicken and fucking <laughs> Donald Trump. Can you believe it? But Vince he lost. He lost a lot of money. A lot of m money, and they wonder why their ratings are down. Sam, <laughs> the ratings are down. Just be, it's it's what symptomatic of the way television ploy. is. It's the internet. It's not the quality of programming. How about it's Donald Trump pumps up his last line a little bit? Well, no, all right, you no, gotta do no, no. Oh, you gotta do. Oh. But Vince is very angry about losing all that money. It's got to be. And here's his progression. I'll give you 25%, 50%, 75%. Wow, where's this 100%. going? 100%. 100%. Where's this I will bump it up 25% each. And each this, is, this negotiation is brutal. Within, within, within <laughs> seconds of one offer. Where's this he going? just goes back yeah. up to another 25%. Added. I'll give you 25%. 25. 50. 75. No. <laughs> Double your body back. No. 100%. <laughs> That's the way these deals are made sometimes. He didn't even go, he oh, didn't even, he didn't even go 26%. No. Well, I mean, people work in terms of quarters because it's easier, you know, especially when you're spur of the moment. Like, in terms of like quarters. options. He didn't bring in, like, you know, maybe stock <laughs> options or something or let my lawyer talk to your lawyer. <laughs> I go from $100 million to $25 see what the million. assets are. Nothing. Donald Trump obviously bought this raw brand just solely in cash. He wrote a check and said, here's how much money you get. No, Sam. That's and then not true. Fitz McMahon's going to give him a check worth two <laughs> times the first check. I hope he says. Oh, you go, that just not happen. That didn't happen. It, it didn't happen, Sam. Shut up. You're ruining this deal. Yeah. Which are, oh. <laughs> you're ruining our deal. In front of virtual primates in the audience, <laughs> he's, he's making a, a giant business deal.
And Donald Trump is like, what do you think, huh? Uh, no, man. don't All take right. 50%. My advisor is in the ring. No, nope. no, nope. no. Nope. Nope. I have a feeling Donald Trump loves being on TV. Really? Oh, he certainly he does. He loves that TV. Uh, wow, there's one more clip left. I wonder what's going to happen. God. Yeah, I you... wonder what's going to happen, Ant. Do you guys want to go around the table and guess what Vince McMahon does next? Wow, okay. So... Oh, wow. <laughs> does he? I don't know. I do certainly think? hope. What do you think? I don't know, Sam. I, I, I hope... couldn't even venture a guess. Well, let me just tell you one other thing. One other thing. Uh-oh. If you ever, ever cross my path again, if I ever see you, no matter where, it doesn't matter, I ever see that Trump logo anywhere around me, I'll knock you on your billionaire's butt. <laughs> Why not right now? No. Oh, one other thing, Mr. Trump. About the only thing I can say to you here tonight is, Donald Trump, yeah! <laughs> Even before they signed the deal? Oh, no. Oh, no. He slapped him in the look face. You're fucked. See, look at that face to face. All right. Look at Donald Trump's head. Yeah. And that I got hair. I don't know what so that's fuck all me. about. I'd I have to, to jump in that. here. Wait till you hear this. Oh, did oh, you see that? Damn, yeah. he smacked Mr. McMahon. And wait till you hear this. Gino S. from Philly. <laughs> Only reason this tanked was because shareholders were fuming because this bit lost them money. Stocks dropped by 8% after the announcement, and the government stepped in. The no, government had to no. step in. Hold on. <laughs> uh, stepped in. Can't be lying about a new owner. And then Aaron from Boston. The Donald Trump angle only lasted weeks since investors in the WWE are dumb and thought that they actually sold raw, causing stock prices to fall about 7 to 8%. SEC is considering an investigation into this. We, this Just is a man stop it. who's almost died multiple times in the ring. There's no investigation. Because I bet you this thing was supposed to last way more than a week. Of course. Well, I mean, and they're like, what the security fuck? Security is separating them. I don't see this being the end of the Vince McMahon Donald Trump feud. Well, that's nah, true. Man, they got to move on. <laughs> Look at the security guards. For the sake of uh, <laughs> why the stockholders. Vince isn't even trying to get to him. Well, he's very much in shock. Wow, Plus, he's yelling. Nobody signed the paperwork yet. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He fired him before he actually signed it. You're fucked. He's, he's got to, and I'll tell you why. Verbal contract, and everybody saw it on TV. Oh, so, so that's probably why he did it on TV. Yeah, verbal contracts. I Lots was of witnesses. It's silly to be on TV. They should be in a boardroom or something. But twenty-five <laughs> right. percent. Okay, fifty. No. Seventy-five. Okay, seventy-five percent. No. no. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, a hundred percent. No. Okay, one hundred twenty-five percent. No. Okay. One hundred fifty percent. Oh no. <laughs> All right, two hundred percent. That's it. Yes. All, All right. right, you tripled your money. You got it. The only, <laughs> we have a deal. The only thing I can hope, very shrewd, is that I hope this whole Trump McMahon thing gets resolved by the end of the summer. Why? I guess I mean. Just because it would end the season nicely. It would also coincide nicely with SummerSlam. <laughs> oh, just, well, it, usually, uh, yeah, it would. You want to get bad blood out of the way by the end of the season. Well, So, so you think sure. Trump's coming back Monday? Next Monday? Well, Vince McMahon is not going to just let somebody slap him in the face on television and be like, okay about it. He fired it. him, though. Yeah. He fired him as the owner. Of what? Raw. But not as his, Wait, but happen? not as an <laughs> evil <laughs> competitor. Because right. Donald Trump now, now... Villain. Is doubly rich. Yeah, he yeah. has more money to fight Vince McMahon. He's got a lot of Vince McMahon's money, and people forget this. Matter of fact, he can offer uh. Vince McMahon the exact <laughs> amount that he accepted in the first place, maybe twenty five percent more, yes. and <laughs> still come out twenty five percent ahead. Ahead, uh, seventy five percent ahead. Yeah. And people forget this too. It was only a couple years ago. People say, "Remember when Vince McMahon was bald? Remember when he got shaved bald?" Yes, yes. Who's the that guy that shaved him bald? Yes, Donald Trump. The Donald himself. So you think another hair match? There's just bad blood between the two. Well, obviously, I could see that. I don't know if a hair match because Vince acting. McMahon doesn't have his patented pompadour hairdo anymore. Oh my so god! Look at Bob. He, Bob Bucket looks dead. <laughs> he looks like the crib keeper. 
Why did it have to be Ed McMahon? Oh my God! That's all I'm saying. <laughs> After hearing that, his thing. hair looks hard. Oh, oh, like his wow. hair. <laughs> Vince McMahon has gone through so many near death experiences in his day. Yeah, well, I know things you know almost I mean? falling on him, the limo exploding. Thank God he blew up his limo himself just to see if the fans still loved him. That was the best excuse ever for <laughs> there's been a giant real tragedy in the WWE and I need to come out and make a statement and I can't be dead. I mean, many people would have died when he wait, Randy Orton kicked him in the head as hard as he could. Well, oh, imagine, with that yeah. shin, that evil, that Randy Orton's new finishing move, the, the, the mistake kick. Yeah. Like, the, the oh, shit, I fucked up and kicked him in the head. <laughs> but that was really good, so now that's my new ending move is a big kick in the head. Are we still uh, talking yeah. about wrestling? Uh, <laughs> sort of. Uh, sort of. Oh, kind of going like, over. Uh, what the fuck? I did a tap out about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> well, I mean, so many different things could happen. Yeah. It's such an unpredictable world. Yeah, hopefully one of them is that you leave the studio. What do you think? That has nothing to do with wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> Sam Roberts, everyone. Thank you, yes. Sam. Thank You're you, welcome. Sam. We're gonna, who's coming in next there, uh, there Steve? Uh, pet House Pet, Heather Vandeven. Nice. Is she cool? Yeah, she's very cool. Will she get naked and stuff? Yeah, absolutely. Really? <laughs> absolutely. And then what happens? Um, well, I'll let you take a look at her her supplemental sheet when you... Uh, What's this? Anyway. Show me that you supplemental that... sheet. Yeah. She's not afraid to badmouth people. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. Like who? You want... All right, That's we'll find out next. Yeah. Opie and Anthony. And the lovely Heather... I can, I can never say your last name. It's Vandevin. Vandevin, nice. <laughs> Pet of the year, 2007? Yeah, few years back. Well, <laughs> that's all right. Nothing wrong with that. You know. Kind of year. Jesus. Uh, yeah. Well, I say 2007 because why not 2009? That's what I'm saying. I want to re. I want to be reinstated. You lost a little on your fastball. Why? Why not 2009? Fastball. <laughs> 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 so you pull a hammy. You, 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 you no, should I'm still be in the big g- leagues. I'm, I still am. Okay, I'm good. Still in the yeah. big good to hear. Yeah, I'm just what, what's you know the looking. Just looking. What, what happened? There's no problems. What'd she say? Uh oh. What happened? Look at Kenny. Kenny's representing. What happened? There was a conference going on back there. We're good with you. What yeah, happened? Well, sir, if you think I'm being mean to you, go ahead. Say that. I'm oh. Good. I know it. Oh boy. What happened? Go ahead. Say it. Kenny, are you being mean to her? You did already. Go ahead. God. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! But we get along with her, Kenny. I what know. Happened? I don't understand. I'm such a sweetheart. I, I, I brought in Heather's friend who drove us here, and mm. I didn't think it was a big deal. And he got kind of what angry happened? at me about it. Wait, you want him in here? He's just a friend of of her. She's staying with him. He drove her here, and I thought it'd be a nice thing to do. But you know, it, that's Kenny's fine. If hot. you could have told this, me in advance, this could mess up our interview. I'm thinking. No, it's not like her boyfriend or anything. <laughs> Look at how be pissed Kenny is. I don't like yeah, because that's Kenny not thing. angry. If she thinks this is angry, I, I you're don't sadly think it's mistaken. Angry. Whoa. 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 Right, I, I just well, said to you very nicely. <laughs> you just can't invite people into the studio without asking. I. Goodbye. Was in with <laughs> Steve, and he saw him there, and I didn't see Steve. Didn't say you can't bring him in, and I didn't think there's anything wrong. Steve with had it. nothing to do with you and the guests coming He's into not the, the studio. The producer of the show. Eric oh. is the one that escorted you. In. You could okay, just say I it mean, like that. He's not the producer of the show. Is Steve not the, is Steve not the producer of the show? I think well, who we, escorted we, we you in the room? Okay. Well, who escorted you in the room? <laughs> <laughs> who escorted you in the room? Oh. Uh oh, Heather. There were a few we'll people who scored me in the room. Actually, no, no, there was one person. Oh, nice skinny waist. If you're gonna, if Thank we're you. gonna be yeah. real here, there was one person that scored you into the room. Was Eric? Yeah. All right. So how does Eric turn into a few people? Explain that one. It's Steve, Eric, and you. So that's three people. Who escorted that's you into people. the room? I didn't escort you into the room. So you're you're mistaken on another account. Oh, can't we all just get along, you guys? Eric, who started laying into the room? Right, what? Exactly. Okay? Now, who? truth be told. Is this a truth, lover's quarrel? Truth Something's be going... told. What happened? Who says that? I just said it. All right. <laughs> Kenny just n- knew I needed time to eat. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You know, that's fine. Okay. Hey, Kenny, it's why your don't show. you like Laney? You do whatever you want. What? You don't like Laney? She's huh. brought some fine guests over the years. Yeah. 
I, I don't like her or dislike her. You know, she I've seen her here before. I say hello to her. I'm very cordial. All right. But but the studio and the show is not a free for all. She can't just be inviting people in. I, I, I didn't bring an entourage. I brought one person in, which I never do ever. Mm. I feel responsible for this. I brought oh, my friend James. Don't you ever feel responsible James all right? for anything. I, yeah, J- James is great. He's, he's, You're a, fine. he's a fun dude. You're fine. Don't even worry I about it. I would blame E-Rock. Yeah, how can we no, pass the blame on E-Rock? How can we blame E-Rock? can't. Why can't we? Well, we can blame you. We can say it's your fault. There. It's your fault now. Well, Kenny's hot for some reason. Yeah. Kenny, why are you hot? Because I hate getting the blame for something when I didn't do nothing. Mm-hmm. If I did something wrong, I'm the first one to admit it, and I'll take my lumps. But I don't lumps. like being falsely accused of nothing. Mm. It was E-Rock. E-Rock? Yeah, it's Eric. Why would you just... You, you, know. you screwed everything up. Tricks. I didn't, do, I didn't fucking up anything here. Language in front of a lady. I know this video of her getting, you know, tongues put in her ass, but, <laughs> yeah. you know, language. Let me refresh that. Language. Uh, <laughs> Laney, you all right? Are you con- I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I, I hope he's glad Are you confused by Kenny's himself. anger? <laughs> I... I I, I just don't understand how Kenny, I did you hear that. You, it, so you hope you're right. <laughs> I, I just didn't, I thought it was a little hostile for the way he responded. That's all. But that's yeah. okay. That's his. That's his show. It's not my show. God damn. Oh, the Kenny. way I responded by just simply telling you can't invite people in without asking. What's hostile about that? I whispered it. I didn't scream you it. Do some hardcore, right? Uh, yeah, some hard, yeah. hardcore girl. All right. Mm-hmm. All right. Let's uh, let's focus on Heather. I was just looking because I was watching the video. Yeah, girl, mm-hmm. girl, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never did girl guy or anything. No, no. no. Yeah. You know, and the and the girl, girl. Um, I've only done some really nice high end work. Yeah. So I'm choosy about it, right? Yeah. Careful about it. So I'm kind of looking at that, and that's it was pretty a, good. Got to tell you. Thank you. That's the kind of stuff I like watching. Yeah, pretty pretty girls. Yeah. Wow. On pretty Is that pretty you? girls. Yeah, I was um, blonde for a number of years. I just recently went more of an, an auburn color to bring out the green in my eyes. <laughs> mm. like that. <laughs> I thought you were a natural redhead. Oh, yeah. It, it looks, it looks, it looks you very know, natural. Most of my family, they are redheads. Yeah, so. We're Irish and Dutch mm-hmm. and Australian, right? Just throw that in there. Very good. Yeah. Wow, Lainey, thanks for ruining our interview. Yeah. I, tell you. I, I, mean, now I don't know where to go. We're all trying to make believe that that didn't just happen. <laughs> There's always drama with you, Lainey. She brings us the girls that cry and run out of here. And, oh, my God. Boy. All right. Should we start over? Um, we could do a do-over. Um, I don't think we need to do a whole do-over. All right. Yeah. Just in it. What? An introduction? Well, we got her pussy Holy lips for everybody. Oh, my God. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. you know what? Bravo to you. We mm-hmm. see a lot of pussy lips. Uh-huh. Of, the, of the fake uh, variety, yes, the rubber and, ones, and this is like you could, ha- you, oh, you could like, lovely, you could like, Heavy. this is manageable, Aunt. Yeah, you know the pussy lips where you, it's so big and heavy, it's you can't just drag that's it like around. Like this one, it's hard to. Oh, oh, oh that's a big heavy. one. Well, that's that's the ass and the thighs. Yeah, yeah. And, so and that... this was modeled. You had to put like plaster over your ass. And... Yeah, you know, they they put the plaster on the naughty bits, wow. and they take an exact, you know, uh, copy of it. It's it's. That's an that's, exact. Well, that's, that's an exact exactly what you replica. Like. Wow, what? that's great! What? An exact replica. Oh, you, that's very pretty. Why do you? Why does this one have a mini me version of your pussy? That's <laughs> because that's for the people that maybe that the the real version is a little too large. For real? No. No, no there's no way you could. Fuck no, that. that's, that's for your finger. Hilarious. That's just so you can feel. You I'm can looking feel at. It. I'm looking at the pet pussy and ass. Where's the ass part? He's underneath. Oh yeah, there Where it is. The what do you need? Assistance? <laughs> <laughs> well, in yours it was right there. Yeah. I yeah. thought I had to kind of turn around a little I know, bit. That but does I... kind of look like it's been filleted. All right, thank you. So you know what I'm talking about. And then there's a mini version of her pussy lips. Yeah, that's, I think so you that's can hilarious. Feel it through the box. Mm-hmm. So you the know bo- what you're getting. Yeah. Well, you're getting pussy. That's so for sure. You're getting yeah. some really soft. Oh, yeah. see, like this over here. You're like, wow. That's... Skin, cyber skin. Cyber skin. Yeah, that's Ooh. that's the new material. Yep. Yeah. High yeah, yeah, end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Patrice, would you ever have sex with one of these things? Yeah, but I haven't. But I would. Like, yeah. I would give it a shot. Bro. You would try it. 
Yeah, it's just, it, but you got to have pussy around. Like, that's something you do right with ass. real pussy around. <laughs> yeah. Like, if you fuck that and you, like, you can't get real pussy and you fuck that, that's just creating a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> but if no one's looking, you're like, ah, what the fuck? By I'll, myself, I'll, no. What, you would fuck this in front of another girl? That's yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, the fuck. I, I just, yeah. That's when it gets weird, I think. No, no. Like, no. You just get creepy with your bitch, Wait, you know? Wait, Heather's like, no. No, I how do, you, um, how do you work this into your relationship? Well, yeah, funny you should ask. Okay. Um, um, I, I recently broke up with my boyfriend, but uh, while we were together and when that uh, first came out, uh, I brought some home for him. A cop, mm. you know, one of those, my fake pussies, and... It was really fun because I put the fake pussy over my pussy and I had him fuck the fake, fake pussy and then he fucked me. Oh. Now that's fun. And what it, what, 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 Wait, what did he Wait, I'm trying to think if that would be fun. That would be. It's kind of, it's, it's interesting. It's different. Yeah. It's, okay. it's a little, All right. it's a little unusual. Would you do, do it that way there, Patrice? Yeah. Yeah. I would think if you like brought this out, it'd be no. a lot of laughing. It is. It's kind but of funny. By but yourself, hey, you're okay. two creeps. If you're two well, creeps, funny. Funny. but by <laughs> yourself, you, you could build the rest of the woman around this, and you know, you should go, see some of that shit. They got fucking giant, vibrating thing. You know what I mean? The girl just sits on. It's all goofy, but it's fun if you. The into Sibian. It. Yeah. You know what's happening, Iraq? Oh, it's still happening oh, out no, there. Oh no! Come on. We're, we're in a good place oh, now. Oh my god! What happened? Oh, somebody from uh, somebody from the company here is a big fan of hers and just wanted to come by and say hello. Who? Jose from the Metal Channel oh, is no. is uh, really no, no, into Jose. her feet. Do you mind? Uh, bring it. Bring wait, it. you're into foot fetishes. Wait, yeah. wait, wait. What is that I read? God damn it. Sam, yeah, the fake I, pussy I do. I like, <laughs> Let's see this. We're, we're going to bring this whole thing around. This is Jose. Hey, what's Hi. up? Hi. Jose, Hi, you know Jose. Heather? <laughs> hey, everybody. Hey, Lainey. Yeah. <laughs> I don't, don't Lainey. mention Lainey. Lainey's in trouble. Uh -oh. I love Lainey. <laughs> we're not a lot of time. Yeah, she's in the corner. She created drama. Kenny will throw you out. What's, yeah, what's Kenny, up, guys? Good morning. Hey, good morning. Kenny, you want to put a morning, dunce guys. cap on Lainey while she sits in the corner and behaves? <laughs> <laughs> we love uh, Lainey, I, I sort of got a smile out of Kenny, so we're heading in the right direction, Lainey. What's up, guys? Hey, hi. Hey, Jose. Hey. I, I just wanted to come and say hello. Oh, you're, thank you. You're a big fan of Heather? I'm a big fan of Heather, and uh, I just, your feet, I would love to just, yeah, I, I know you talk about feet. Wow, I, I love do. high heels. That's so hot, girl. So Check this out. Is this kind of weird? <gasps> oh, my God, he painted his toes. I Whoa, get, well, wait, wait, wait. Why are you painting your toes, no, Jose? Oh, 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 dudes. I get, <laughs> um... I'm a big hippie dude from Arizona, and I've worn flip-flops my whole life. And since I've been, like, in high school, I've been sort of just, you know, doing silvers. No reds or blacks, or just, you know, just silvers. Right. And, uh... Is silver okay? Yeah. On no. guys? I, I appreciate I, I when imagine... a guy paints his toes any color. Really? Well, yeah, I think it's I don't it's fun. actually do it myself. I actually go to get pedicures. This is my oh. one thing that I that I do that I think is actually pretty cool. And I don't like to admit this too much because... Yeah, I wouldn't. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I, I, I do, I do, I Look, do the I'm rock just... and metal here, so I just... But it is true. That I, I'm a big I, foot guy. So you just said oh, you paint good, your, your good. toes. I'm thinking our audience, and I'm thinking... Wow, that just would never fly. Yeah, you yeah. know, these guys are already going to... I saw some of the comments from the last time I was on here. Your <laughs> friends and fans don't like me at all, dude. So we, that's cool. But you know what? But I'm we, like sit, it. we like uh, well, you. Well, thank you, dude. And I just want to say to right, all those you, people but... that wanted to beat me into a pulp, and they, they say things like that are pretty harsh, man. You know wow. what? I still think you guys are badass, you and thanks for being part the... of the family. Put the toes up yeah, on the show counter. Yeah, the toes are gorgeous. Well, no. Patrice really? is a little what am I supposed to show? Because I can't see from where I'm at, and I'm trying to understand this. It's yeah. just, uh, they're, they're, Look they're, how pretty. I mean, his Heather, toes. That's all right. His toes are painted perfectly. Yeah, but we're not. I mean, it's maybe if you're in a pretty. rock band or something, but, I guess you could pull that off. But if well, you're like a regular dude, hey, you can't walk around you know with what? silver toenails. Here's the thing. Feet. Did you see the W, the recent W magazine? Oh, thank you. Who, who's in oh it? Oh my God, this it's, is cool, lady. It's, it's with the um. Oh God, who's the okay, the one that cool. was married to Demi? What's his name? Bruce? Getting Bruce. Off over here. Oh, he's not just getting comfortable, man. You know, Bruce Willis could pull it off. He Bruce can do whatever the Willis, fuck he wants. We're Bruce, not Bruce Willis. It doesn't matter, but Bruce We're Willis. We're dudes that work at delis and shit. Bruce we, we Willis had our black, painted his toes black. See, I'm not into it black. It looked really sexy, you know, because that's too common, but this is this is. It's unusual. common and it also looks like you have, like, fungus or something on your toes. Yeah. 
Dirt, Which yeah, way? but silvers, yeah, I got this for Father's Day. Yeah, happy Father's Day, everyone. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. Patrice, what do you think of the toenails being painted? Ah, uh, you know, faggoty. Yeah. <laughs> you know what, dude? That's okay. Everybody, do you see the looks I get in elevators? I mean, it's, it's rough. It's, it's uh, I know, especially here in the city. But you know what, dude? Uh, uh, but I'm bitches like that shit. It's, uh, they, they don't even count. Of course, I'm, you know, dude is this. I'm not saying he's gay. I'm saying, but it's, it's, it, it attracts... A certain kind of style. Well, of Heather women, likes man. it. A lot of women, you know, you well, can get some hot girls. And, with that. And, and you're into. Uh, awesome, thanks, brother. You, got, you have a sock and foot fetish? Uh, yeah, I do. See, uh, that's weird. The sock thing. I don't get that. A I, lot of people don't. I just, I'm into socks. I like the way they look on people. I, I particularly like the black men's dress sock that go up mid calf. Ew. And <laughs> I know, and I think it's because it is a little um, ew, actually, because it is a little ew. So it brings a whole other element. I, it's, I guarantee there's something on. going on. I, I there's yeah, a, there's can a, there's I see? A pass can I see? I just, Opie and Anthony. I just got white. The white athletic. Okay. I forgot what kind. Oh look! Oh, 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 oh man! Yeah. Yeah. Look at them. She just grabbed her boots and everything. Yes. That's why I said, look at her. Show us off. <laughs> she is happy. And my combat boots. <laughs> and that's a nice combination. Hey. Damn, Thank you for shoes. that this morning. Wait, wait a minute. All right. Because this is radio. We have to do. This, the look she gave you when she saw your I socks. I know, I saw that. Very impressive. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. What is it? He's, I don't know. God, I wish I, you know. Just something these about. These things that happen in your mind, I can't explain. But Does I it go just, back to something yeah. that happened when you were a kid or something? Of or course. a good experience? Well, that's what they say, <laughs> that a lot of the fetishes go back to something that happened when you were a kid. Um, all I know is I used to love getting into my to my mother's clothing, her pantyhose and her socks, and I would put them on my, like, my hands and my head and weird things. So <laughs> n- that doesn't explain a thing but yeah. i have pictures of myself doing that as a child really yeah so I, it, it began very young wow that's a nice <laughs> yeah. shot and break that's you it is. yeah yeah holy shit and show her your uh, socks yeah, very nice um i, I like the little excitement area. that happens watch this all right let's we'll just put that up here pull that pull look up. at the Nice little white. Look at the happy. Oh, no, thing. show the show the leg too. I have to see some oh, of the the leg. white the white leg oh, poking. She's a fucking creep. <laughs> I'm so creepy. I am. I am. I am so creepy. It. Those that Irish eyes just lit up. I love that. <laughs> she just lit up it. Wow. God, I'm a weird girl. Do you like 90 degree That's pools? Cold. Do I like, do <laughs> like what? Do you, do you like heated pools? <laughs> what? And uh, jacuzzis. <laughs> and watch um, you over for a photo shoot. Oh. <laughs> you, you got a 90 degree pool? That's well, expensive. Yeah, I put a lot of, I put a lot of oh, yeah, heat, heat on shit. there. I, I, I didn't care because I just wanted it because the summer just kind of sucked. It's been very cold here. So I turned the heat up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe you know, you know, I have a kind of a webcast that maybe I need guests yeah, for. Yeah, yeah. Just don't bring Laney. She's <laughs> nothing but trouble. The publicist for Penthouse Laney. We yeah. love Laney. We Kenny, not so much. <laughs> oh, no, we love you, Laney. <laughs> where you stay in Jersey? Yeah, are you. Where you stay? Where you stay in, in the city? Manhattan. Jersey. Um, no. What? Oh, I was just at the the Paramount. Paramount Hotel, right? Mm. What are you doing in town? Nice. Are, we, are we supposed to promote anything? Your jeans are yeah. awesome, by the way. Thank you. Jesus, Jose. Thank Sorry, you. bro. Should I go? I'm, I'm on the go. cover. Oh, it's all, it's all good. I love I'm on the cover of the you. penthouse variations. That's <laughs> awesome. What's up, Ziggy? Fucking well, painted toad cock blocker over there. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, well, I, wanted to go. I, I just wanted to say hey, hello, and you're beautiful, and you're gorgeous. Well, did you want to get, Thank you, I'll give you a foot massage whenever you want. No, I was trying to get something done here. You want to kiss her feet? I don't know what the, you fucking well, foot freaks do. I just want to do? You just interview her, and I can just massage her feet as you're interviewing her don't pay but attention to me i'll go down foot. i'm not i'm not gonna be able to focus if you do that no we'll just talk to these guys and, and i'll go i'll go underneath i'll be in a fucking mr friend guy <laughs> suck her feet you fucking <laughs> asshole she's a guy. she's a fucking Dude, that's what, piece I, of garbage I, 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 no no put I'm your put a foot in your Jesus. fucking no, mouth no no you talk to, it's own nature I'm, I'm just here i'm helping stop out stop trying relax, relax, relax. to fucking i, I Dude, can't stand it stop trying to be romantic motherfucker just put her foot in your mouth nigga Exactly. Stop! Oh my She's God. a piece of garbage. She <laughs> loves. She loves. Oh, and I say that with love in my heart. <laughs> I, don't care, I say that with she love. Gets at least she a lo- pre foot massage. Put bro. her foot in your mouth. <laughs> if you don't, man, you're boy. officially oh. a sissy. And those toenails. Oh, there you go. Bro. That's it, buddy. 
Yeah, see, that's right. That's why. All right, what is feet that? Feet are nice. What does that do? It's if it you, have, you have nerves. But he's out of control, dude. Let me wait. Time out. Because I'm not gonna put a foot in my mouth. Jose, suck, suck this on. toe. Listen, no, no, no. Don't go nowhere, Jose. Jose, Jose. See yeah, the listen. big toe. The yeah. toe next. To listen, do. the toe next to the big toe. Suck that and go back and forth as if. No, dude. No, that no, I'm no, telling I'm you. Know. I'm trying to tell you so you don't make a fucking fool out of yourself again. <laughs> See, we're, we're going to be cool from now on. So I'm right. This mother... See, Wait, he's what, a what bad guy to hang out with. He's... He's a... You need good cop, bad cop. He's good cop, but he doesn't want any bad cop around. Like, he he's fucks up. He's not a team player, this guy. I'm trying to help you. You are. Suck that toe right there, he's dude. He's being very specific. Yes. Yes. You don't suck the fucking whole goddamn yeah, don't, don't heel. Spread it, don't spread it too wide. It hurts. Yeah, it hurts. So it's close... Leave her, leave that toe alone. No, dude, I like to spread it out a little bit. It's about her. <laughs> he said he likes to spread it yeah. out a bit. Oh, what about me? Yeah, yeah it's, there it's, you go. You got it. Wait, how, how do you know that? Uh, how do you? I'm a toe. I, I'm a piece of garbage. He's just know, a piece what? of garbage. It's a little weird. <laughs> there's nothing. Uh, uh, there's uh, nothing uh, I haven't uh, done. <laughs> this, hey, bro, this is something that I, I don't just do that out of the blue, Thank like eating you. a thing from the vending machine like i like to work my way into it no matter where i am if I'm because the women air, deserve <laughs> i gotta hang out with this you, motherfucker you to get him what, out of this that, shit that's all good i'm gonna bro. get him out of this i'm, I'm gonna get him out of this 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 i'm gonna
go. There's a website called Simon Blaze. He's um, he's a dominant in BDSM, and he teaches men to be very dominant. And that's really what a woman wants. They want a man to come in and just be the strong one. Don't ask questions. Don't say, oh, you're so sweet and pretty. Come in and just... Mm-hmm. Be central, be sexual, but be that strong, soon as she dominant gives you the male. Go. Soon as she gives you the go, oh, you yeah. grab on the top of her head and pull in the bedroom. <laughs> well, it, you know, there's there's degrees of this. Well, because she's well. wait, you have, but do you have well. rape fantasies? Um, I like Patrice I like being over, yes. I like being overpowered, but I don't uh, I don't want to be scared. No I guess. violence, right, right. like heavy so violence. so doing scenarios, um, smack around scenes, bit. yeah. Yeah. No, being smacked, spank being it. smacked just to be smacked. No, because no, it, no, if, no. if it turns you on and it turns me on, then yes, you know. Wow. Yeah. I smack that. She's ass. still trying to maintain like a little bit of because she's beautiful, so she's yeah. maintaining control, but uh, just a a big finger over her mouth and just say shush. Well, she's and helped, she'll be fine. That advice is, is going to help dudes out there. I mean, it, there's yeah. books out there. There's videos. There's all sorts of no, radio they, shows and seminars. His host ain't agreeing again. Fuck God. Oh, dude, I got to go, you, dude. Have you ever told, have you ever told a girl to just shut up this once? Is, no, well, I'm not you, here you to do that. You had a word from Patrice. I, I'm here to do that. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. I, I, I carve my own violins. <laughs> I, I, I build them, man. I, I, I go and I don't get. I get. I get dead wood. I don't go chop down alive trees and I make my own flutes. Yeah. What do you say we go to a moonlit picnic? I play the flute. <laughs> uh, you know what? I would do don't that. Don't kill I, those ants at the picnic. I would do don't that. Don't you do that? Play an acoustic death metal guitar and do something yeah. outrageous and weird. So, yeah. so okay. There's, an approach. There's, there's, there's different. Well, oh pieces. my God! That but, cloud. Looks like Tom Petty. <laughs> you think? Jose, you want to sing a song to Heather? You got uh, one in you. I mean, dude, what kind of song? Whatever I mean, you want. I don't it'll really say, have a song. It'll I say a lot good. what song you sing to Heather. I need a Heather. guitar, dude. Uh, all right, cool, man. I'll do this. Um, all right, here we go. Uh, um, yeah. Wait, dude, is there some sort of beat that someone can give me or something? Some sort of like run DMC. Like, <laughs> some riffing beats or something. All right, Heather's doing a beat for you. Uh, all right, cool. All She's right. doing patty cake. The patty cake beat. Coming in the room, Heather and you. Coming in the room, Heather, I'm dominating you. Oh, Sit back, shit up, fucking bitch. Now you're gonna take it all with my dick. Wow. Sorry. Well, that was some t- and then he apologized. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Hey, dude, pick up the new issue of Ink Magazine. I got to go, though, guys. Okay. Slater, right, man. Word, hey, word. Yeah, okay, man. Yeah. I'm in there. Check it Thank out. You hey, for that. cool. Uh, Have uh, a good one. Yeah. Here you Here you go, Steve. Yeah, Laney. Bye. You look a lot better as a redhead. Thank you. I got Because I'm, I'm looking Lainey at the blonde. Up. Kenny, is that looks right? Looks very good. All right. no, but that I'm red, sorry. that suits you. Thank you. When you walked in, I absolutely thought that was natural. Thank you. Yeah, but, uh, but from right any on. of your videos, I cannot tell what is natural because yeah. you do shave tight. Oh, you, I do. You keep that tight. I do. Nice. Yes. I like that skinny waist. Keep Jesus Christ. That's grabbable. That's one of those fucking... Oh, yeah, oh. I got the thin waist and I have um, little hip handles. You can yeah, appreciate yeah. it. You can, you, I can appreciate the, 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 the beauty. The, the, I, can I, like ab- I can appreciate it. Thank you. Just, yes. Mm, mm. But this is... This is this Heather, thank you. Yes, this. <laughs> this. this piece of this, this, garbage. This, this piece of garbage. <laughs> this, thing, this thing right here. I, Great. I mean, he meant that nicely. Yeah, though. I mean she is. Uh, Heather, How I don't know, but she is a white guy's god given godsend. Yeah, big mm-hmm. tits, nice skinny waist. Godsend. Nice ass. Mm-hmm. Could you lose the uh, the vest though for? Oh sure. Yeah, nice. Mm. My pleasure. Your pleasure. Well, oh, I, hey. Yeah. Holy mother of Christ <laughs> on a pony. There you go. It's illegal for me I, to even be looking I, at her in the 60s. This is... I, uh, I, for, yeah. I forgot to wear in just fucking, in your face. Oops. Talk about feet. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a nigga by the toe <laughs> and shoot me in my face. <laughs> hey, guys. Oopsie. Heather forgot, forgot. to wear a bra today. Oh, oh, how did you walk out of the house like that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Let me take a picture. I was in a rush Every, today. Yeah, it happened. Happens. Oh, my God. I, I think Open I forgot to wear place. panties, oh, too. Oh, no. Terrible. Panties, too? Oh, damn. Damn. Oh, yeah, those are nice low cut jeans, especially in the back. And what do you got? A little V notch cut in the back I there? Do. Show, show some ass crack. These are some crazy Italian uh, designer jeans. Yeah. Oh, you know, those Italians. Are you filling up, yeah, man? Let me, let me get that. Let me get that right there. And you're filling up? 
I would fuck the shit out of her. Are you filling up, though? Are you filling up? <laughs> yes. You filling up a little bit? Yeah. Just, feeling, <laughs> just yeah. fucking nice. God damn. Oh, the jeans are coming off. Oops. Like that. You look at the slip down a little bit. Oh. They're what? falling down a little bit. Whoops. Yeah, that is nice. Pull this back up. <laughs> She's too perfect. You got any scars or anything? Yeah, yeah stink. Yeah. Anything good? <laughs> anything? Um, little funny smells? Unarmed smells or no, something? No, no. Nothing? Well, I'm a bit of a germaphobe, so I'm very, very oh, careful you're perfect about for my Anthony. hygiene. Good. Anthony hates the germs. Yeah, too. I don't. I'm not, I don't like uh, germs. I love the Germans. That's good. Germs bad. Germans good. Yeah, that's right. I, yeah. I, if you can't see any flaws, no I'm not going to point them nothing? out. Nothing. I'm not going to point. Yeah, I nothing? actually do have. Something? I'll show you my birth defect if you show me yours. You have a scar right there. What is that? You can't even see that. That's, That's a scar. scar. Like, like ankle. Nothing? Where? No it's bad nothing. breath or nothing? Nothing? No. Bad breath. I don't think so. Something. Bring I, it I down mean, to earth a little bit. So I did can... have to. Oh, I, I'm grounded in, in earth. I'm a Virgo. It's an earth sign. I What's can't... the booty hole look like? Sometimes booty holes have a little. Like balloon no, knot. So, well, show here, the whole thing yeah, right check there. it out. Here, is right it a, there, it's just a pretty hole or is it a balloon knot? Is it a balloon? They showed something. Meaning, is it a. Is it stripes on it? Or is it just one little hole, the booty? Um, you know what I mean? It has... See, there it is. Uh, there it is. There's... Look at that, right? Yeah. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, yeah that's... Oh, it's, a, it's a real asshole. It's a, like, it has character. You've Sometimes yeah. you get those little baby assholes. A vagina has character, too. Yeah, it has... You know, there's a little, bit of, a little bit of heft to the vaginal lips, but they're, oh. they're nicely formed, I yeah, think. Yeah, they're nice. That's where you do the whole uh, undercarriage. There's, there's a white guy. I bet just... you there's white guys that'll just fucking do like would do anything to be with her. Like, mean, and and this is, this sounds so disrespectful, but I'm saying she's just so. Th- it's makes she makes me nervous. She's so thin. Like, you know what I mean? It's like what do you mean? Like I, I wouldn't her? know what to do. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Like I like to grab and shit. Uh, like yeah. she's so big boobies. It goes with your culture. Yeah, like, like a big girl. bitch. Like, but I yeah. have, I have, I actually do have hips though. I like a no, you bitch. Can but no, up. trust me. And I know, I've known white guys so long that I know how to view you as a white guy would. But as a black guy, you just go, like for me to get off looking at you. And in this terms of a guy who watches a lot of porn, mm-hmm. for me to jerk off to you, you would have to be doing something gross, gagging, peeing, something. Not, <laughs> not gagging fucking. Seriously, I'm just saying. I'm not not like being ooh like beautiful. It something, has to be so- something that shows that I, I can get down and dirty. Just something, something that rid- I'm a little bit yeah, tough. R- ridiculous, oh, on the like stairs, some ridiculous right shit. There. Yeah. yeah, like this right here is the like fuck there on the stairs. That would locked be up in prison for a while. <laughs> <laughs> this is this shit is like crazy. But access to porn every day, you know. Mm. I don't know. I just she's like, so she's so lovely in her in her approach. I like yeah. that completely naked thing. Yeah, I jerked off to a girl no gag another day, and her mascara was was cause, running. Oh yeah, that's oh, that's yeah, so sexy. Like that. I, I like love that. that shit. I like slut eyes like that. Yeah, yeah. mascara's just running uh, down because uh. they're working so hard for you. They're like, yeah, yeah. I'll take just it. Fantastic. I'll take it. Shit. Look at those stairs, must stink. But I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Jesus in a good Christ way. <laughs> <Jesus. You know laughs> what? I'm saying it in a good way, man. You called her a piece of garbage. Yeah, that's yeah. That she's Here's up the what stairs. I like about her: she understands the context. She's a she's a nice person. She she gets she understands. She's I'm not. That's not I an mean. insult. I mean, stink good. <laughs> My goodness, it's, it's an asshole and vagina on those steps. You know what it is? You look too strippery. With that hair color like that, I what? agree. Now, I agree. Now it was, you look a it, lot more wholesome. Oh, with the blonde hair, right? it was kind of not... girl next doorish in the face. Anyway, the body is fucking. There's no girl next door with that body, but the the hair. It was too common. And stuff is yeah, yeah. Yeah, it did not fit. It did not suit my personality. Yeah. So I, I definitely feel more at home here in this what? Auburn world. Someone's asking, what's the nastiest thing you've done? What's the nastiest thing I've done sexually? Yeah. Hey. Um, oh god well there was this this one uh lover that i had it's actually it's not nasty so much as interesting Mm. he took me to a church after hours how he got the keys Mm. to the church no church stories they you don't hear church story a sex church story why 
It's okay really? if it's in the past. Sure. Okay. Yeah, which <laughs> ours, ours is, is, is this a problem? <laughs> fucking our, I'm sorry. Our church, uh, our church uh, sex uh, story uh, is way better than yours. <laughs> <laughs> really? I'm just fucking I'm just fucking did, did your Inside story cost you, you, your story cost you two and a half years? Because <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's obviously a sex, a church sex story, right? Yeah, well, yeah, so, yeah. so he takes me to the church, and then we yeah. go down to, you know, the altar, the main part, and Uh-oh. he says, Uh-oh. he says, I'm going to fuck you right here on this altar. And said, yes, father. And that was it. And I remember being on my back and him fucking me and looking up and seeing like this huge cross and just being like, this is a good moment. This wow, is sexy. She, see, she's, let's, let's, let's uh, make this uh, clear. Uh, she is. Another insult coming from. Here we go. It's not a fucking oh, insult. Go. Stop. <laughs> fucking, oh, why, oh, why would I say that? He's going to break no. it down. Let's, let's she's hear. not a nasty girl. She's, she's. Peculiar in her sexual she appetite. Is, she's weird. not like she just named like a uh, she's fantasy. That's like a fantasy weird thing. The word's creepy. But have you ever peed <laughs> on a guy? Yes. Oh, she's dirty oh, look, too. She's smiling. Okay, yeah, yeah, so she's, like, she's a soldier. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I'll do. I I love sexuality, and I definitely am dirty. Um, I have peed on men, but it's usually in the shower because who wants to clean that up? <laughs> yeah. I don't give a shit. Who really? Yeah, fucking why not? Mattresses are easy to get. I'm definitely, and I am definitely <laughs> a squirter, so. My girl yeah, uses really? me as a cat box. Yeah. <laughs> Make a big. <laughs> a cat box. She pees on me and scratches my chest with her feet and just goes back in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> she got a, she's got a great laugh. Yeah. Has to be. You have a really good laugh. Oh, thank you. This is really funny. good laugh. A so, so do you, uh, yeah. So, you, okay, you've done that. You, and you're a squirter, so you, you mm-hmm. make What's a little bit of a mess when uh, That's great. when you come. Yeah, it takes. It, sometimes it, it'll take a while. It's not every time, but yeah, it's when you you've come so intensely already that for me, anyways. Then when you orgasm, actually. You know, some um, vaginal secretions can come out, like project yeah. a bit. Mm-hmm. You get wet, really wet. Oh yeah. Holy mother of Christ! On Especially the somebody's wearing black socks. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> Looks like there's some <laughs> negotiations in there for you there. Okay. Come on, Tom Bosley, get your wait, shit wait, together. Wait, wait. I think if I get my address out on the air, uh, <laughs> if I just blurt it out right now, enough people won't won't come over my house. <laughs> Come on, Leslie up. Nielsen from <laughs> He's always walking around in his fucking socks. <laughs> and, <laughs> make sure you yeah. get the sock suspenders yeah, too. And do me a favor and show her the socks again. Oh no. Please. Oh, yes. Please, because I love I love the this. look. I love the look. Watch. <laughs> oh, we look, need more she, knee. We get, oh, go, look, get all the way up really to that. Get all the way up to that hard yeah. egg <laughs> knee you got there. She <laughs> loves it all. Yeah. <laughs> get up there, Bob. Yeah. She likes the <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's delightful. It's delightful. I'm salvy. I just I literally Wow. Yeah, she really likes that. There you go. You getting flushed for man. I see it. You're trying to maintain your cool, but she's a fucking she's a beast, man. She is not fucking around. Oh, and she's cool. Nice. You trying to nice, fluster right? her? She ain't flustered. She's a soldier. Yeah, I actually was a soldier. I was in the army for a number of years. Really? Mm-hmm. She knows how to Jesus fight. I'm a, I'm a veteran. You must have been something. You, you must have did well with those guns. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> 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 it was meant to be a movie. Yeah, it must have been like yeah. zero <laughs> concentration. <laughs> And she walked by. Like, in my uh, <laughs> in my basic training, they voted me the hottest girl in basic training. But I probably the I, hottest girl ever. I army. trained right alongside with the men. I ran the miles. I learned how to shoot M16s. I was it's right there love. with them. Your aunt is in guns. love. I got, I got guns, Jody you know? Foster, man. She is a fucking. Yeah. She's she's not talk bullshit. Guns with Heather, there. I got some guns at home. Some AR-15s, shotguns, <laughs> pistols. Nice. Got a Desert Eagle. Okay. Nice 50 cal. We go to the range, blast a few off. Oh, she shoots a, shoots the gun. Naked, oh, yeah. you oh, just beat off. Be I, that, now that, that's creepy enough for me to watch her shoot, and she's good. <laughs> and I am like a just sniper just shot, and I can see an asshole in the in the distance. <laughs> black sock on my dick. Oh, oh no! Or, or get a paint gun. How wait, dirty wait. is this? I have, I have a story about socks on dicks. Alrighty, all right, let's hear this. Well, um, I just finished a couple uh, soft core series for HBO and Cinemax. Oh, sorry. <laughs> what was that? No, sorry. Oh, no, someone was taking a video. Okay. No, 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 not anymore. Sorry, go ahead. Okay. I'm, I'm listening. HBO Cinemax, Life on Top, and this other show called Lingerie that I filmed in Toronto, and the other one I filmed in Romania. 
So anyways, this I'm new to doing softcore with men, and it's not real sex, right? It's simulated. Right. I've and, seen those. Yes. And uh, I put a, a Band-Aid, basically, on my pussy. And then they, in Romania, they didn't get the memo that you're supposed to have, like, a special thing you put on the mills. They literally gave them, like, dress socks or, or running socks. And they're like, here you go. This is what you put on your cock. Like, I thought that was hilarious. And, and, that's and, then, the and then for simulated me, simulated sex is just rubbing that ru- back and forth. Right, right, with the sock on the cock. And um, for me, thank God I had a sock fetish. Otherwise, it'd be very strange. That would really be odd to have to be really sexy with a guy, and he's sitting there with an athletic sock hanging from his cock. Or as a kid, if I didn't want to make a mess, I'd jerk off in a, like a fucking in a sock, white sock. Yeah. There. All right, now yeah, easily cleaned. You just go to yeah. sleep. Yeah. Let mom put it in the washing machine, <laughs> the dishwasher, or washing machine, or wherever the hell she puts it. <laughs> wow. Hey, why don't, yeah, okay. definitely. why don't you like Michael right. Bay, the director of Transformers? Um, well, I observed his behavior on set. I He did this movie called The Island, and I was hired basically as a glorified extra. My character was... Pretty Girl from the Future. Mm. <laughs> so I was on... Pretty s- Girl 8 from the Future. Right, Exactly. And uh, so I was on set, and I've done I've done a lot of work, mainstream and erotic, and so I've seen people's behavior. But his behavior on set was out of control. He screamed profanity and just yelled at everyone on the crew. No respect for anyone. And for me, I'm all about giving people their respect. And he just, you know, he stomped mm. over everyone. And obviously, he's in the position he's in because. He's a great director, and because he's not afraid to step on people. But for me, I find it grotesque. So, Michael Bay, well, he's not impressed. He's done pretty well, though. Yeah. Unfortunately. He doesn't care what I think. Yeah, he's like, what? <laughs> he doesn't gonna, care. I can't hear it over the rumble of the Brinks truck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, and what about Mick Jagger? Mick Jagger, my famous Mick Jagger story is I spent three days with him in Vegas. We did not have sex. Uh, I met him through a mutual friend. But we did make out. And uh, What's that all about? And you would, th- you would think that Mick Jagger would be this incredible maker-outer because, well, as we know, he's probably... He doesn't have to make out, though. He's Mick Jagger. Well, he doesn't have to, but he did. He and here's right the thing. The here's the thing. <laughs> um... I had to stop him mid make out and say, This isn't working. I'm going to have to give you a few lessons here. Because he had the tendency, of course, to shove his entire tongue into my mouth. And that's gross when people do that. The technique to French kissing well is <coughs> half, you know, you put your tongue half out, they put their tongue half out, and you, you know, you meet in the middle. And he didn't quite get that concept. So we worked on it for a while. He got much better, but he still has a while, still has a bit to learn, yeah. I guess that's how like David Bowie liked it or something. Oh, <laughs> right down his throat. <laughs> that, he, it, unless someone's gagging, he doesn't yeah. think it's good. Well, we're going to be off the air in a few minutes here. Laney, we do good. Yes. You make up with Kenny. Everything no, fine I with hate Kenny him now. Forever now. You, you hate, hate him? him. He acted like a New Jersey Guido bouncer. Oh, get Kenny back in here. <laughs> New By Jersey way. Guido bouncer. Oh no. By the way, it's Heather wow, Van Deven. Van Deven. Van Deven. I'm sorry. V A N D E V E N. Because people are trying to like Google image you so they could jerk off. Yeah. Heather no, Van Deven. And you can go to my website, myheathervandeven.com, and you can see oh. me in the new penthouse variations. Mm hmm. And you can pick up the pussy. And you can pick up my fake pussy, mm-hmm. and which is an exact replica of my actual pussy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a fun time. Well, look at you. What are you wearing? Stockings in there? Pantyhose? That's, yeah, this pantyhose fetish video. Okay. Is it's, there a hole in the pantyhose? Your ass looks really good in those, too. Okay. No. Her it's, ass looks it's good in everything. Yeah. Kenny, you all right with Laney? Heather, you mind looking at this website? Yeah. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. 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 You just get off on the wrong foot, right? That's cool with the pantyhose. Your your pussy looks like a bank robber. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're out of here, so. All right. Lainey, this was good. It was good. Yeah. It was good. And she didn't cry, thank God. She didn't no. cry. She knows Shauna, though. She knows Shauna, thank and you. I told her the story, and Shauna's she wasn't surprised. wasn't surprised. Cute as a button, but out of her fucking mind. Yeah. yeah. Wait, don't put that on yet. I'm going to tweet another picture of you. <laughs> mm. For everybody. Hmm. All right, are we out of here? That's what this stupid music means. What? 30, what? All right, we got all the plugs in? Thank you, Heather. <laughs> Thank you, Lainey. Thank you. Thank you, Patrice O'Neill, who's going to be at the Improv Friday, Saturday, yes. and Sunday. 
Uh, Big Mama Prods, all caps on Twitter if you want to follow. Not all caps. It's 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 cool. It's cool. Anything. Big Mama right. Prods, man. Thank Big you. Big Mama Prods. Start following. Thank Chase. you, gorgeous. Opie and Anthony. Bye. All right.